Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, we're continuing Scarbrand's adventures, where the biggest war has occurred on turn 20. Um, thought Wurzag was going to come back, but he didn't, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, now, I've had the opportunity to, like, look around and see what's going on. I can see that Thorak has moved from here. And I also checked to see if he was trespassing here, and he is. So that leads me to believe that he's somewhere in this area here. Uh, so, either that or he's going up this way. So we need to recruit an army of Death Gorge to protect it. Obviously, money's a little bit of an issue. Um, Who's the biggest threat at the moment? Uh, Grim... Well, okay, actually, Skarsnik is the biggest threat. Hmm. There's lots of little threats all over the place. Probably Thorak is the most urgent threat. Um. But Scarbrand is going to be the biggest threat. For the time being. Grimgore is too far away right now for me to really care that much. At this stage. But obviously, his strength ranking is absurd. So... Hopefully some of the other factions can soften him up a little bit first because uh, I think that once those armies of his get wiped out They can't come back at full like they, they're free upkeep So he has to raise them Again from scratch and they don't have free upkeep if they're if they're recruited so we've got to cut some of the fat away and uh, Yeah, okay. I also saw that we've got a mission here from Malagor. I want to try to get some more um, points with him I can see that I can kill off this one here. Espelba. Because I'll be able to use um, use her to, uh, I guess, recruit some more troops. So what I'll do here is I'll just make the attack. No. You can see that there's more Hageneth incoming. And we definitely need to fight this battle manually. Yeah. You don't really want to be auto-resolving when Dark Conduit's involved. It always triggers your units. You're going to go try to find a bit more Scarbrand? I'm just going to focus on green skins. Okay, there's not really that many more traits for Scarbrand to get that would make him that much stronger. Um, so I'm not going to bother too much with trait farming. I'm going to take out the threats in this area that he's in here. Uh, if we're lucky, a cult will form back in the Badlands, and I can use that to teleport back. Because if we leave the the Chaos Wastes, we're going to lose all of our ground. We just started going toward the Dark Elves. Now, if we can beat the Dark Elves back and control this area, which means going to war with um, Valkyrie as well, none of that should be difficult. But if we can do that, that can provide finances for stuff back in the Badlands, which is the big problem. I just don't have money. Okay, so when dealing with Dark Conduits... All right, how much... I'm, uh, we've got two minutes before that shows up. I think what I want to do is try to beat her before they show up. So the way to go about that, I think, is just rush at her with everything that we've got. That's fast. This one's here, and just see if we can manage it. Rejoice! Slaughter awaits! Because, yeah, you got about two minutes until the, um, Dark Conduit kicks in. If we can break her by then, that'd be good. You know. Don't knock her down. If she pops down the Dark Conduit, we got to get out of there. Still got time. I think we got about a minute to break her. I think she's about to go. Come on. Fuck! Oh, it didn't actually do any... It didn't kill any of them. Okay. Because, yeah, we're spell resistant. Very spell resistant. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. We've won the battle. Uh, let's kill her for the loot money. And her skull. Oh, wait. Do we need to do that? No, let's soften these up a little bit. Wait, should we? Gotta make a decision on this. 
Yeah, no, we'll fight this on the field. <laughs> I'm gonna make up my damn mind. Send them over there to sort out the uh, the reinforcements, because I just realized there's... Uh, if we um, don't take them out here, then I've got a siege battle i got to do. Alright, she dead. I don't know, Rooster did a $5 super chat. Copying Torox, uh, let me bypass the Beastman army limit. Um, oh, wow. I uh, don't know yet if it's a bug with copying him or with importing my lord. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah. Hmm, I'm keen to maybe try that. Because, yeah, the Beastmen are hard coded to have a maximum of 30 armies. You cannot go above that normally. But using Torox, <laughs> Torox's system, maybe, um, get over the 100 armies on, like, turn 100 or something. I don't know. Or more. Do you think there are too many siege battles on North Land? Yeah. There are too many siege battles. It's because the AI doesn't come out and fight in the, the field unless they uh, feel like they've got the advantage. Which they really never do. Can't send the rest of these guys in until this has been somewhat dealt with. I need to go with the Dark Shards. Just... They're the ones doing all the damage to us. Okay, that's number two. We need one more dark conduit before I can justify sending the rest of my dudes in. Good boy. I think I can be quick enough. I think that did a ton of, uh, not as much as I thought. One more dark conduit needs to be sorted. Okay, the last dark, dark conduit should be coming down any moment. Let's get these guys over here to, to finish the job. Oh god. Slowing me down and shooting me at the damn dark shards. Uh, X, uh, XJ Esther became a member for nine months. Hey, Legend, just finished the show podcast. Nice interview, dude. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Glad you enjoyed that podcast. Yeah, it was a good one. I like that. I like that podcast. Hmm, it might have actually been easier for these two to take it out. Okay, there we go. There's the last dark one. Might have been easier for them to take it out in a siege battle just because you wouldn't have to um, deal with all of them all at once. for the rest of the reinforcements. Yeah. 
Ooh, this one here is in bad shape. Come on. There we go. There we go. Probably still have to do a small siege battle, but it should be pretty quick. Use that as an opportunity to heal a little bit. Oh, well, this one took some damage. Hmm. Why Scarbrand Nagaroth? Okay, so we had a cult form at one of the settlements up here. And I teleported Scarbrand up this way because I could. Does Endgame Dwarf Invasions attack other order factions as well? They can, but they always go to war with you specifically. If I take the replenishments, we can recover all of our casualties, but not the healing. Okay, do that. Try to keep this army alive as long as possible. Cool. So that gave us a few extra points, so I can use that to recruit some garbage ungors, which, you know, kind of amazing. Okay, good enough movement. Another army coming in here. Just trying to decide how to go about this. What is this foolishness? Because I don't want this one coming over here and ruin dwelling staff or making attacks out this way. Uh, this one here has got how many turns left? Two turns before it decays. Melt ice with fury. I don't think I'm going to get much further use out of this one here. I think I'm just going to disband it now. This will save us some money. Since I said we got to cut some of the fat out. That's going to have to go. Okay, so Chaos Corruption doesn't do anything for us. No benefits. Kind of a downside. It slows down our um, Corn Corruption increase. Oh yeah. 500 income from Pause. That's not... Terrible for Scarbrand. The axe for the asset. Just, just trying to decide here whether or not I should blow this up. I feel like I should. But if I sack it, we can... Alright, whatever the case is, let's get Scarbrand over here. <laughs> Alright, I get 40% of my movement back after winning a battle. Is that enough to hit Harganeth? I don't know. Because I could, I could do this. I think I should do it now and just see how we go. If it doesn't end up working, well, no big deal, I guess. But yeah, alright, let's, let's finish this one here off first and I'll decide on that one. Alright, once again, we got to fight this manually so these guys here can heal. Did you know that Warband Recruitment is province-based for the Warriors of Chaos? You can go from a general to a full 20 stack in two turns. Yep, I know that. Thanks for... Yep, let me know. Yep. <laughs> I missed the super chat. Sorry. Uh, are you sure? I don't think I did. You get 50, check your skills again. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I didn't check one of the other ones. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, 50%. Okay. I'll look back at that, yeah. What happens next turn? No, it's already happened this turn. What's the hardest endgame scenario? I think it, it depends on context. Like, if you're in the middle of an endgame scenario when it triggers, that's probably the most difficult thing to deal with. But if you're far away from it, 
I don't know. I don't know. It takes time to figure these things out. There's there's lots of tiny little things to uh, take into consideration, but I think the dwarf one might actually be the strongest. So we'll use this as an opportunity to heal these two. And I'm just trying to decide whether or not I should sack this or blow it up. If we sack it, we can make essentially this one's in, uh, upkeep cost this turn. I don't know if that's particularly important. Come on, I need this one here to actually regenerate health. Okay, you, you keep fighting that. Yeah, kind of pain in the ass trying to get these healed up. Especially the skull cannon. They just get hit a lot easier. Mm. Seems weird having to fight these battles manually, but I gotta try to regenerate them. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to make use of it in subsequent battles. And they took a little bit too much damage in that previous fight. Mm. They definitely regenerated a little bit. Uh, does the dwarf endgame attack you if you are the dwarfs, or is that endgame automatically avoided? I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. I've never had the dwarf one. Is it possible to run a positive economy with corn while maintaining enough force to be effective? It's possible to, to keep a positive income, but that's not optimal. You should run a negative income with corn because um, the way that you primarily make money is by fighting battles, and so you want more armies. Now, it kind of sucks that there's hidden supply lines with um, blood hosts. That's that's really bad, but... Yeah. I still think that running a negative economy with, um, with them is fine. So... Oh, hang on. Beanie Veggie did a 4.49 pounds. Can you hinder endgame scenarios by killing the race laws before they trigger? Enjoying this stream while struggling with COVID. Much love. Alright, so here you got COVID. Unfortunately, I'm not sure about that. Um, I'm pretty sure when it triggers, it triggers. Sometimes it'll revive the faction. Sometimes it'll just boost the faction. I'm not entirely sure about the nuances to it. I'm just as new to all this stuff as you guys. But thanks for Super Chat. Yeah. It's not a lot. Plus, if I, if I sack it, they'll come over here and sit here, giving me a chance to smash them next turn. Whereas if I blow it up, they'll go somewhere else. So I'll give them that chance. We recovered a bit. We recovered a bit. So yeah, it's just a matter of, are they going to think that they're strong enough to deal with us. We'll see. Okay, so you said to check... Right, you're absolutely right. 10% here, 15% there, 25% there. 50% extra movement range. So if we have a look... I think you're right. I think you're right. I think we'll get 50... I think we'll get enough to get to... Yeah, okay, let's do this. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's uh, let's firstly level up you and you. Are you almost at? Now you're getting there. Cool. All right, let's do this. This will be a little bit stronger than the other ones that we fought. Well, the other one that we fought. Should we fight this manually? Hang on. Um, MJ Benza did a five year super chat. Question about Kislev. More optimal to build farm or industry, or when, how to know if I should build farm or industry? Um, I'm pretty sure farms make more money, but you should. Actually, no. Dude, I haven't played Kislev in such a long time, I actually can't remember. Um, I can't. Yeah, I just straight up can't remember. <laughs> I, can't, 
I, I remember I would build both at the same time since they're not mutually exclusive, but I cannot for the life of me remember, but I feel like it's industry priority first, then farms. But again, I cannot for the life of me remember. Thanks for super chat though. Um, I probably could just auto resolve this. This area is pretty much done deal. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's have a look here. Save you guys some time. Okay, let's take the... Let's take the money. Just enough movement to get to Harkoneth. Also, I was having a look at some of my other campaigns, and I think this whole an army's base campaign movement range cannot be exceeded by more than 50%. I think that's incorrect, because in one of my campaigns I had 195 movement as the Tomb King, so I don't think that's actually correct. Alright. We're still making Scarbrand an absolute killing machine. So at Harganeth, we occupy that because it's a major settlement. We occupy major settlements. I should be able to sack and occupy it. It'll be at tier 1. In either way. Should have enough movement. Because I'll win a battle. Unless it pushes me all the way back here. Unless I blow it up. Unless I blow it up and then hit towards the black pillar. I can ruin dweller instead. And that way Scarbrand can keep moving now. We kind of want to hit them. Hit them now while it hurts. Yeah, of course, it, it's more expensive to do that. But it's not really, because Scarbrand is pummeling other settlements out here. We're also at war with Nagaroth. What more could I do to increase his movement range? Like his maximum movement range. I don't think there's anything here. Let's, yeah, hmm. Okay. Um... Let's fight this battle here. We'll probably have to fight it manually. Yeah, Scarbrand just run in and win the battle. Hmm. Or should I just occupy it and just... Let Scarbrand have a rest for a turn. Whatever the case is, just fight this manually. I have to decide. So... Hmm. Decisions. Tough decisions. Do I keep his rampage going at the cost of money, where I could be much more beneficial sending it down south? I think we should maybe occupy it. We've got the skulls. Scarbrand doesn't have to move around anymore this turn. It's fine. So we'll sack an occupier. That way we'll make some money while doing it. Yeah, that seems like the right call. Defeating Tic-Tac-Toe would give him more. Mm, yeah, 10% more. Well, that's not really an option right now. Yeah, you're right. Tic-tac-toe. I was just wondering in terms of, like, what skills he currently has. Alright. Um, let's see here. So, don't think there's anything we got to worry about here. I just don't want to take a close victory. It helps to have an army when doing this kind of shenanigans, because they try to keep units close to your army. Uh, sometimes. They didn't this time. That's okay. What are they going to do? Is Scarbrand the best melee fighter in the game? Bar none? Mm, it depends. He is definitely a contender. But finding the best... you got to keep in mind that situation dictates um, who's the best. Not necessarily stats. You know, every everything has a weakness. Everything. So, to say that Scarbrand is the best, is it's just really hard to dictate that, and I just don't think it's a useful question. But he's definitely a contender for the best, for sure.
You could say, instead of saying, is he the best, you could say he's one of the best. That would be better to say. Because finding out who the actual best is, is a endless game of rock, paper, scissors. It's just fucking impossible. Is Kugath one of the strongest tank now? Okay, you could argue, okay, this is what you could say about Kugath. Kugath has the highest hit point pool in the game, bar none, right? That's what you could say about Kugath. Is he the tankiest lord in the game? Not really, because he's big and fat, right? So, even though he's got lots of health point, health, hit points and lots of um, regeneration and lots of resistances, he is so vulnerable to magic missiles. Minus siege battles. This was a major settlement battle, but that's cool. Aspiring champion gets sick bonuses to the tech tree. I'm having tons of success with them under Kolak. Yes, they do. They're very good. Yep. Well, legend, that's not very body body positive. No, it isn't. <laughs> I I didn't say it was a bad thing that it was big and fat. I just said that he's big and fat. I didn't say it was bad. It's bad if you want to get shot. Being bigger is not better against missiles. Vlad soloed my army. CA, please. Vlad's always been able to solo armies. You have to destroy his army and army loss him. That's always been the case. Terrorize them into submission. And that's been, always been the case with vampire accounts. Their army is just a joke compared to what they themselves can do. Oh, jeez, oh, I thought I moved too far. Okay, yeah, we want to occupy it. Okay, so that's him spent for the turn. I'll see if I can go Black Pillar Quark and Spite Reach next turn. That could, that'd be interesting if I can manage that. Finally, Gates of Corn on that. Good. Alright, well, we scored a good amount of money, and we've got ourselves a new province from which to work with. Um, you know, it's it makes money a little bit. Mm-hmm. When quest battle? Uh, the quest battle, okay. That's an interesting one because, honestly, Slaughter and Carnage, we don't really need them. We don't really need it. It's not the greatest item ever. I know this one here increases weapon strength by up to 100%, right? But that's not really needed that much. Um, and that quest battle is one of the most difficult quest battles to do, especially with an early game army. Like, last time I did that, I nearly lost it. And I was, like, level 40 when I did it, so... Um, I'm a little bit hesitant on doing that just because of how unimportant like I'll definitely do it eventually but not right now considering going up against demons all that physical resistance isn't going to help either all right so these guys over here they're decaying they're mostly just costing me supplies uh supply lines I mean man it sucks that they cost supply lines now all right we need a lord over here I'm leaning towards chucking in this guy here and running a demon army. I kind of want to run a mortal army and see how it goes, but... Mm. Going up against Thorek, so we should go with magic. Magical weapons. As opposed to... Yeah, armor-piercing, anti... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. As opposed to just... Yeah. Join Legion! And then this is why I... Okay, hang on, let me think about this. Do I get Gauze or Ungauze?
thing is with Ungors... They stalk. And Gores don't. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a weird one, but that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Also, welcome everyone that's just joining up to the stream. Um, hope you're having a good day. Um, have you seen that the banner of Swiftness is now 30% speed, Strider, and 20% acceleration, deceleration? Yep, it's good. That, that got a bit of a buff. Yep, for sure. That's good. Alright, so over here, we want these guys... That'll definitely run away, but we want all four of them to get on in on this, so they uh, increase their bloodletting. Got to get that growth up. Uh, who should get it, though? Who should get it? Maybe this one here. Recovering full health on these guys here is going to be practically impossible. I don't know how much longer I can run them around here. Okay, I think we'll just auto this one. It's alright. So I'm just gonna die eventually anyway. And that saves me money. And the main units that we want to keep alive are these ones here, since I can regenerate them. So they all would have gotten some points into bloodletting there, which is good. And then over here, if we sack this, we can make 2,700. It's not going to be profitable, though, to keep these all here, just to sack this over and over again. It used to be profitable to do that, but fucking supply lines. You know, what, what are you going to do? So, might be there just to blow that up, just so that we can be done with this faction. Get over here and blow this up. Before shit hits the fan. Alright, you get over here. Alright, who's going to blow this up? Who do we need the most? I think this one here, I'll just straight up disband it soon. Not yet, because I got that. You know what? Let's let's besiege with this one. Even though this guy here is not decaying yet, it's gonna take us three turns to get over here anyway. What's wrong with supply lines? Blood hosts now increase supply lines. It's a hidden bug. Why do you not disband the blood host armies again? Because they're useful. They're, you know, recruited for free. Just go and kill stuff with them. Um, I know it's costing me money, but if I keep fighting, I can make that money back. The problem is, is there's nothing left to fight out here. Eternal Emperor did a $10 super chat. I'm doing a multiplayer game at the moment. Any tips for a dwarf early game when fighting against Vampire Coast? Their gunnery lines are difficult to counter. Okay, thanks super chat, dude. Please don't ask me about multiplayer, though, because... Um, I don't know the first thing about what the metas are with multiplayer, and you should always tailor your strategies and tactics to who you're going up against, not what they're going up against. So, I, I have no idea what you should do. You're playing multiplayer, that's outside of my scope. But thanks for the super chat, appreciate that. Alright, so we'll fight this manually, see if I can regenerate these guys a bit in the fight, because I'll have quite a few of these um, blood shrines, and it's mostly just garbage. Can corn raid enough to offset the cost? No, no, we don't make much money from raiding. Not really. Make like 70 gold. To offset the cost of the, of the armies, we have to be fighting constantly. We have to kill lots of enemies. Scarbrand's able to do a lot of that work on his own. But, um... See, out here, we've just exhausted the enemies. We need to be moving down south with them, but it's a very long distance, and they decay. Yeah. 
Yeah, people people really need to stop asking me about what should they do in multiplayer. I have never played Turtle Warhammer 3 multiplayer. Uh, like, asking me about it is pointless. Um, I just don't know why people ask me about it. Yeah, techniques in single player don't work in multiplayer, and techniques in multiplayer don't work in single player. So, it's, sep it's separate mindsets you gotta have. Yeah, and it's also, I find it so weird when people send me disaster campaigns and they're doing a head-to-head. -head. I'm just like, I can't save that for you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Was he not talking about a multiplayer campaign? M multiplayer campaign is still multiplayer. Okay, B don't forget the... Okay, a lot of what I do is about attacking the enemy um, mindset. It's not about necessarily attacking specific units. Having rock, paper, scissors mindset is actually not very useful in Total War Warhammer. It, 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 don't get me wrong, it is slightly useful, but you want to attack their mindset. Now, when you're going up against a human... When you go up against a human, um, you need to understand what that player is like. So, asking me how to beat your opponent, who I've, I have no idea who they are, is not a good idea. I'm not going to give you good advice. You shouldn't be asking me. Yeah. You're only setting yourself up for failure if you do that. The dude's question sounded a lot like a campaign question. If he's playing a multiplayer campaign, it's a multiplayer question. Okay. Said he was playing a multiplayer campaign. It may be a campaign, but it's still multiplayer campaign. I, I can't help him. You gotta figure these things out for yourself. Because you're not going up against AI. I wouldn't know the first thing to do. How do we beat you? Well, it's kind of a pointless question because you'd never go up against me. I don't play multiplayer. So you don't need to know how to beat me. It's kind of like when people say, what do you do against an AI uh, Dragon Ogre Shaggoth spam army? It's like, AI never builds that. So you don't need to know about it. You know, I get that people want to ask these questions just for curiosity's sakes, but at the same time, I don't have the answers for them. I couldn't possibly have the answer for them. I kind of wish people had the hindsight to, to know that. And also, I think the biggest thing is that I don't want to get involved with multiplayer at all. So it actually kind of annoys me when people ask me about it, because I'd rather just focus on single player without any multiplayer stuff. I don't want to know about multiplayer at all. The whole thing shits me. So that's probably why I get a little bit not chill when people ask me about multiplayer, because I don't understand why anybody would ask me about multiplayer, given that I've been very vocal about how little I actually want to play multiplayer. Is there a way to get generic bloodthirsty units regen? I don't think so, no. Seems like the animation, those corn bikes, very good against infantry. Yeah, see, they're kind of like tomb scorpions that way. See, I'm actually regenerating while fighting here. They're really, really good. If you can get a blood host with, like, heaps of these in there, that make, that, that's the best blood host to get. Especially considering how much they regenerate. What faction do you think is the strongest faction in the battlefield? Single player, lol. See, that's that's a fair question. 
<laughs> I'm not going to get annoyed about that. Um, strongest faction on the battlefield? Uh, it's hard to say at the moment, but I'd say it's probably still Wood Elves. In single player. Because chat wants to interact with you, they aren't really thinking about your reasons, they just want to talk to you. Kek. Alright, that's fine, I get that, but... If, if, look, here's the thing, here's the thing though. If you want to talk to someone, you should have a little bit of understanding about what they want to talk about as well. You know? If, if you want to have a conversation with someone, have a little bit of consideration about what they want. You know, if I don't want to talk about something and someone says, I know you don't want to talk about it, but here's a question that's about this topic. It actually really irritates me. Because I'm just like, well, you already know I don't want to talk about it, so you've disregarded my feelings on the matter. So I care very little about whether or not they're happy with my answer, because they've cared very little about whether or not their topic interests me. So it go it got to understand it runs both ways. It runs both ways, guys. You know? And that's like with anything in life. You gotta res it, respect runs. It's a two-way street. You ca it's not one way. You know, just because I'm here and I can't escape it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> you know, George Orwell did a ten dollar super chat. Hi, Legend. Regarding Immortal Empires, any tips on how the new arcane conduit mechanic works? It's passive skill now, also magic kind of nerfed. I think super chat. Yes, it is kind of nerfed. It's it's really simple to understand. It just generates magic faster. That's it. It doesn't generate more winds of magic. Um, it just it just takes the magic from your pool and puts it in your active, um, I guess, ammunition a little bit faster. That's all it does. It's not a must-have for spellcasters anymore. Only if you're in a, like a real emergency where you need to pull that magic out really quickly. Is it um, particularly useful? We regenerated a lot in this battle. These guys were very damaged. What turn did the crisis start? Turn 20. George Orwell did a $2 super chat saying thanks, bro. Uh, no, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. Then how do you generate enough winds of magic like to have a steady 100 winds at every battle? Well, you just wait, or you can use Arcane Conduit, so it's up to you. Yeah, if you want to pull the entire 100 out of your reserves, Arcane Conduit is useful for that, but you don't need it to do that. See, what Arcane Conduit used to do in Warhammer 2 was you were able to pull winds of magic out of your reserve when you needed it, because you were limited 30, right? So you actually had to think about when you were spellcasting. But now you just pull your entire reserve into your active amount as soon as you can. You don't even have to think about the timing of your spells anymore. So the, the Winds of Magic changes are not only nerfed, but they're actually require less thinking now than it did before. Alright, so that's actually a bit more money than I thought I was going to make. That's not enough to pay for all of them. But I think I will sack it. <laughs> And what I'll do is I'll just, um, yeah, I think I'll sack it. Because that, that was a decent amount of money. Uh, the Colonel 32 did a 2 dollars jet. Green skin blood for the blood god. Yep, thanks, Spoonie jet. Spoonie of Salty did a jet. Was circling, sorry, was getting circle beaten and playing whack-a-mole as Valkyr in IE. What sort of units are strong cost-effective for her? 
Thanks, Super Chat. Are you thinking about it wrong? Again, it's not about what units you recruit. It's about how you use them. Um, when I played my Valkyrie campaign, I ran nothing but melee infantry. That's all I ran, because that was what was readily available to me. And I don't think she ever lost a single battle. So, I think what's happening to you is that you're not actually... Your problem isn't that you're recruiting the wrong units, is that you're making mistakes strategically, requiring you to look at your armies and ask for more efficiency than they can deliver. So my advice then is that think about the strategies that you're doing, because I think that's what's letting you down, not your tactics. People often forget about that. They, you know, make too many war declarations, and they get themselves into a pickle, and then they go, oh... If only I had the best unit in the game, that'll solve all my problems. And the thing is, in Total Warhammer 3, units that you recruit are almost irrelevant because everything can be worked, with, with some few exceptions. Everything can work as long as you know how to use that unit. I mean, look at Scarbrand's army over here, right? Look what I'm rolling with. I'm running with nothing but melee infantry and three heroes. That's it. And he's steamrolling everything. So... I mean, it's, it's mostly because of the heroes, so... But at the same time, in the south, I made some colossal mistakes down here. Foresight, not hindsight. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the word, but you're right, foresight. Alright, so... Herald of Thorn. Even Grail Relics? No, obviously not Grail Relics. They're rubbish. But, you know, she's playing... He's playing as Valkyr. Valkyr is... Doesn't have any bad units, really. Does not controlling large armies still work? Yes, but only when you're the attacker. Alright, so... If we have a look at all the upkeep costs here... Sacred Executioner! I'll leave them, because, yeah, they are providing growth, which is good. Mark Oliver did have $10 to be shipped. I have to be honest, I actually like the fact that Confederation is harder so far. Macy's faction stand out instead of every race being absorbed by the main one by turn 50. It's interesting. If you say so, um, I don't really agree, but that's fine. I'd agree to disagree, but that's fine. Thanks for the chat, though. Appreciate it. It also makes all of those factions a complete pushover. Because they don't unite. Alright, we'll see what we can do here. Alright, what are we going to build in this minor city? This one here should be relatively safe for a while. Um, Defense is over here. Doesn't provide much. Oh my god, three in the garrison. God damn. Corn garrisons are really small. Just try to go for money, I suppose. That's a good money building. Alright, we'll actually invest in Galbaraz and stuff, because uh, we found out that Wurzag's not coming back here, and in Ekrand. So, the corn corruption here is at 100. These guys here, they're still maintaining it, though. Hort O did a $10 super chat. You will listen to and answer my multiplayer question, and you will like it. You were here for my entertainment. Just kidding. I'm liking this campaign. Have a good stream, mate. I know, dude. Thanks for the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good thing you wrote that second part. <laughs> yeah, I get they were joking, but uh, that first part, nope. Nope. I don't I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I, I get that there are some people that think that they can just be like, if you're on the internet, that you're a dancing monkey, and that anybody with $1 can just make you dance up and down for it. But I absolutely do not need to do that. And I will happily smack down anyone and put, bring them back down to earth that thinks otherwise. That they think they can just um, treat me that way. I will not tolerate it. I've had a hell of a year. I'm not going to put up with that kind of shit. Uh, Ekrin probably doesn't actually need walls if the big wire isn't coming down here. So we should focus on making more money. Getting more passive income. Because if we have a look here, we're, we're only making... 
1,600 through building income. That's absolutely dismal. Death Gorge. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing ever, ever to have... Usually you build these in minor settlements, but... Yeah, I'll just leave it for now. Since I think that Thoric is coming up here, let's just see how that goes first. Legend, will you be able to defend if Greenskins come? At this current point? No, we're not ready. I have to I have to get ready way faster. And I, I made a couple of mistakes in this campaign that are pretty bad. But they're not coming up here just yet, so this is... We've got this as a fallback area. Alright, let's have a look at diplomacy. Pastor Con Sardinia Gaming. Did a photo of chat. Put your thumb in your nose and clap. JK, good stream. Okay, thanks dude. Thanks for chat. Unrestrained. Yeah, look, I think the vast majority of people don't... Um, think that they that that is the case it's just that some people do Limitless power. and those are the ones that need to be addressed yeah i'm not giving this one a non-aggression pack because i'm just gonna plow right through this unless unless no i'm not gonna do that no i don't if i need the money i'll get that what? red fangs <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, now let's see if we can score any money out of the beastmen. Three turns until Malagor is willing to pay us again. Six turns until I can get money out of this one. Alright. Could you explain the mistakes you did? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, mistake number one, I bought Karak Orod off the Greenskins here. I actually bought it for five grand, um, and I think I declared war on Ironbrow's expedition. But we basically immediately uh, had to get rid of it because Thorak was on the way. Um, the second mistake I did was I did some sort of deal with Numas, offering to go to war with someone. And they offered to become my vassal. Now, when I became their vassal... So, sorry, other way around. When they became my vassal, they immediately got declared war on by other people, dragging me into wars, which otherwise wouldn't have happened. And they pay me a measly 40 vassal tribute. Also, other people that like me hated the fact that I did that. So those were the two big mistakes that I made in this campaign, which haven't really bit me in the ass too much at the moment, but they might come back to haunt me later down the track. How come you don't have a cinch explained video? Okay, so those videos, as I was making them, were doing worse and worse, and eventually got to the point where they weren't worth making. And so, but I was going to do one for cinch, but it got to the point where um, the videos were doing so badly that I might as well not bother. So that's what ended up happening. Yeah, see, views decayed super quickly when Warhammer 3 first came out, and unfortunately, cinch was the one that just didn't get a video on it. Uh, Mr. Hamtastic did a final super chat. Doom Knights of Zinch or Skull Crushers of Corn against Empire? Ah, that can work. If you're good at using either, why not? It's not about the tool, it's about how you use it. Thanks for super chat, appreciate it. Mr. Super Chat. Uh, the Colonel 32 did a photo of Super Chat. How do you find Nurgle cycling building? Good idea, but meh or pretty cool? Um, I think neither. It's just, it's just okay. Nothing spectacular about it. It's just, you know, it just exists. Um, I don't think it's bad. It's just different. Please vassalize Valkyrie. No, I'm, I don't think I'm going to make any more vassals. I think I'm just going to crush her. 
Lumen Obscurum did a five dollar super chat. I'm doing a ghost campaign, and my only problem is siege attacker. Is Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon the easiest cookie cutter option for me? Yeah, probably. Yeah, thank you, super chat. Yeah, that that's what I usually use for um, siege attacker. Yeah. Uh, Rex Teresia did an MYR15 super chat. How would you rate the Cornate Chaos Lords and Exalted Hero under both Corn and Warrior faction? I really haven't played them enough to rate them. But thanks for the super chat. Where is Dewa? It's 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 existing. All right, so Numas is basically gone. Yeah. Cryptoras? You could use Cryptoras, for sure. Yep, that's a cheap option for Siege Attacker. But I usually get rid of my Cryptoras. Well, this is just for Warhammer 2. Um, I really haven't played much um, Vampire Counts in Warhammer 3, so I'm not an expert on it. But what I would do in Warhammer 2 is I would get Crypt Horrors and then once my Vampire Lord was able to ride a dragon I'd get rid of those Crypt Horrors for just more skeletons so I would assume that that would be kind of the same with Warhammer 3 except for zombies but I don't know how much more difficult is Legendary compared to very hard? I don't know, I don't play very hard I can't imagine it's that much more difficult Received a plague. Oh, uh, but this plague doesn't hurt us. Nurgle corruption. Guys, the ruinous powers. Mm. It does actually hurt us. It'll only last a couple of turns. It only it causes a bit of public order problems. That's about it. Not that big of a deal. That's good. That's good. All right. And Okay. Herald of Dawn. So Nice. No upkeep on these Ungor Raiders. That's good. Join Legion. Nice. Thank you Malagor for free upkeep. I could really use it right now. Alright, with the defenses that we've got here, we might actually be able to... I don't actually know how to work something with this. I don't have a siege attacker though. Do I have one here? What's this? Hmm. Yeah, there's no siege attacker. You can recruit them as Scarbrand, so possible to rate them in this campaign. Uh, possible, but I haven't... Okay, I can't possibly rate something I haven't tried yet. I could try it, it's just not a priority right now. You guys, got to keep in mind that I'm just about as experienced at Immortal Empires as you guys. A lot of people come to me and, and like come at me with like questions as if I'm like an expert at like memorizing the entirety of the encyclopedia that is Total War Warhammer. And at this stage here, I'm just completely overwhelmed because I haven't got the experience... To, to memorize all this stuff. There's just so much stuff in the game. Um, well, most of the questions are, I don't know, you know? And I actually, I get that people can be a little bit off put by the, my attitude sometimes, but I think I'm more frustrated at myself for just not being able to answer these questions. Because I just, I, I can't, I haven't, I haven't played it long enough and I'm not willing to pay it, play it for 20 hours a day to find out all this stuff. I'm just not willing to do that. You know, I'll be able to I'll be able to answer these questions one or two years from now, but you know, it's just gonna take some time. All right, so what we could do here is stand here, bounce, Denied. black pillar, bounce, bounce, come back down here, bounce, or Herald of Dawn. 
All right, let's see how much the big war. So Grimgore gained two settlements over that turn. Yeah, they're all going to be expanding pretty rapidly over the next few turns. It's going to it's going to get pretty nuts. We we need to try to outpace him somehow. Eight hours a day is enough. Eight hours a day is enough. Yeah. Eight hours a day is enough. Yeah. I mean, by all means, ask the question. It's just that I do get frustrated when I don't know the answer. It's not your fault. It's I just get frustrated when I can't answer it. See, what I could do is come up through here and smash Valkyr. And then come back around here. How many settlements does she have? Probably two. She's got four. Well, she's got two Dark Fortresses. Because I'm familiar with this area from the um, Thorak campaign. These two here are the Dark Fortresses. But, oh, she really doesn't like me. Military actions against Aghol. Yeah, well, we were both at war with them. No, were we? I think we were. And then she vassalized them. It's not my fault she did that. So, Aghol. This, this one here should only be able to be recruited like basic marauders. So, 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 so. This one here could potentially go over there and take that out. So, yeah, I'm just trying to decide how to go about this. Should I pinball Spite Reach, Black Pillar, Kuark, and then hit the Palace of Ruin? Or should I go Black Pillar, Kuark, Spite Reach, and then pinball over to Grond? Because we're at war with Malekith as well, but he's pretty busy. Let me see if um, Valkyr... Wants to go to war with Malekith. I Mr. doubt it. She's. Your tongue, so I may rip we'll it from see. Your mouth. She hasn't met them yet. No, she has. She just doesn't hate them. She's fighting Grond. Which means she's got no military presence up here. I'm leaning towards smashing Valkyr. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. So we go Spite Reach, Black Pillar, Kuark, and then the Palace of Ruin. And then somebody is going to have to go to the Shard Bastion. And I just disbanded that fucking army there. Um, it'll have to be this one here. So you blow this up. And then we'll come over here and blow this up. If I can handle it. There's currently no military presence. If we, if we hurry over there, we might be able to get there before they start recruiting. Okay, we need to skull sort of skull thrown it. This will give us more movement. Is the Sword of Cain still trash in IE? Uh, it depends on who you're playing. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to picking up the Sword of Cain in this campaign. I wouldn't be opposed to it. But it has to actually make its way over to me first. Alright. So we're going to blow this up. I think we'll just skulls for the skull thrown it. Yep. Which means that... Okay, there's still that other army of Harganeth. It is likely to ruin dwell something. Um, but that's fine. Is Legend enjoying Warhammer 3 as much as Warhammer 2? It largely depends on which faction I play. So, a yes or no answer is a little bit tricky with that one. Um, I, it's, it's close. Let me just say it, it's close. But I'd say that Warhammer 2 is still probably the better game from a mechanical point of view, just because I really hate the Winds of Magic system, and I really hate the siege rework, and I really hate a lot of the um, the dumbing down of Warhammer 2 races mechanics. Um, but, you know, Warhammer 3 races don't exist in Warhammer 2, so I can only play them in Warhammer 3, and I enjoy all of them. Um, some races from Warhammer 1 and 2 are better in Warhammer 3, but uh, I reckon we just give it, like, Six more months. Six more months and then I'd say that uh, this game is better than Warhammer 3. Ah, uh, two. Six more months. But it's just not quite there right this very second. But Legend, it's newest game. You have to like it or... Why are you so negative? Alright. Now we also got this to come and help us. So 
So try to get as full health as we can before we make our way over to take out Aghol. But yeah, we're going to go smash Valkyr. I doubt it's going to be feasible to make her a vassal. And even if we did make her a vassal, she'll probably betray us. I just don't think that Scarbrand does good vassaling. <laughs> He's just not good at it. We don't make any fucking money out of it. We don't have mechanics that benefit us. So, do you know what benefits Scarbrand? Smashing. You know? Fuck, marry, kill Valkyr. I think we're going to fuck and kill her, but not marry her. <laughs> let me shoot. I wouldn't let me shoot any lower than that. Oh, we get three of these now. That's awesome. Oh, that's so good. That's going to really help for the next five turns. Yeah, watch out for the dark shots. Lover and lever. Yeah. Well, you know what? She'll probably approve of it because her blood is going to be spilled for corn. So she'll like it. Alright, now run them down. A different one. Oh, whatever. Stop shooting. No, 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 just go this way. If when you get enough of these, you can sometimes win siege battles just with them. Alright, you go run that one down. Keep them, keep them away from each other, they're getting each other's way. Come on, need to regenerate. We're definitely recovering a bit in this battle, but I want to recover more. Oh, yeah, like one of their units runs off in a different direction and then they just can't quite touch them. Come on. Every hit point counts. Oh god, it killed a lot with that little movement. That's it, just just touch him. Give him a good old corny touch. That's it, don't need to hurt them. Good, I think we covered quite a lot of health there. Not full health, but that's okay. As long as it's recovery of some kind. I don't do stupid fuck Mary kill stuff, also legend. Okay, I want to clear that up. Okay, nobody asked me if I fuck Mary kill um, um, Valkyr. See, here's the thing I won't take on those questions, but if I just happen to say it, then that's fine. Now, the reason why I don't answer those questions, and I've said this before, is because if I answer it once, it'll open the floodgate, and then everybody's going to be like, fuck Mary kill. It's just be 20 bloody questions a minute of fuck marry kill however if i say it out of the blue when it's actually appropriate then it's fine if that makes sense it's kind of like when using skaven voice you know if i feel like it's appropriate appropriate to use skaven voice i'll do it but if somebody asks me to do a skaven voice i won't do it because it opens the floodgate so it's weird it's like you'll get it for free but you can't ask for it if that makes sense <laughs> it's just a weird dynamic with streaming so, that's a lot of replenishment, but, um, we gotta get moving. You know, I've been streaming for a long time, and there are some weird nuances to streaming like that. Oh, shit, I thought I could go through there. Oh, it's gonna take a bit longer. Whatever, you gotta get going. Alright, well, you've got five turns. Okay, okay, well, we'll see how we go. There won't be any fighting along the way. Okay. So we've decided which way we want to go about this with Scarbrand. We're going to pinball him. Spite Reach, Black Pillar, Kuark. We could probably auto-resolve all three of these.
Ooh, it kind of didn't go in the right direction there. But I should be at 100%. Nearly 100% movement. Alright, that should still be fine. Okay, I think I might sack this one. And I might blood for the blood god this one. And use that as a sack city just for a little bit. And I'll have this army waiting, ready for when we're going to attack Grond. Or if any Malekith army comes over this way, I can use it to smash him back. You just got the campaign movement range follower? Scarbrand already has one attached. We got one a, a while ago. So we'll sack this one. And then since there was no way to get around this anyway, yeah, not possible to get around it, we'll blood for the blood god this one. Yeah, what if I come at it from just the right angle that way? Oh, he'll bloody run all the way back here knowing him. Okay, no, I'm gonna sack it this turn. <laughs> I'm gonna sack it this turn, and I'll blood for the blood god at next turn, but from this angle here. Yeah, I can't do that now. Alright. I think that worked out pretty well. We got a good plan in mind. Yeah, we'll blood for the blood god that one next turn. The army will come down here and just punish that. That way, if we leave one of the set settlements around, if they ruin dwell with the settlement out here, it'll cost them three quarters of their army. And yeah, replenisher rate's pretty good, so don't worry about that. And yeah, I need that money because of uh, dealing with the problems down south. Oh yeah, give me that speed. That's good. And hey, we didn't have to fight any of those battles manually. How about that? See, well, we order resolve when I know I don't have to fight a lot of battles manually in quick succession afterwards. Okay, this guy's now on a blood throne. Ah, uh, sorry, a chaos war shrine, which is... Hang on, let me have a look. In terms of cost... Oh my god, there's no upkeep cost. They're completely free. Did you know that you can switch around as you see fit? So the Chaos War Shrine, what it does, it's not fast, but it provides a buff of up to 8 melee attack and up to 5 weapon strength. 5%. It's not amazing, to be honest. Um, and also a leadership buff. Ugh, that was a bad trade. Whatever, what are you going to do? Um, okay. Yeah, gates of corn. Cool. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. So I'll leave all stuff like that right there. You can go into encamp camp stance. Uh, yeah, but it's not going to give us any more replenishment. In camp stance, this will allow... An al al Enables you to access the global recruit pool, which I don't need right now, so could do this, but no, that's not a good idea. Alright, so we just finished this technology here, which was really good. Um, Lord recruit rank plus two is good. Income from more buildings, I'm not making any money, don't bother. That's pretty good, because I do suffer attrition. Mm, no, don't care about that. Don't care. Oh, that's not the worst thing ever. When fighting against uh, Slanesh, no big deal. Income from sacking settlements could be good. Um, let's go with that one there. Spoils of battle. That's a good follower you just got. Extra campaign movement range. When blowing up a settlement, right? I I'm pretty sure I've already got one attached. Look, I'll just have a look. Alright, so which one is it specifically? It was... Um, a Agent of Blood, right? Campaign movement range plus 7% after raising a settlement. That's what you're talking about, right? Uh, income from post-battle loot wouldn't be too bad, actually. Let me just see. These are all good. 
Need that. Need... Oh, you know what? I probably don't need that many skulls right now. Blood correct collector, yeah. Character... Well, I can take that off once he's at rank 50. How do you decide which provinces to give to your vassals? Um, I give them trash. I don't I don't try to empower my vassals. I try to keep my vassals as weak as possible because I don't rely on them. Some people like to make their vassals really strong and just sit back and watch them do stuff. I don't. My vassals are just there to be making me money. So I, d I just, yeah, that's all I care about with them. I don't rely on them at all. Alright, I just want to have a little bit of a look down here. Okay, Thorak is on his way. He is on his way. Right, if I can't reach him, that doesn't mean he can't reach me, because he's probably got higher campaign movement range. Now, the big thing here is, if he besieges Death Gorge, we'll have 18 units up against his 19 units. But what are our... Oh, we've got a lot of bloodletters there. Bloodletters are really bloody good against dwarfs. Really, really good. Uh, Armon Caviani did a 5 dollars subscription. What is the strongest law for Warriors of Chaos? Shadow, Fire, Death, Metal? I'd say Fire and Shadow are the best ones. Thanks for the super chat. And Metal, just not Death. Honestly, they're all pretty okay. It just comes down to how you use them. Thanks to the chat, though. Let's see what I could do. Plus, we'll have the summons as well. Hmm. There's no more cultists available. We also got to keep in mind that, okay, he doesn't have clad Bracrack. That's good. Because that thing fucks. Obviously, his lord is going to be better than ours. Yeah, magic attacks. So, with Thorak, mostly just try to avoid him. Uh, J Demo twenty two did attend on Super Shit. Hey Legend, CA may have fixed the Scaven Blight cheese. The beastmen spawn near Montero and have always erects a bloodstone there. Before you have enough food to recolonize it, tier five is it feelings? Um I don't have a problem with that. Um I, I yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Thanks to be chat, but yeah. Yes, yeah, I mean settlements grow pretty quick. Uh it doesn't take that long to get to tier five, so yeah, I'm fine with it. Typically speaking, I find that going to tier 4 is a little bit quicker and easier. You should have enough time to do that. Okay. So here's, here's what I'm trying to think, right? Will all of our forces be able to overcome this? Because, yeah, I've got quite a lot of bloodletters. We've got these Chaos Warriors here and a Chaos Hound. I don't have any, like, good tactic. Oh, and we've got summons. We'll have that for five turns. We need to have this fight happen quickly. Alright, I'm going to have this guy sit here. I reckon we might come under siege over the end turn. But I'm just going to keep recruiting more blood... ...letters. And I'm also going to get some more Ungor Raiders. That way, with this army here, I might, at the very least, be able to... ...poke at him a little bit, if he doesn't decide to attack. Ungor Raiders mostly just needed for Stalk. Um, Kairos Fate Weaver did a 5 super chat. When a sorcerer changes lore, lore of magic, he keeps the old spell passive, so I like to recruit Death Wizards and turn them into metal. That's a good idea, dude. That is a, that is actually a really good idea. Good thinking. Yeah, that is, that is a very good idea. Thanks, super chat. Yeah, because the lore of death is arguably the best passive. Yeah, that is a good idea. Good thinking. All right. All right, all right, all right. So this time we blow it up. I think we use this army here, and then we come over to Iron Rock. These guys here, they... Oh, no, they are starting to... Oh, how long have I been at war with them for? It might be better just to peace out with them. And maybe just disband these... Blood hosts.
thing is, if I disband them, I reckon I'm going to get declared worn all the way out this way. Because I, I, I need to have... Oh, hi, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, those are mutinous skits. <laughs> I was going to say, shit. Is Scar, uh, Scarsnick already here? No, that's mutinous skits. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, we've got... Yeah, okay. Plus, we've got this shit down here. But I can't just teleport them down. Hmm, decisions, decisions. It's gonna take some time to get over to here. Yeah, I think I'll still keep fighting them. Yeah, alright, let's just blow this up. This guy will launch the attack and then we'll get moving. Once again, gotta fight them it manually so these guys here can recover these ones specifically. So they. Like, most of the blood letters are gonna be decayed. By the time we get there, but at least the... Uh, I might as well disband the, the Bloodthirster after this. It's going to have, like, no health afterwards. Kill Manfred? Yeah, I'll probably need to try to kill Manfred as well. But Thorak is more pressing issue. Why did they make Confederation so hard in Warhammer 3? It's literally impossible to confederate the Lords now. Well, it's not literally impossible. It's just difficult. Um, so you could say it's figuratively impossible. Eh, grammar. No, um... I don't know why they did that. I think it's because they don't like... They didn't like the way that people were playing the game in Warhammer 2. In a lot of ways. They didn't like it that factions would just unite. Hey, Radiant Ash and their viewers just joined. Say hello. No! No. Welcome, Radiant Ash and your viewers. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. You know, you're one of the few people that actually bother to raid me. <laughs> Nobody else does. Or very few people. You and Mercy the Mad. And Dame Offensive. Are like the three that ever raid me. That's okay. Um, But I, yeah, I appreciate that. I forgot what I was talking about though. You disrupted me! <laughs> it's all good. It's a good kind of disruption. They didn't like it happening so early. Yeah, I, look, I think they went about it the wrong way, though. I really think they went about it the wrong way. But sometimes what Creative Assembly does is they, they come up with... Um, they come up with an idea of how they don't want people to play. And then they implement it in the most boring way possible. So, what they do... Okay, so think of it like this. They they look at the high elf economy and they're like, oh, we don't want people to be r that rich. And so rather than making some other way of making them interesting, they'll just take away the thing that they don't want people to play with. So they'll look at the way that the high elves unite really quickly. And rather than give the player more challenging tools to work with and still allow it to be possible, but make it more challenging, they instead just take it away disable it um which is much less interesting creative assembly if they want to make really good strategy games right really good ones what they need to do if they want to actually make challenging mechanics is make it so the the mechanics in the game are challenging to use but for a master of those mechanics give them a lot of possibility okay that way that way, a game doesn't become boring after 100 hours, 200 hours, or whatever. Because there's room... This is what I talk about with skill ceiling. Um, when a game... You can keep getting better at the game. Or, like, the longer you play it, and the more experience you get, the better you become. It has a high skill ceiling. That means you've got more potential to play it into the thousands of hours. This is why Warhammer 2 is so good. The skill ceiling in that game is enormous. But in Warhammer 3, they've, they've seriously reduced the skill ceiling with a lot of factions. Now what that's going to do is make it so that you basically master a race a lot easier. Um, and that therefore makes it that there'll be a lot more players that have essentially mastered a race. It's just, it's just not as valuable to be a master of any particular race in Warhammer 3. And that will, I think, cause people to get bored eventually. Not, not straight away, you know, but you know... Eventually, a lot quicker than they would have otherwise if they 
put in those other mechanics. Which is why I think that they should really consider making these factions easy to use, but difficult to master, and that mastery should be impactful. Like, really impactful. Like, if a, if a faction is able, like, if you're good enough at the game that you can unite your entire race by turn 20, by utilizing the mechanics really well, allow that to happen. You know, if you can get 100,000 gold per turn income by turn 50, you know, by being really good at the game, allow that to happen. Don't just be like, we don't like that players can get rich. We have disabled economies. You know, that kind of shit is just fucking beyond lazy, right? Because what it's doing is the developer is telling the player, we don't like the way you play, okay? That's not good. The developers shouldn't have anything to do with that with a single player game. They should stay out of that. It's not their job. Their job's actually the opposite. Make the game playable in so many different ways that anybody can enjoy it. But just don't make it easy for the player, that's all. Like, you know, make it so, you know, don't make it super easy. You know, don't make it so that turn one there's like a hundred entrepreneurs available to you. That's trivial then, you know. Make the slave mechanic for Dark Elves challenging. You know, you got to earn those slaves and you got to know what to do with them. You got to put the right decisions in. If you don't make the right decision, it backfires. You know, meaningful, impactful decisions. But if you're wise and you understand how it works and you have foresight and you know what's going to happen, um, then you can reap the benefits. And ultimate, ultimately, if you make poor decisions, it backfires and blows up in your face. That is good game design. But what Creative Assembly did with the slave mechanic is they just removed the player decision. Now, just get slaves. That's it. There's no decisions that you need to make. It's stupid. Uh, yeah, I can't afford another blood for the blood god. They made a giant push for multiplayer in Warhammer 3. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Maybe. But I, I would think this. I am totally fine with Creative Assembly. Um, wanting to focus on multiplayer. That is totally fine. If that's what they want to do with Warhammer 3, that's fine. But if it comes at the expense of single player, I think that's where they're going to get a lot of criticism because it doesn't matter what they do with multiplayer. The core design of multiplayer in Total War games is just fundamentally flawed, in my opinion. It's just bare bones. You know, unless they bring back Avatar Conquest and really develop it, anything that they do in multiplayer is just of no interest to me whatsoever. You know? It, it's kind of like Avatar Conquest or Bust. You know? It doesn't matter what they balance with multiplayer, I am never going to be interested in it unless they put in a deep, meaningful way in which players can progress their personal choices um, in a multiplayer thing. That's that's why Avatar Conquest was so good. So they need to take that mechanic and develop it further, and boom, I'll actually I might actually be interested in multiplayer. But you know, stripping away game features will never get me interested in multiplayer. Never. What percentage of players actually play multiplayer? I don't know. You'll have to ask somebody that's got the analytics on that. And that's why, you know, multiplayer... If you ask the general committee which Total War game had the best multiplayer, it's almost universally Shogun 2. It's, it can't be denied. It's the, it's the best multiplayer game. You know? What's Avatar Conquest? It's the multiplayer mode for Shogun 2. It allowed you to basically um, fight on maps and gain customizable rewards for your army that didn't make your army overpowered, but allowed you to customize it. Uh, you had army painter, you could level up your generals, you could level up your units. Um, you could, you know, have uh, your units would gain experience and you could rename them. So you have an attachment to your personal army in Shogun 2 as you continue to play um, Avatar Conquest. You know, you would unlock units uh, via Avatar Conquest mode. So, it had progression. It, like, it's a really good... If they took that and they expanded upon it, they'd really have something good for multiplayer. But they abandoned it with Shogun 2 and then they never brought it back. And just, I've 
never heard anybody say, oh, you know what sucked? Avatar Conquest. Never heard that been said. Because it was really good. And I don't even like multiplayer. Attila multiplayer, though. I liked Attila multiplayer because the battles were really good in Attila. But in terms of multiplayer, it was extremely bare bones. Um, Graham Bartman's did a 5 super chat. What are your thoughts on Bretonia as a faction? I'm looking for a good shock unit race. And I'm deciding between them and Ogres. I really like Bretonia. I probably like them more than Ogres. But that's probably because Bretonia has a very high skill ceiling, which I like. And um, they're very cheesable, which is what I like. Alright, I'm not going to build anything else there because we're probably going to lose it. Just leave that. Alright, well, we still got money to spend and minus five grand, six, six grand a turn is not that bad. Alright, with these guys heading <coughs> over here, we need to get to the realization that some of these blood letters are just not going to survive. I think we can get over here before this one decays. And by the time this one gets here, it's just going to be gone, so just get rid of it. It's costing me a fortune. Uh, Ekrand, we could upgrade. Yeah, yeah, do that, because we've almost got the entire province now, which would be nice. Um, I imagine there'll be a couple more war declarations coming soon. This one over here. Yeah, just leave that. Okay. I'm about to hit tier 4. Bloody expensive. Alright, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Militarily, let's have a look at diplomacy. Yeah, RT did 2 dollars in chat. Hey, Legend, does the supply line bug still exist? Um, it does with some factions, yes. It, it does exist for Corn and uh, Slanesh. Alright, let me have a look at this. Where's my manners? Come, come and die. Are they down to one settlement? Ah, uh, just let them die. I could get a little bit of cash out of them, but it will piss off the other other races. These ones here. Let me actually let me just see something. If I speak to Clan Moors, an offer to cancel vassalization. Now that I want to do it, I wanted to get my treaties back with them, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, looking at the beast men. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, five turns there. And this one's got one turn left, if I recall. Two turns left, okay, that's fine. Oh, we got another mission. That's why it's important to check. Okay, this allows me to at least keep track of her. I'll accept that mission. And let's move on. Andrew Bergliavaz did a $10 super chat. Avatar Conquest sounds like what Wormer tabletop players would do, which would be perfect for Wormer 3 multiplayer. Yeah, it almost makes no sense to me that they didn't implement it. I, I heard that they were trying to implement it and they simply ran out of time, and maybe they will implement it at some point, but I think that not implementing like an army painter and Avatar Conquest in general for Warhammer 3 was a gigantic mistake. You know, I, I honestly think that if they had Avatar Conquest mode um, on launch of Warhammer 3, it wouldn't have been half the shit show it otherwise was. It just goes to show how much of a half-baked game it really was on launch. You know, they're getting there, but it was not ready. And like I said... I don't personally have any stake in multiplayer, but I can see the value in Avatar Conquest, even if I don't personally use it. You can save admin lords and recruit them, influence free in other campaigns. Yeah. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, just go into a high-off campaign, save a whole bunch of particular traits on your heroes. Oh, I didn't launch the attack. It's raiding. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to beat him with the army that I've got, but now he won't be able to take the settlement. Yeah, this is going to have to be a permanent army, because uh, it's not just Thorek. We're going to have to deal with other stuff as well. Do you miss units sometimes run into melee or not even shoot? Uh, they run into melee when they run out of ammunition and you've given them an attack order. That always happens. You have to keep your eye on them. 
pushed it out because of investor pressure to release Q4. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's weird how I'm friends with Slanesh over here. But it's... It's only a temporary friendship. Yeah, this is doomed. The 2v2 campaign that Turin and Okoye did was actually so fun. I think you would enjoy doing that. They were cheesing each other. Yeah, but I just don't like multiplayer in general. I just like to play on my own. That That's great that they were having fun. That's great. But I, I don't really... I just like to play on my own. Like, if I wanted to play a co-op campaign, I'd do it. I just, I just don't want to... Alright, well, we've got 13 units, they've got 19. If we have a look here, we can get an idea that they are stronger than us. Now, thing to keep in mind is that I could come over here and just use the summons. Don't be a wasak. And then leave. And it would soften him up a little bit. And I could probably still get back to Death Gorge and keep recruiting. Or I could just kill- actually, you know what, this isn't that expensive in the grand scheme of things, like... If I can get a full stack together, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I can beat him. Oh, I don't like that he's doing this. It's causing a lot of Nurgle corruption. We've got it stable at the moment because I think because uh, of these. He's not specifically doing it for me, uh, to me, but, you know, it is a bit annoying. Uh, explain Nation to Eternals of Jet. When the game came out, I couldn't do the Kislev campaigns. The game would crash at the intro cutscene. They just fixed it with the Immortal Empires update. Okay, cool. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't have any, have any problem running the game. That wasn't my problem, was it? Ooh, those are some interesting looking skulls. Alright, and we can use this to find out where she is. She's out in the water here. Oh, that's her there. No, no, she's out in the water, definitely. Otherwise, she would have ruined well that. Looks like she might be coming up to Harkoneth to try to take it. But I'll have a blood host ready to stop her. Now, are we going to be able to get to the Palace of Ruin this turn? What are they doing over here? They haven't started recruiting any... They might be defunct. They might be a defunct faction. I've been looking forward to this. Mm, not sure, because they've already been wiped out before. They're not recruiting anything. They're not building anything either. Right, okay. Well, let's see. Uh, not a rooster did a five dollar super chat. Did some Torox testing and went above the 30 army limit. Either the limit was changed or this bug bypasses it. Yep, thanks super chat, dude. Yep, um. It's good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. This is good. Alright, right. Uh, we're going to create a blood host here, and I'm going to declare war on Valkyr. This will be a settlement that we need to occupy. I think we can justify ordering this. You know, it's not going to have much of a garrison. Alright, I can reach the Palace of Ruin, or I could attack this army here. But I think it's best we hit this, and then move along that way. Ah, oh, 
damn, that's gonna take two turns. But that's pretty good. We got three blood shrines there. You know I like them. Um, money is going down to shit. When this guy arrives over here, I might have to disband him. Betrayal is weakness. You will pay the. Well, who seeks the dark convent? Hells yeah, there's some money. Okay, can I get a settlement as, out of this? No, I gotta pay them. Unless I give them a non aggression pact. I could take the great arena. But what's the point? Dark Elves will just go and attack it. What's the point? Unless, unless I'm getting a major settlement. Why bother? So, I'll just take the money. That's that's some pretty good money for that. It is done. Alright, we just went to war with Valkyr. Try giving the dead vassals some money to see if they recruit a lord. They did... What, this one? That's not my vassal. The It's gonna be worth sacking. It will actually. It will be worth sacking. Yeah, I need every coin I can get. Graham Bartman said a two dollar super chat. Did you ever try out Ori Total War? I did, but I kind of lost interest in it really quickly. All right, we definitely can't auto resolve this. I have to fight it manually. Got any tips with Vampire Coast and IE Sieges? My gunpowder troops basically useless. Mm, maybe recruit a stalking unit and go in and um, cap the points. Cap the, the I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't played Vampire Coast yet at all. Did you notice in your Lockyer campaign you can refresh your Black Ark movement by starting building horde buildings and doing a siege battle? Uh, okay, so that's interesting. It actually works with recruiting as well. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that. Yeah, if you go and recruit something, go into a siege battle or just load the game, um, you can reset their movement. But yeah, I'm aware of that. And you can do that with every faction. Actually, you can do that with every faction except Warriors of Chaos, since they can't go into recruitment stance. They just recruit them instantly. And I guess same thing with Nurgle. Funny, a exploit that the Warriors of Chaos and Nurgle exclusively can't use. Alright. I think we can just send in the A-team here. Oh, uh, should I send in the War Shrine? It is... Relatively slow. Yeah, it'll be fine. It, it's super strong. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's coming over here. We're not stalking. Cool, we're out of range. No sense in taking excessive casualties. These three here can do it all on their own. So here's the new, uh, the Corn War Shrine unit. And there's our boy up front there. Yeah, you just get back. Just let Scarbrand do it. He signals, I obey! Do you reckon they overdid it with supply line nerf? I feel so easy. No, it's not the supply line nerf that's the problem. It's the um, the passive AI. What I found is if you want to make your game difficulty, it's it all comes down to the end game crisis. You know, if you're if you're ending your campaigns before the end game crisis has been dealt with, then you're kind of playing on easy mode. Because yeah, that's uh that's where the difficulty really comes in. That's what I've discovered. Cool, we can see the intensity going up. It would be good to get his speed up. Need to 
48 with that. That's not enough for him to keep up with them. Uh, Warn Train's ever worth recruiting? I'm not sure. Depends on which type. I feel like the Nurgle one's really good because it provides regen. The Corn one seems a bit meh. Generating about as fast as it's taking damage. Also, you gotta keep in mind this guy doesn't have any equipment on him, so he could get a lot tougher. In your games of stream, have you had any trouble with endgame crisis? No, not really. We we only the only one where we encountered the endgame crisis was the um, uh, Cetra one. And I've been playing that in my own time, and it hasn't been a trouble, it's just been grindy. I'm getting close to taking out, um, uh, Helm and Gorse, and honestly, he's the worst one, because his zombies are bloody unkillable. My god, it's been such a pain in the ass dealing with his zombies, because they just don't stop regenerating. Master Consagina Gaming, get a 2 jet. Has there been buffs that wins the magic capacity yet? There has been some small buffs, nothing nothing too major. But there are a few small buffs. Alright, this guy here has got a summon ready to go. Um, right when we were practically finished here. Oh boy, Scarbrand's having a bit of a tough time with that one. Alright, we should be pretty close to the army losses now. If not, we'll just head over here. Do we expect CA to support this game like they supported Wemmer 2 with all the DLC? Um, it, it seems like that will be the case. Yeah. Uh, if we have a look. Let me have a look. If we have a look at Wemmer 3 now. If it's at above 100,000 still. Yeah, okay. That's that's pretty dumb healthy. This is doing so much better than the main game. So it seems quite likely that Wemmer 3 will be fine now. Yeah, it was a little bit of a concern there for a while. But, you know. It's... Over the how long's it been out? Five days, six days? Not not very long. Um, it's decaying only. It only decayed by a tiny, tiny little bit. So that's really good. If I recall correctly, with um the main game, it went from one hundred and sixty thousand. Then like a week later, it was at eighty thousand. It was just decayed so quickly because people found out it was a garbage campaign. He seems to have very solid bones. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. It's got some problems. It's not perfect. I think it's really important to call out those things that aren't perfect so they can get better. But, yeah, it's much better than Realms of Chaos. Much better. Yeah, can't possibly say that they haven't made some really, really stupid decisions for Immortal Empires. But, uh... I think people are just happy that they can actually use all that DLC again. Without having to play Warhammer 2. <laughs> He's never going to be able to keep up with them. Can always put him back on his horse for sieges. I just wanted to see how we'd go.
Are you still open to do the turn three or tier or four tier four skin blend, i.e.? Yeah, you can still do it. You can still do it. You just need to make sure it's not your only settlement. But yeah, you can still do it. And I guess you could do the tier five one as well, but you have to take out Morgur. You have to do it. There's no way you can do it without doing that. There we go. Well, same time as then. Okay. What do you think about the fact that flying lords can't capture points? Um, it's fine. It would be. It would be broken. Okay, so if Flying Lords could capture points, then you would... The defender would never have the advantage. Which, in a siege situation, against equal forces, the defender should have the advantage. Now, already the defender doesn't have the advantage. If Flying Lords could could capture points, then the def defender would always be in a disadvantage. You would actually need a larger army in order to defend. And also, what happens if you didn't have any missile units? How would you get rid of the Lord? Um, that could be a catastrophe for the game and don't get me wrong I know that there are already some flying lords that can capture things I know alright suck it and then occupiers Ooh, spices. Okay, so now Scarbrand's gonna run along here. Uh, straight Shooter Gaming did a $2 subject. Which Legendary Lord defeat trait for Scarbrand's are worth it? Um, anything that improves his... Either his personal strength or his army is worth it. Oh yeah, Scarbrand never defeated, um... <laughs> Um, Thorak, that actually would have been really good. Anything that gives him additional resistances. But stuff like the Fae Enchantress for extra regen, uh, casualty flesh rate's not needed, or probably extra leadership's not really needed. Okay, this guy's finally immortal. So that's good. Yeah, give him melee defense. Alright, let's have a look at his, um, what have I got here? Like I said, that's not really needed. Luckstone could be good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nah, that's actually better. Sword of Striking. Need something for melee defense to be better. Alright, Talisman of Protection. Yeah, let's put that on this guy here. Ah, oh, Talisman of Endurance is better. Ugh, I do not have good items yet. I definitely could... Merge some of these. I'm gonna. I don't really care about Fireball. I think I might put it on that other Lord, though. Mm. Like, Talisman of Protection is only 5%. Dragon Bane Gems, not that important. I'm gonna fuse these two, see if we get something better. I bet we'll end up with some fucking un uh, enchant um, arcane item. <laughs> really need that oh well oh well um yeah oh well we can turn that into a blue item eventually uh taylor banks became a member for two months all right thanks dude appreciate the support all right looking over here Goraemon. all right i am going to give you that ruby ring of actually no no don't equip it now all right we need to recruit some more units oh marauder horseman of corn If I recall, those were pretty freaking good because their missile strength is armor piercing. Quite a lot of armor piercing. I don't have much ammo though. They're a little bit cheaper than 
blood letters. Why is our leadership low off? What's going on there? He must be doing something that's lowering our leadership in the area. I know we're doing that to him as well. Uh, alright, alright, what are we going to put into this army? Because he seems to lack missile units. Yeah, I'm going to get them Royal Horsemen of Corn. Look at that balanced army, you'd never see that. Prior. Uh, okay, with 17 units in the army, I can't recruit any more from here. Uh, with se oh, I can get these two over here. Uh, with 17 units in the army, I feel like I can overcome uh, him in battle. I think I can do it. Bloodletting. No, that's not. That's melee attack, not leadership. That's me melee attack. Alright, let's have a look here. Blood Mountain, yep, upgrade it. Don't spend, oh my god, minus nine grand. <laughs> I really need more money. Okay, so hang on. Uh, Blood Mountain, what do we need here? Iron? Iron will give us skulls and income from the local province plus 5%. That'll be good later down the track. Right now, 5% of that is nothing. So let's get this one here, because that does provide some money. Which, which has the highest base? 60, 60, nothing. 60, 60, 60... Okay, so yeah, just get that, because at least it does provide some benefit. Mm. Let's, let's plan it out, actually. Would it be better to increase our capacity for heroes instead? So, one build slot. Didn't Blood Reapers used to come from here? So one build slot there, say two that one there, three there. See, that doesn't give us extra capacity for exalted heroes, it just gives us the ability to recruit them. Um, now nah, let's build that, I'll figure it out. Alright, uh, let's see what else can we build. Morgheim is being developed. It's not under any threats. I'm not going to bother upgrading it right now when money is kind of a problem. I want more, more, more money. I dedicated Chaos Lord to make him an undivided demon in my Archeon campaign, and he seemed bad. Any thoughts on best dedication for lords and heroes? I never really looked into that very much, so I don't know the first thing about what to do there in that situation. I need to play it a lot more, and I sort of haven't been playing much Warriors of Chaos, so I, I don't know. But thanks, yeah. Blood Reapers are also tier 4? Okay, I just I guess I haven't played it much. Alright, getting to tier 4 here. We've got, we've got 16 units in the garrison. Oh, uh, that's that's going to go away. So I've actually only got 13 units in the garrison. Does this provide a larger one? Okay, so this is... Yeah, there's one additional unit. I've I got to get up there anyway. Um, yeah, do that. And this will provide a bit of money in the province. No, local region. Got to be careful, I can't spend too much more. Death Gorge. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hold it. I'm going to keep this one at the Demonic Portal. Oh god, eight grand. Oh, I got enough money for two more turns. <laughs> you know what? Uh, no, I, I'll, I'll do that another turn. We, we, we really don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, oh god, I need to free up some cash. Scarbrand, I need some money. I'm not going to be able to get to Glacial Gardens next turn. Not unless this guy walks back over here, which, let's be real, he's going to run away from me like crazy. I'm not going to be able to attack here next turn. I'm not going to be able to attack here next turn. Next turn is basically going to have nothing going on, apart from maybe Thorek. Not going to be able to hit there next turn, so it's going to take time. Um, we should be able to get some money out of these guys real soon. I think it's one more turn with him. Yeah, one more turn with that one. Let's see if I can get him to join a war. Nah, 
Nah, none of this is gonna work. Um, and what about you? You got any money for me? He doesn't want a defensive alliance anymore. He considers me his biggest threat. But he still likes me. Gifts given to Scabby Eye. That was ages ago. Oh well. Alright, that appears to be all I can do this turn. Ooh, clan worms. Where are they? I am great powerful warlord. You are impressed by my tail size. Yes, Where the yes. fuck are these guys? Uh, Matthew McClory did a two dollar super chat. Thanks for reading my long non super chat. Uh, no, dude. Thanks for super chat. <laughs> Have you encountered the wire yet? No, it's on its way probably. Where the fuck are these guys? Hang on, do they even have any territory? Master of Sand. Where, where are Clan Burns? You are impressed by my tail size. Yes, yes. I'm just trying to decide. Oh, are they here? Oh, they're here. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, they're not really an enemy. I could use this as a way to get some money. Yes, yes. God, yes. Yeah, we got enough enemies for now. Enchantress. Grand, nah. Red Fangs want peace. That's a fair bit of money for peace. I do need cash. Nah, screw Scabby Eye. Okay, cool. I made a bit of money out of that. So maybe now we can justify getting this construction here done. And I still want this because that's our only place at the moment to get blood letters. Clan Vern's pops in character Krill. Okay, thanks, dude. Uh, King Cribble did a two-pound super chat. Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry, haha, -ha, yeah, uh, thanks for the super chat. Oh, fuck sake, man. Thanks for the super chat. Your presence here angers the god Hassar. And I Yeah, you're about to die, who cares? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So Morgheim. No, I'll just leave that. <laughs> Treaties with Numas. Okay, how would you like it if I broke the treaty with Numas? What if I broke military access with Numas? Oh god, if I could get that going, that'd be so good. I could just squeeze him for every coin he's got. He just won't do it. Break non-aggression pact with... World Walkers? Now nah, everything's baseline evaluation minus six there. Uh, Graham Bartman did a five dollar super chat. Since corn has an economic system, does that mean that corn accountants exist? I guess. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Where's this death gorge? Okay. Yeah, I'll build that. All right, I'll have got, I've got enough money for two more turns. This next turn, well, we'll just see how we go. If he just sits there raiding, I've oh, he's costing me two hundred gold as well. But then we take this army and we come down here and attack. Alright, here we go. Moving on. You can put a banner of swiftness on the war shrine cultists to make it faster. Yeah, but then Scarbrand won't be faster. But you are right. Graham Bartman did a photo of submission. I read that out. Yeah. Hello, have you. Out in your blood and skulls expense reports this month, Scarbrand. Yeah. Well, think of it like this. Think of it more like, have you been have you been doing enough for corn this turn? You know, have you dedicated enough skulls? Have you uh, dedicated enough of your favor with corn this turn? It's not real money, really. It's favor with corn, and like you you spend your favor to get more troops. It's all a gift of corn. Uh, I can't. I can't. No, there's no way. This is an order resolve win. Yeah, no. Nah. Alright, that's fine. It doesn't stop me from recruiting. Um, Rotary MT did a $5 super chat. Hello, hi Legend. I just finished your When You Just Can't Kill Malekith video. Really enjoyed it. Love your work, mate. Alright, dude. Appreciate that. How'd that video do anyway? Let me just have a look.
And did alright. Also, YouTube Blade deleted 200 of my subs yesterday. <laughs> Are you guys bloody like spamming subs on my and subbing to me? Because this happens every time I do like a um, a I'll do something if we reach a certain number of subs. Um, YouTube just like takes away a whole bunch of my subs. This is why I tell people not to bloody create new accounts. Oh shit. Was that Skarsnik there? Will you do a 455k or 450k subspecial? Oh, nah. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's see. Hopefully we can actually reach him. What's going on? Oh, the game has... Oh, you've gone and done this. Graphical bug. Graphical bug. I think I need to get out of the game and get back into it. I hate it when it does this. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's kind of done this shit again. Oh shit! It says I can reach there this turn. That's good. Alright. Alright guys, I just gotta get out of the game and get back into it. It's just done a bit of a graphical glitch. This happens every now and again. It's not a big deal. Hey, Lemon Pledge. Uh, yeah, I finished 613 after the raid yesterday, and this morning at 602, lol. Which, big thanks again at Legitator Wolf for the raid. Basically, double my sub count. Hope today is going well for you. Alright, thanks, dude. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, the, the game was definitely about to shit itself. Come on. What's the glitch? We had a bit of a graphical glitch, uh, glitch going on. Um, it wasn't showing me my movement range. Made, made it very difficult to predict how far I could actually move. Just give it a sec. I'll just get back into it. It should fix itself. It's not the first time I've had this problem. Hey, Legend. Did you know that Warband Recruitment is province face? For the Warriors of Chaos, you can go... Okay, did you know that I actually read that out the first time you wrote that? Mr. George? I am more than happy for you to put a chat message in there twice, okay? But I read that out the first time you wrote it, okay? So that means you didn't listen to my response, okay? <laughs> so, if... I'll tell you what, do you know what really pisses me off? When people spam things in the chat... After I've already, not that you're spamming, after I've already answered it. Because me reading that out means that somebody else didn't get their message read out. Okay? So if you're going to ask a question, at least stick around to hear the answer. You know, don't just pop it in the chat and then go off to another tab and do something else and... Oh, I don't know if he answered my question. I'll just do it again. Yeah. Loads of people don't get their question answered. You're very lucky if you get yours. Sorry, Legend. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying, like... So many people don't get their questions answered. There we go. It's fixed. It's fixed.
I'll give you $100 right now if you ignore every super chat for the rest of the stream session. No deal. Oh, I've got a mission for this. Who gave me the... Oh, Numas. Oh, who cares? They're not going to matter now. All right. If we have a look here, our strength ranking is considered less than theirs. So I'm going to have to work my ass off to win that. Um, I think we have a type advantage. Problem here is that this guy is small. So I'm not really going to be able to get him to waste the ammunition of those units. Um... Oh yeah, I could just do this. Yeah, let's not leave any of the chance. I need, I need fucking heavy hitters. Probably standard fight. Okay. Cool. That is a thorax size problem sorted out. I'll give you $100 right now if you do answer every super chat. Alright, deal. I will take the money since that cost me so much to deal with this. And that makes his army a fair bit stronger. Alright, get rid of them. They're for emergencies only and they're bloody expensive. All right, and uh, okay, cool. Well, we're let's see what we do with it. Old Grump Slayer, that's a good trait for us. All right, I need uh, was that four melee attack? Yeah, okay. All right, now we're going to take this guy and um, take the fight to the enemy. As much as I can. Well, that was a little bit anticlimactic, I guess. But we got rid of him. Now, do you know why it was important to auto resolve that? Because if I won the battle, right, he still would have he would have run away, and he would have still attacked floating village. Auto resolving it guaranteed that we wiped him out. Um, I was willing to fight it manually, but shit, it gave us the auto. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright, well these guys, they've now reached the dead end. They've reached their dead end. Alright, well, here we go. Oh god. Oh god, oh jeez, oh god, oh damn, oh jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of potatoes. Um, is it possible to donate 10k Aussie dollars? No, the most you can donate is $500 per day. Mm, she came down to the great arena. Look at this, I actually make it here. Alright, they, they okay, so they weren't inactive, they just took that long to recruit something. Alright, since our money is this bad, this is a pretty good blood host, but he doesn't have anywhere else to go, so I think we should just blow this up. Probably just auto resolve it. And just disband it. Because I just can't afford it any longer. How is this going over here? My blood. Yeah, I might see him, might not. Yeah, I can't imagine we won't be able to order resolve that. Yeah, it's fine. Not worth sacking, so skulls. Let's be done with Ag Hole. Not useful for this guy, but whatever. Okay, that secures that frontier. Alright, disbanding this will save us more than two grand, I think. Not a bad uh, um, blood host, but. You know, our money. Okay, that, that buys us an extra turn, yeah. essentially. Uh, excuse me. Alright. Scarbrand can't attack anything this turn. And unfortunately, if a battle isn't fought this turn, it will decay down to here, which that'll increase his upkeep cost, but... 
There are just no battles to do out here. I don't care if we get attacked in Force March. I don't think anyone's game enough to try me. So we want to get around over here when we blow this up. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I can't spend too much more. Oh, God. Alright, well, okay, so we got this over here. I think we... Look, considering the Wa is on its way, even if I end up losing and getting these all destroyed, they're totally exhausted anyway. So let's hurt them as much as we can, and if possible, make them go away. Oh, man, look how... Oh, they took out Karaza Karak really friggin' quick. Also, how strong is he compared to us? Yeah, pretty strong. Oh, look! Green Sliver. Yeah, we, we actually got a little bit stronger compared to him now. But yeah, looking at Crooked Moon. We're in for a bit of a ass pounding over here, I think. Funny thing about this campaign, though, is we haven't yet suffered a defeat. But this isn't a no-defeat campaign, and this is probably where we'll suffer our first one. Alright, who should launch this attack? I might be able to win this, this battle here, maybe, because this army doesn't look too fantastic. And we do have a, 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 almost two full stacks. Almost. Um, there's some stuff in here that's a bit of a concern. I don't ha obviously have lightning strike with these. Oh, <laughs> oh, you've reached the end of the road here. Well, shit. Might as well just stop building these. This is... They're, they're gunning straight for us. They're ignoring everything else along the way. Oh, man. This is... This is... This is what you were coming for. Mr. George102 did a two-year super chat. I'm sorry, Legend. It won't happen again. Okay, no worries, dude. That's fine. Thanks, super chat. I'm not angry about it. It happens all the time. I find it's better to tell people off so they don't do it again as opposed to just pretend like everything's all good. Alright, well. Yeah, we're not gonna win. We might not win. Decisive defeat. Uh... Oh, because we've got damaged units, that's why. Alright, so. How should we do this? Yeah, definitely don't control large armies. Because our individual armies should be stronger than theirs. I just don't want to get overwhelmed. That first army's not that big of a deal. Um. And the, the most dangerous units will show up last. As an Aussie, can you explain how all of Australia agreed to troll foreigners about drop bears? Well, it really was an experiment into American gullibility, more so than trying to trick foreigners. <laughs> That's all. Kite armies to buy time. No, I don't need. Uh, I'm broke. I need to. I need to just fight them head on and just. I'll just do the best I can to damage them. I'll just do the best I can. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. Alright. Now, we're the attacker in this situation, so what's that going to mean? Cheesing their ammo is not really an option. We want them to come up here. That way, their reinforcements take forever to get here. We want them to come at us a little bit at a time. Alright, if you... Let's just see what they do. Are they going to come at us? Yeah, they... Okay, good. They're coming at us. Alright, you... We've got some summons as well. Now, another thing is that we do have the option to withdraw. I don't know. How fast is he? He's faster than us. Alright, I think maybe trying to wait. Oh, they got archers. They're going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, I can pop down the summons on them. You can drag reinforcements? Yep. Alright, which one's coming first? I kind of want this one to come first, so what I'll do is I'll put that over there. Uh, 
that way. This one comes in first in two minutes, and these ones will come in afterwards. So once that, once all of those have come in, I'll throw in the the other reinforcements. So the reason why I want them in is because of those um, war shrines. Let's see how many units we've we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect number. Awesome. Perfect number of troops to come in. Could always get rid of these Chaos Furies. Can't exactly do much with them. Okay, we should probably blob up a little bit so that the Chaos War Shrines can activate their ability on, on everyone. Uh, but then again, do they have any uh, nasty twirly whirlies? They might. I didn't actually check. I would never fucking check. prevent ourselves from getting flanked. Okay, here we go. These will come in first. So yeah, you can even choose which order your reinforcements come in, if you know what you're doing. Alright, wait for all of them to come in. Alright, all of them to come in. Cool, now move these in. Only 20 units can come in at a time. That's okay. Hang on. Oh shit. Hang on. You need to come around from here. Son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. Get get over there, get over there. Trying to get organized quickly here. You get oh shit, get back over here or else you're gonna get killed, boy. You're probably gonna get killed anyway. I'll get those archers in a moment. Alright, these ones here, get them in a control group, and we need to get rid of these forest goblin spider riders. One at a time. Some degree. Nasty skulkers. I'm not seeing night goblins in here. Oh, there they are. Shit, I didn't check if they were fanatics. Oh, they're aiming for, for them. Get them back. Fucking attack, here we go, attack, 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 that's how we corner it up. There we go, go for that one. Okay, you guys just hang in the rear, we don't want you getting killed. Okay, summons on. Fucking, that one, unit there. Okay, don't fire at will. I'll manually use you. Okay, they've got a blob spell. Okay. I gotta keep that in mind. Luckily we're spell resistant. That's good that they just used that there. Okay, get that one out of there. When he's getting wrecked, get it out. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, that one's gone. Okay, reinforcements are arriving. The unit got wiped out. Oh god, look at this guy here. It took so much damage. Watch out, you're getting shot. Ooh. 
god. <laughs> over here. I need to get rid of the Night Goblin Archers with them. Okay, look at this, look at this. Oh, you stupid goblins. In a good way, kind of. Okay, more reinforcements are coming. Okay, all four of our lords have arrived. Just be careful with them. Lobbed up a bit, but as long as they don't cast too many dangerous spells on us, we should be okay. Nice hit there. Ooh, good shot. Back from that, get back. Uh, it's not really doing much damage, it's physical damage, I suppose. Send him up against something fairly easy. How'd the summon end up doing? Uh, try that. 100 kills on the summon here, that's good. Watch out, watch out, watch out, don't fight that dude. Oof, nice hit. But maybe don't shoot anymore. Alright, first army has been vanquished for the most part. Now try to kill these lords. Now we just have to decide, do we have enough to deal with the second army, which is stronger? But, I've still got mm, next to no reinforcements. Still, if we can kill these lords, uh, that will make a big difference. Enemy reinforcements are approaching, but they're coming at us in waves, which is good. If we get rid of these two guys here, it should be okay to blob up. Night Golden Archers, and some of sort them out. Actually, why don't you lock like personal better? So don't let these two here get away. I want them dead. When you get in there, I want them dead. Actually, they can't die, they're immortal, but I want them wounded. Okay, I've still got one more summon, that's for the... Uh, oh, goblin lovers. I think that dude's gonna get away. Alright, better. Okay, one of them died. Was it the main one? I'm not sure. Yes, it was. Cool. Does this guy here have any good spells? No. So we got rid of their main spell caster. Okay, that's good. Alright, how likely are we to win still? Pretty low. This we're doing damage to them. More reinforcements come in. Why do you think the AI green skins always give you such trouble? It's the big war. <laughs> Um, I know, it's because uh, brainless AI kind of works with green skins because their main stick is just throw forces at the enemy, so it kind of works for them. Whereas things like High Elves, for example, if they've got an archer based army, you can trick them. Ah, missed, damn it. Got a bunch of Black Orcs incoming. No, don't go over there. Alright, let's not wait around. Let's get in there. 
Typically we want to stay close to our reinforcements, but we don't have much left now. And... Yeah. There's a lot of Black Orcs in this force here, but you know, we're anti-infantry. You know, Black Orcs are still Black Orcs. And all their toughest units haven't arrived yet, so if we can beat them before they arrive, that'd be really good so that we could much more easier focus on them. Keep these ones out of it for the time being. We still don't have too many archers in this build here, in this, in this group. Got cavalry coming from the side here, protect our flanks a bit. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win. But it wasn't about winning, it's about doing as much damage to them as possible, and we definitely did that. Oh, hang on, don't, don't give up just yet. This doesn't look good. Alright, I'm gonna need to use this summon on their archers. I was gonna use it for their grudge, uh, their, their artillery, but I don't think they're coming. I don't know which one of these is the main commander. Save them until the very end. Guess. Oh, good. Some more reinforce. Well, not necessarily good. I mean, you don't have to die for that to come in. Keep buffing them as much as we can. These guys did a good job. Skull Cannon. It's still got a little bit of fight left in it. Run this one down here. Just gotta restore its ammo. Oh, this one here is gone. It's not crumbling though. Aiming specifically for the war shrines, they're actually being kind of smart with that. That's what I'd aim for. Don't think I can justify going at them just yet, gotta keep focusing. Actually, you know what? Oh no, the freaking arachnoid spiders here. <laughs> shit. What are we gonna deal with this shit? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm running, I don't think I've got any more reinforcements left. We're running on fumes. I think I've done about as well as I could, but I don't think we're going to win. It's going to be really close, but their units are, at the very least, getting smashed. Oh, you know what we could do? What we could do? Um, if I could manage to get these to all the way over... Oh, I don't know how we're going to get there. But if I could manage it, take out the artillery with them. Go, 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 go. I have to punch through. Punch through all this shit. Uh, the blood letters are going to have to just fight over here. Run them through. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see here. Hang on. Hang on. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. But take out the uh, that thing there with the blood reapers. Looks they hit hard. Well, we got fucking squigs coming in. I was gonna go after the artillery, but the squigs here are a problem. gonna be so close. Come on, hit hit this derpy piece of shit. You get out, you get out. I'm gonna put you back on. No, 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 no. You'll shoot at friendly units. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Come 
Come on, the Arachnorx spider is being really derpy. Oh my god, we nearly killed the Arachnorx spider. That's good, that's good. Get rid of these fucking squigs, they're pissing me off. This guy here is probably gonna die. Death embraces our lord. Uh, hopefully he wasn't the main one. I'm not sure if he was or wasn't. This one's pissing me off. Let me have a look. I can find out if he was. Ah, oh, damn it, he was the main one. Jeez, he was at full health too when we started the battle. Is it just me, or is there a little bit of hope? No, that didn't shoot! Shoot! Come on, shoot! Yeah, boy! Nice hit. You need to take them out. Kill it! Kill it dead. I won. <laughs> I won, guys. Now kill it. I actually won. Holy shit. God damn. No, don't push it that way. Don't push it that way. It doesn't want to leave that way. Don't force it. I fucking won. Our army is destroyed, absolutely destroyed, but you know, their armies were way stronger than- And we got it! Nice. Woo! Fucking hell. Oh look, we just lost the lord. Oh well. Look at the kills on these ones. That's just two of the armies. It's better than nothing, dude. We gotta get rid of them at some point. Oh, look at this army here. Completely destroyed. Complete, look, complete wiped on two of our armies. <laughs> Remaining 54 troops. <laughs> because we won, though, they should have just the Blood Reaper with one health remaining. How many armies are left? I don't know how many enemy armies are left, but a lot. Mr. Sully did a ten dollar super chat. Blood for the blood god. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Andrew Bergliaves did a five dollar super chat. Here's my tribute to you, glorious victory legend. Huh? Hey Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks. Super chat. Yeah, yeah, we get that back. Whew. Twenty thousand twenty thousand gold we got out of that. That's cool. That'll keep my armies going for a short time. And what should I get out of this? 2,800 skulls? Yes, please. Skulls for the skull it's a start. If nothing else, I, it's a start. Alright, this one here can't be reinforced by these ones. That one there can, so there's no getting rid of that right now. Um, thanks for those skulls. Saved our money, I guess. Guess what we could do is start recruiting another army over here. Let wait for them to recruit Bittus. Occupy Bittus don't mind. We need more blood hosts out here. Um I'd say we just take this one out here and then just disband them. That way we deprive them of a victory. That lord there. Yeah, he was already immortal coming into this. Most of them are. Yeah, when they spawn, they come in really high level. That was a tough one. That was a... That was a dogfight. It didn't look good at, to begin with, but then we got him in the end. Harry... Sorry, Hunter B did attend a super chat. Hey, Legend, have you considered making a video on ranking non-unique 
weapons and armor talismans tier list style. Appreciate the content as always. Cheers. No, that seems like it'd be a lot of work and tier lists... I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not really thinking about that sort of, sort of stuff right now, but thanks Super Chat. Jan J did a PLN50 Super Chat, milk for the cornflakes. Alright, thanks, do appreciate Super Chat. Why L did a $5 Super Chat? Are you going to do tier lists for Immortal Empires soon? Really like them for ME, thanks. Um, well, the Regiment of Renown one was for Immortal Empires, but we'll see, we'll see. I've got nothing planned at this point. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright, just thought I'd resolve it. This is, this is the end for them. The only thing I could possibly do here is just make the attack knowing full well we will lose, just so that we can utilize the summons, and I think they're just unbelievably petty. We ran this as long as we could. Look at the financial difference there. Look at that. That's what happens when you got bloody supply lines on your blood hosts. Still in the negative, but... Okay, so how long until they reach their first settlement? It'll take them a couple of turns to get the Bitterstone Mine. I should probably cancel this. Um, I did say before that Ekron didn't seem like it was going to get attacked, but now it obviously does. So maybe we should just cancel that, because seven units aren't going to do much. Um, are they at war with... Uh... This one? No, no, I don't think I can get him to go to war with Broken X, can I? Nah. Do you think defending settlements is worse in IE? Uh, it's worse in Warhammer 3. Well, it depends on the situation, I guess. I, I don't like the siege rework, for the most part. Not everything about it I hate, but for the most part, I think it's overall a failure. Alright, so... Still got that blood host over... No, I got rid of that one. That's the only blood host I've got. Remember what Does that mean I've only got three armies? Yeah. Check the strength ranking of Skarsnik. Well, our strength ranking would have gone down as well. Yeah, we took a hit with that. For sure. What other enemies do they have? Because, so, uh, looking at what... Hang on, where are they? Looking at what enemies they've got can dictate which direction they go in. Alright, they're still at war with Karaza Karak, so Karaza Karak isn't finished yet. And they're at war with Karak Kadrin, so they're going to head up this way. Probably declare war on Empire Factions. That's good. They're all with the Mutinous Gits, which, that's good. That's these guys here. So they hopefully won't just beeline for us, and the more they spread out, the better. Losing this entire province here really doesn't impact us that much. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't upgrade this. There's just no point. There's just no point. Same thing here. We're never going to be able to hold it. Never going to be able to hold it. And upgrading it's not going to provide any extra defenses. Um, how long does it take to build walls? Five turns. I don't know if we'll get that built in time. I could start recruiting another army here. Oh, we should do that one that reduces their campaign movement range. That'd be good. There's one that causes attrition. It's not this one. Okay. Morgai might be able to defend itself a little bit. Because it's difficult to cross over here and we've got at least some semblance of forces. You checked the wrong orc faction on the basement? Alright. I don't think it matters, but okay. Oh, you're right, I probably did. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any difference. Sell everything, you're going to get monies from the buildings? Yeah, you're probably right there, yeah. So, we would get 600 for that. Uh, I can leave it for a couple of turns. Leave it for a couple of turns. But yeah, just leave them as, as ruins. Could sell it off to other... F uh, let me have a look at this, actually. I sold Stonemine Tower to them in exchange for a war declaration against Crooked Moon. Oh, 
if the more people I can get to go to war with them, the better. Yeah, they want Stone Mine Tower. Try Clan Moors. Where are they? Do not bore me, thing. I'll take No, they don't want any of these settlements. They're not interested. And getting them to go to war with Crooked Moon. No. Oh, that's actually not too bad. 26 grand, though. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on. What if I offered to go to war with Karakazul? Yeah, that saves me some money. Karakazul doesn't seem like that'd be a huge concern. Uh, I just pieced out with Red Fangs. And they don't even want me to do that, so that's good. Um, what else could I do here? What if I offered to break my vassalization with Numas? No, they don't want that. Hang on, let me just have a look here. They'll do that for free. Uh, CMDR Brown did a five dollar super chat. As Scarbron, I used a cult to teleport to Infernius in the Chaos Waste. Pretty much just started a new campaign, bullying Daniel. Have a good day. That's similar to what I've done, actually. Thanks for super chat. Any way to increase research rate as Tomb Kings? Yes, you have to defeat certain legendary lords. So, um, Thorgrim, Rapance, and Ikaclaw are ones that can get extra research rate. So, getting their trait on different lords is how you increase research rate. And then, of course, capturing settlements and stuff. Hmm. What if I cancel military access with Numas? No, they just, they just don't care. They don't like... Harbingers of Disaster. What if I... Hang on, hang on. Let me try this instead. Go to... Harbinger of Disaster. Where are they? Offer to give them one of these settlements. No, it's not worth enough to them. It's not worth enough. You can't make money sweeten the deal with them. So I can make Clan Moors do it. You know, and they can act as a bit of a shield, because they're over here. And they'll they'll definitely not consider me the biggest threat anymore, because that's why they cancel their defensive alliance with us. What what? More things for my trophies. Challenge me. There you you. Hmm, they want that one. Morgheim. Oh, I could... Okay. Alright, here we go. This is interesting. I could trade Morgheim, and they'll declare war on... On, um... Crooked Moon, and I can score some money out of them. If they do that... Like, Morgheim's not that big of a deal for us. Let's, let me have a look at it. What tier is it? It's tier 3, right? Put some investment into it. Hmm... Because, yeah, then they'll probably want to deal with us. And having the Skaven deal with, with them could be quite good. Yeah. Give settlement to Moors. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about giving them Morgheim. It's the only one that they want. Because if I give them Morgheim, I'm losing it on 338 gold. But... We have a bit more of a shield against them. And I can just get it off, off them later. Thing is, that's my defensible city. If I demolish the buildings, it'll be worth less, and then they won't want it. Um, hmm. And then what I could maybe do is gift them all of these settlements out here. Right? So that they really hate them because they're just gonna lose it all of blight. and i can recruit an army here and try to give them some battle support and blow up settlements out here as it happens okay this could work all right i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that all right i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you morgheim hang on is morgheim what hang on let me think about this how much money do I have? I could give them 28,000. 22,000 if I go to war with Karakazul. How strong is Karakazul? Four regions. 
93, and what are they? 18. Soon. With the gold you've sunk into Morgheim, you'll be spending way more than 26k. Are you sure? I, I don't think I've spent 26k on it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about bribing them to go to war with the Crooked Moon. If I give them that money, they'll recruit more armies as well. And this is the thing, if I give them Morgheim, I can give them the settlements out here. Well, after they've after somebody's taken Crooked Fang Fort. Um, yeah. Big decisions here, because uh, I think dragging them into war with this would be a really good idea. Um, thinking about, let's just leave Clan Maws on hold for the moment. Going back over here. Should cook it alive, our god mouth stewed in its own screams. Getting them to go to war with Crooked Moon. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. You know, I could sell them the settlement for a shitload of money. Eh, some money. That's about it. It's not worth it. Eh, well, I mean, it's a ruin over there. It's not, it's not doing anything for us. I could make some money out of it. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't want to give up Morgheim yet. We don't have to do it this turn, so why don't we wait for them to get a little bit closer, and then we'll make our decision next turn, or the turn after. Give it a bit more time, because this army here I want going after Thorek. So I think we just wiped... Yeah, we basically wiped him out. Yeah, I got shit to do down here. That's less of a threat. Could recruit a new army here. Could recruit a new army there. Alright, let's have a look at what else we have to do. Not much. Alright, let's have a look at construction. I think at some point, Malice might make his way up here, but I'll just keep developing these anyway and just see how long we can hold it. That would make us a tiny amount extra money. Uh, we should upgrade this one here first, I think. Sorry about Infernius. Yeah, don't worry about that one. I might be able to hold on to Morgheim, we'll see. Settlement. Before a king, revel in my undying majesty. Okay. Can't you make a cult and summon Scarbrand back? Uh, cults will be made automatically. I can't make a cult. They have to be made automatically. Alright, I think I've done everything I can here for the time being. And, uh, let's see how we go. Alright, we got another. Oh, we got this. Campe movement range. Oh, it only lasts one turn. Well, that hang on. Does that give him his movement back? Do you guys know? If, will I get a hundred percent? Because it only lasts one turn. Because what what a waste it would be if it just doesn't give him his movement back, because then I could... Then I could hit this now. We can keep moving. Let me just save the game. And then load. Because I'm actually not sure. Hey, Cyborg Monkey. How's it going, dude? Yeah, you can't send your cultists to go and make new cults, as um, it doesn't. Alright, well, I'll just check. I'll just confirm that. That's why I saved it, because, yeah, I suspected... It, look, 
here we got some people saying it gives him his movement back. Some people saying it won't. Let's confirm. Let's confirm. We'll just find out. That's why I saved it. We can just check. Otherwise, I'll just use it next turn. Conflicting answers, yeah. Well, we'll just see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It did not give any movement back. Yeah. You guys were right. It's alright. We'll use it on the next turn, maybe. Yeah, you gotta use that while already full. How much Legend just enjoying the stream in Immortal Empires? How are you doing, Legend? Life good? Yep, life's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I think it doubles whatever movement you've got already in your pool. Which should be fine, but it only lasts one turn, so it's just there for like eight. A quick boost in movement. Yeah, campaign movement range plus hundred percent. That's it. All right, let's move on. Nothing else to do here. Good, I'm glad that he won there. We're actually rooting for Queek now. Since I might be using him as a meat shield. Hey, at Legend of the War, as Corn, do you ever collect the skull piles that spawn around the map, or are they just not worth it? Um, I get them if they're convenient to get, but I don't go out of my way to get them. Um, because usually there's plenty of skulls to be had by just winning battles. But you can send heroes to go and get those piles. I would never send a lord unless it was like directly on the path or not that much of a detour. <laughs> you mean you hadn't done that before? Oh, that's fine, I guess. Oh, Blood Thrones are not siege attackers. God, he's got to become a graded uh, demon in order to become a siege attacker. That's annoying. I have no siege attackers here. And no regiment of rounds at siege attack. Alright, well. Well, well, well. Alright, well, these settlements here, when we lose them, that's when we know when we're about to get hit. So they were standing over there, so I think they'd probably be about here. Um, don't know exactly when they're going to show up. I could recruit a lord to just go over there and have a look. So yeah, for example, there's a skull pile over here, but I don't think it's worth getting. It gives us a rough idea. 50 skulls, why bother? And let's have a look to see what the, uh, the chances are of this this turn. That may have gotten worse. If I offered Morgheim now, they'll still do it. 
but they won't do it for money. Hmm. I might be on a timer with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's have a look over here and see what we can do with Scarbrand with this ability here. So we currently have 159 out of 159. Now, what I'm curious here, if I do call to battle, will that increase our minimum and our maximum movement? Or will it just increase our minimum so that we're like 130 out of 159? So I want to do a little bit of testing with this. Um, so that I know, I just, I have no idea how optimally to use this. Um, because I don't need it right now, unless it's going to provide the entire turn the benefit. So, I'll have a look at what it does, and if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll just load. Because I just, I just need to check. The Wrathful Reaper. I have 217 movement this turn now. It didn't double my movement, it doubled like my base movement. The drink of blood. March to war. Our force march movement and, and normal movement is exactly the same. Bit of a weird one, that one. I'm, I'm, I think we'll make use of it because when we blow this up, we should get... 217 movement back because this is he uh, where is it yeah this is here and it's going to remain for the entire turn it's increased our maximum movement it just doesn't work mm, looks like it has well we'll just see how we go all right guardians um i need to know where the other you should choke is. on the torrent of your own blood. See if I can get there. We'll have to blood for the blood, got it. Otherwise, we end up losing a lot of movement. So that means I need to be projected yeah, in that direction. Alright. We'll have to get. If we're going to get a big turn out of this, I need these guys here to fight this manually. So let, we'll see if we get. 217 movement back up, we'll blow this up. Well, close to it. Movement capped at 50%, I thought. Yeah, it's not. It's just, that's just bullshit. The game just lies to you. Yon704, did a $2 super chat. How are you playing without forced autosave? But I, it is forced autosave. Thanks for super chat. But it, it's, it is on forced autosave. You can still load the game. Because, yeah, we were at 159 out of 159 movement, and then that pushed us up to 217. So, it, it did give us a bunch of movement, but it wasn't plus 100%. Yeah, the maths on it is definitely doesn't make sense. Because that's not even 100% of the base movement that he had. Um, yeah, just send them in. What are they going to do? It's just basic Norsk and Garrison. They can't do much. Plus, we got Blood for the Blood God. No, Skull... Well, whatever. The Skulls thing. This will be easy. But we need to keep our army alive because... We might have a lot of battles to do this turn. And this is a nothing battle. Which faction is stronger? Uh, Cinch or Corn? Definitely Corn. Definitely. Uh, Cinch has got some really annoying abilities, so they're really good if they're controlled by the AI. But under the player's control, Corn is stronger. Without a doubt. So yeah, think of it this way. Under the control of um, the AI, Cinch AI is more dangerous than Corn AI. But under the control of the player, Corn player more dangerous than Cinch player.
I think that's a, a big problem with sometimes doing comparisons is that I'll I'll say things like um, Grimgore's a shit legendary lord, right? But I'm talking about him in terms of um, the player control of Grimgore. And then someone will say, oh, what are you talking about, shit legendary lord? Grimgore beat the shit out of me in my campaign. So yeah, when he was controlled by the AI, that's different. There are some legendary lords that the AI uses pretty damn well. Grimgore is actually one of them. And then there's um, others that, even though they're good legendary lords, the AI just doesn't know how to use them properly. So I gotta be super specific with this stuff sometimes. Alright, we're not at full strength, but it's fine. If it applies to base, they should say it gives you plus 100 move points, not plus 100% movement. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't really understand the math behind it. So let's see if we get that 217 back up. Well, as long as it maintains our maximum at 217. And if that's the case, we could chain up a lot of victories this turn, potentially. Yeah, don't sack it. As much as I need money, I need to blow this up for maximum movement. Yeah, it did, but I don't know if I'm I'm going to be able to reach it still. I can get to Ashrak. Get to Ashrak. I don't know if I'm going to reach it. I, I don't know exactly where the settlement is. I feel like it's further up this way. I mean, I can just go have a look and load if, I'm, if I don't make it. Uh, I think I make it, because see how I can't actually move there? That must mean the settlement's there. I think I can make it. We made it. That's nice. Use that to chain a victory. So yeah, we definitely want to occupy this, but I don't want to occupy it this turn because then we'll run out of the movement. So what we want to do here is blood for the blood, got it, and then just have the Lord, uh, the blood host, occupy it next turn. Um, I'll be able to beat that army in order to keep moving along this way. But we should try to make it so that we don't move too far away. Because I'm not going to get full movement from it. Uh, beating that. Ooh, how much would that be worth a sack? Nine grand. Still, I want to just chain these victories. We'll get money from loot. I'll uh, come back. Yeah, no, let's do this now. Let's do it now. Don't be lazy. Let's do it. Fueled by Rage, it only enables when my hit points is less than 50%, so that's not that useful. Okay, I got all the good buffs from melee. All, like, extra melee attack right now is just not really that important, so let's start boosting his army a bit. More strength, more rage. Yep, keep that coming. Probably say Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, it's always Pyrrhic victory, but you know, we can easily just solo it with our lords. Wanna blow up the bottom settlement, swing back up? Well, I'm trying to move across the other way, like just sweep across the entire Chaos Wastes. Um, Valkyr owning a like a tier one settlement is not that big of a deal. You look bored. I'm not. What does the brass collar give Scarbrand? Spell resistance. Spell resistance is shit. It's absolute shit. The AI is really bad at casting spells in the first place, so it's just something that's not going to provide a whole lot of value. I don't bother trying to get super high spell resistance. Typically speaking, it's infantry that need to have spell resistance, not single entity lords. Most of the time, lords just brush off magic attacks anyway. As in magical, magical spells. Um, 
yeah, when they changed it to um, being resistant to um, spells instead of magical attacks, they seriously nerfed that ability, which is fine, it makes sense, because otherwise magical weapons were kind of shit. Uh, I should have given this guy horse. Ah, fuck it. Here we go. Can you confit Valkyrie? No. No, it would be cool if you could. I would if I could, but yeah. Creative Assembly really should do that sort of uh, confederation. It, yeah, it would be good if you could do cross-racial confederations. I know in terms of the code, it absolutely is possible. Absolutely is possible. Because uh, when I was in early access, I was playing as Norska, and there was a bug that allowed me to confederate any legendary lord in the game. So playing as Norska, I actually had Throt the Unclean in my faction. Now, obviously, all of his bonuses were pretty useless, but at least we had Throt. So you absolutely can do it. But how good would that be if they actually implemented cross-racial confederations? That'd be such a plus. It doesn't have to be implemented well, either. It could just be pretty, pretty bare bones, as long as it's got something. I think people would like that. Like, imagine if playing as the Vampire Counts, you can confederate Luther Harkon. Imagine that. That'd be so freaking good. Oh, fuck, you ran off of that way. How many times did I tell you, Scarbrand, your job's to take out that Lord? Oh, wow, they're really giving me a bit of a hard time here with these guys. Oh, I just want to get through this stupid siege just quickly. Like in Nagash mod? Yeah. Uh, but what they did with the Nagash mod is they made uh, separate instances of the of the, um, of the the Legendary Lords. So it's not the same Legendary Lord from a, di from a different faction. They actually... It's like, a, it's like a duplicate, but with a reworked skill tree. But yeah, you can really see that through mods, that all these kind of things are possible. And I think that'd be really good if they implemented some of them, because... They're just like really good ideas. Like you don't want something ridiculous like Reichland confederating Grimgore. That'd be ridiculous. But something like law friendly where... Um, imagine if you could play as the high or dark elves and confederate the other high or dark elves. Like, what if Malekuth is the only one that could do it? He could actually... Um, Unite the entirety of the elves. That's kind of law friendly. Don't know where their other units are. I'm trying to heal this dude. He took a lot of damage in this fight. Here they come. Oh, where are some other examples? Phineas King Malachus did it to both Wood Elves and High Elves? Yeah, exactly. That'd be so cool if they implemented like that. I don't think... Because it'd be one of the things where you don't have to do it, right? But if you did it, it'd be just cool. It'd just be cool. They need to add more cool factor. 
Well, they don't need to do it. The game's fine on its own. It's just that it would... I feel like that's something that could really attract more players into it and give you more variety of play. Ogres and Greenskins? Yeah, yeah. What if, Gr what if Grimgore was able to unite the Ogres and get the full Ogre roster if he beats the shit out of um, Greasus? Something like that. How did we not inflict the army losses yet? What is going on here? Oh, the trolls over there. Sneaky tried to take it off me, and they did. Some bitch. Recruit defeat legendary lord should be in the game feature to some extent. To some extent, maybe. Bellicor confederating all chaos factions, yeah, or Archaeon. Although apparently they're working something like that in. Yeah, if in September six they have it so that um, Bellicor and Archaeon can actually just win against the chaos lord and then confederate them, that'd be really good. Then I'll cover Bellicor and Archaeon on stream. As for the other ones, I don't really care that much. If they can't confederate, don't feel that interested in them. Do you think this year I should add some interesting units to Vampire Count roster? Mm. No. I think that the Vampire Count's roster will always be uninteresting because they're mindless thralls. What makes the Vampire Counts interesting are powerful heroes and lords. So I think what they need to do, if they want to make the faction interesting, is to make the characters more interesting. Give them more skills to give for varied gameplay. Um, rather than the units... Like, with Vampire Accounts, you just don't rely on your army. They're just, they're just like meat shields. It's your lord that meant to do all the work. That's how I, I see them. Because I just see the Vampire Account roster being super boring. All of their units are boring. Alright. Oh, man, it's so much money. It's not that much money. I'll be fine. <laughs> So I can still make it down here, and if I blow up Ashrak, well see what I was going to do was like swing around through here, blow up all this shit, come back down here, Grombrindle, because these settlements out here are a little bit more tightly compacted. So this one here, its job is just to go and occupy Dagrak's end, that's it. Because if I occupied it with Skybrand, well then, you know, that'd be the end of his essential rampage. We've got all this movement here, I want to make use of it, because I'm not going to be able to get that again for a very long time, probably. Alright, once we get this, we should really start thinking about phasing out the Marauders, and also the Warriors of Chaos, and just get... Um... Bloodletters, although it would be good to get Exalted Bloodletters. The only problem with that is that they'd probably take multiple turns to recruit. So yeah, if I'm only... If I'm only using it for that purposes, we should get rid of everything that's not a single entity. And, I don't know, maybe I can take this force down and do something with it. But yeah, get rid of all of this. Blowing that up just has no real value. It's There's nothing there. So, we'll just keep plowing through here. But I gotta, like, keep an eye on what I can see. There's another something up this way. Blow the bottom one, swing back up that way. Nah. Nah, maybe another time. Three, Casualties. Okay. The skulls are so that should have given me some of my movement back. Yep. Okay, we're at maximum movement again. Cool. So I just got to find where these bloody settlements are. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just can't remember where they all are. So, Glacier, Iron Frost, Dagrax End. Oh, right, blew that up. I think Iron Frost... Iron Frost is over here. So, if I come at this from this angle here... Hang on, how many settlements do they have? 
Mistress of Skulls. Two. All right, we can basically eliminate them. And then I imagine that's where Grombrindle is. Does anyone know if Grombrindle's trait has been changed? Because it was shit before. Absolute garbage. The blood. Power Caldra is there, so we won't be able to reach that. That'll give me my movement back. A step too far. I didn't know that was gonna be standing there. Um, yeah, they give me my movement. Give me my movement back so that I can bounce at this the right direction to come around this way. So many skulls for the TT. We ought to resolve this, we're going to take a lot of damage, so fight it manually. It's still Terra versus Dwarfs? Oh, God. At least they fixed the Warriors of Chaos ones. You're thinking of Belagor? Grom has plus melee, missile, and spell. Is it? Hang on, that's Ungrim, dude, that's Ungrim. Great Book of Grudges did a vid with all the defeat traits. I didn't watch it though. Could someone tell me? Uh, could someone go and check that video and tell me what's Grom's defeat trait? Because if it's shit, I might try to avoid it. Alright. So I want Scarbrand by himself just go over there and cause some. We don't want our army to get too badly shredded. But there's basically nothing that they can do to him. Unless they're able to penetrate his. Friggin' 72% physical resistance. 82% missile resistance. Where's their lord? Oh, no, 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 no. If I didn't do that, then they'll start charging at us. It's still shit. Terror when fighting as dwarfs. Okay, well, that's useless considering we're a demon. <laughs> We already have causes terror. Come back here, I want to kill you. Oh my god, he's faster than him. Nice. Oh, is this hill enough to do the thing? Can we do the thing? Yes, we can. We can do the thing. <laughs> Playing Norska football. That's not super steep. <laughs> oh, I'm like a kid at a candy stop. Wee! <laughs> oh my god. Needs needs a different music for this. <laughs> Wee! Come down the hill. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll ever get tired of this little trick. <laughs> He's got perfect vigor, so I don't ever need to rest. Alright, send more units over here in a blob. Send more. This isn't enough. There we go. I don't know if that was steep enough though. Yeah, they're getting back up. Or some of them got back up, not all of them. No, keep running. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't count as kills though. <laughs> 
21 kills. Look at all of them. <laughs> So yeah, the more mass you have and the more speed, the faster you can kick him, and then you just need steep hills. <laughs> oh my god, I'm never going to get tired of this technique. Yeah, it's a makeshift wind of dead uh, death without needing winds of magic. It's not, not as powerful, obviously. <laughs> Fall damage. Yeah, that's it. If you kick them down a hill, they um, they take fall damage and die. So high mass, high speed entities running them down the hill like this. <laughs> See, they don't, not all of them get back up. But it doesn't count as a kill. Does that mean you get less experience with Scarbrand? Nah, because he gets experience based on the uh, the, the battle, not the uh, individual kills that he gets. Doesn't make any difference. The only thing we're doing here is depriving our other units of experience. There's four damage in this game. Yeah, uh, to a small degree. You have to kick a unit really far down a hill, so you, like I said, you need a high mass, high speed entity, such as Scarbrand or um, um, Nakari, and you can kick them down hills by just giving move orders. And it's freaking hilarious. Nakari actually does it a lot better than Scarbrand because he's so much faster. <laughs> he won. Excuse me. He won the entire battle on his own. <laughs> How much fall damage do they take? It's okay if they fall far enough. It'll instant kill them. If they don't fall far far enough, then they'll just get back up and not take any damage. So it's like a threshold. It's kind of like this. They have to fall ten meters. If they fall ten meters, they die. If they fall nine point five meters, they don't take any damage. Something like that. You can get zero cooldown spells as Undivided Warriors of Chaos. That's cool. Why are you even paying for your troops? For difficult battles. This obviously wasn't a difficult battle. But, uh, and also for order resolves. But yeah, you know, we don't really need his army in most battles. But sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. Yeah, that wasn't exactly a dangerous army. But when we go up against Malekith, we probably need our entire army. Don't forget when we fought... Hellebron, we needed our entire army. Alright, I will take the money since that is probably what's going to be our biggest concern soon. And that should have given us quite a bit of movement. Okay, then we come over to this point right here and blow up. Glacial, glacial encampment, and that should project us out this way and reset our movement. My corns come on. A tool of corns rough. It's more defenses, but whatever. Have they removed Denuvo yet? They never said they were going to remove Denuvo. So yeah, we can just auto that, I guess. Alright, um... I don't think Blood for the Blood God here will be useful to skull it.
Ooh, do we have enough movement to get to Iron Frost? I think we do. I'm not sure though. Blood awaits elsewhere. Okay, we do. Okay, the problem here is there's no way around getting to here this turn. So if we blow this up now, we're not this will be the end of our little rampage. It was never gonna last forever, but it basically crippled Valkyria and destroyed this friggin' moron faction. So if we're gonna do this I don't think it matters where we attack from. Like we're not gonna be able to make an attack from that angle. A beastman faction. I might be able to use that to chain some more victories. Maybe. Uh, we took damage. I'll, I should send them in. Well, otherwise we're gonna get worn out. Torx and Scarbrand side by side would be beautiful. Could be. Could end up having very long turns. Removing Denuvo would actually make the game more stable, but they refuse to do so. Look, I am with you with that kind of stuff, but I'm telling you, it's a lost cause. They're not going to remove it. You know, unless you can get people to actively stop buying Total War products that have Denuvo in it, they're going to keep putting it in. Because the very few people that don't buy it because of Denuvo don't bother Creative Assembly enough. Would your weapon quest battle restore your movement? Yes, but I, I don't think I can beat, the, beat that battle with what we got right here. <laughs> it's, it's very tough, that battle. I remember in, in that particular battle, I think I was at rank 40 in the Realm of Chaos campaign, and I, I nearly friggin' lost it. Like, they, it wore me out completely. So yeah, while it did reset my movement, it fucked my, my army. And my army was maybe stronger than this. So, but then again, uh, well, hang on, all that physical resistance doesn't matter, does it? Hang on, Scarbrand, stay, stay there, stay there, stay, stay, stay there. Wait for these guys to arrive. It's okay, he's not doing much damage. Get up here. Oh, they just went the other way. Never mind. Andy Parser software? Yeah. Yeah. These melee infantry here are good for soaking up some damage so these guys here can try to regenerate. Oh, we got a, um... Oh, I don't need it. Come on, regenerate. Brand's almost at full health. How are you going? Yeah, you're getting some health back. How are you doing? Oh, you're not fast enough. Move, 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 move. Oh, the, oh, this one's really slow. Okay, I think I need to not give it attack orders because it's not exactly like we need to kill them. Just give move orders and just try to... Just all we want to do is touch them. That's it. Give me that regen. We regen pretty quick. This guy needs some more speed. There we go, that's pretty good. 
Good. Health at the power of touching them. Explain on this chart where this blood shrine touched you. He touched me here. Door of the cultists get war shrine mount. Yes, the cultists get war shrine mount now. Do you see a new video from Tarif? You can't recruit outpost units of Tomb Kings because you don't have a limit for it, so you only get skellies. Hmm. I haven't seen the video, but yeah. That region's pretty damn good. Yeah, it's because of a banner. It's a good, good region. I should have sacked it this turn. Mm. Nah. Alright. Okay, if okay, hang on. Here we go, here we go. So these these guys here. Now normally I would never get rid of a beastman, however. Oh, they don't like me. Hang on. Let me just see what I I can get a non-aggression pact with them, but let me just see what I can do. They do have enemies. Alright, so they're at war with the ancestral thong. Throng. <laughs> thong. Um, if I offer to, uh, if I offer to go towards Clan Septic, I can get some money out of them. I'm, I'm gonna declare war on them, but I might as well just get as much as I can out of them. Can't believe Clan Septic is still alive. That's ridiculous. Uh, free market collectibles did a five dollars subject. So Clan Anger and Ancestor Thanes can't actually use all four hundred points. Mine have one extra point that really shows the thoughts here put into the change. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing with Lich Priests. Yeah, Lich Priests can only spend 48 of the points. Um, so they end up with one point left over. Thanks for Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. But yep, you're completely right. <laughs> all right oh my god here we go oh my god here we go you don't know how good this is you don't know how good this is oh my god my money problems have gone away i've been waiting for something like this for such a long time now well not that long <laughs> But legend, won't they hate you? Who cares? They've always hated me. Finally, this this vassal actually came into play. Oh my god. It finally happened. But legend, they'll betray you. Yeah, it's a one settlement minor city faction with no army that already hates me. And you know what? Everybody that hates Numas, which is a lot of people, are gonna like this. Oh, baby! We are limited in terms of just how much we actually want to do this. <laughs> Finally, that vassal came in handy. This makes up for all the shit decisions I made in the campaign, of which there were two. It finally... It finally paid off. Let's see the relation. Alright, I'll come back to that then. <laughs> oh my god, broken treaties with them. <laughs> oh my god. Now, if we have a look at Malagor. Broken treaties with Numas, 53. Uh, where's Queek? I'm not sure if Queek cares much for them. More head skulls. Broken treaties with Numas, 53. How does, um... How does, uh, where's, um, Thorek? Ah, he's not gonna care. Where's, um, Kemri? He doesn't care. Let me check with, with this one. Ready. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Um, broken treaties with Numas. That's actually helping him. We might be able to get out of this war if we if we keep doing this. Oh my god. How much money do I have? 69,000. Alright, probably we best don't abuse this too much, or else it'll trivialize the entire campaign. So, I'm gonna leave- I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay? I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, it was almost worth keeping them alive. Could abuse it some more. Could definitely abuse it some more, but I think we need to, like... I think that was enough. I think that was enough. One more. One more. Just one more. <laughs> one more. One more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. One more. One more. Oh my god. You can just get infinite gold out of doing this as well. Oh my god. But yeah, at some point you're going to say enough is enough. New Mass won't join in on this. Oh, they did. How about that? And we can use this to give ourselves more movement. Glory for the blood you please explain what just happened? Okay, so Numas is my vassal, and they've hated me ever since I made them a vassal. Now, when you have a defensive mil defensive alliance, military alliance, or vassal treaty with someone, you automatically have a um, military access with them. Um, it's it's you can't get rid of the military access unless you cancel the 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 upper treaty, right? But you can still offer another faction to cancel your treaty with that faction. It'll cancel it. You'll lose the relation, but it'll re-establish the military access. So I kept canceling it, even though they hated me. Like they're gonna they're gonna cancel it, but who cares? They they useless fucking faction, right? Um, and so, uh, with the Beastmen, since they will, if they will agree to any treaty, they will also agree to 2,000 gold, right? And so what we did there was just, they're like, they're bankrupt beyond belief, right? And they'll just keep giving you money, even if they don't have any. So, yeah, a bit of a weird thing that you can do there. We could have done that to infinite. We could have, um, we could have gotten a billion, I mean, if a billion's a bit much. We could have gotten a million gold out of that if I had just kept going. But, you know, it'll trivialize the campaign even more than I just did it there. Like, that, that's 69,000 gold. We'll spend that pretty quick. Alright. Um, we've got some big enemies down here to fight. We probably should fight this manually, especially since Scarbrand can just do it by himself. Don't forget about the Bloodthirster Summon for the Cultist. Yeah, I know. I know it's there. Reliability won't be affected? No. Okay, it's only affected if you haven't had the Vassal for 10 turns, which I have. So I didn't lose any reliability. I, I The only downside was that Numas completely hate me now, but they always hated me. And they're too weak. And what are they going to do? Um, you know, they can't do anything against me. They're just too weak. They're about to get killed off by Manfred, so... It was like the ideal situation. Now, people were saying earlier on the stream, Oh, Legend, don't... Oh, not in the stream, earlier in the campaign, so yesterday. Legend, don't don't make new mouse a vassal. It'll backfire. And it did, at first, because Manfred declared war on him. All right? But... It just paid off. So... How much gold is needed before it becomes negative value? Uh, 2.14 billion. Is this... Oh, this looks like a pretty steep hill. Uh, yes. oh, what are you doing there? Mm, it's not steep enough. What about this area here? Yeah, it is killing them, but not that much. Let's 
It's not like this is a strong army, it really isn't. Nice blob you got there. Mind if I kick them all down the hill? <laughs> yeah, that kind of worked. Oh, that was very nice. Keep that up. Yeah, some of them are getting back up, but a lot of them are not. And because it... God, look how many of them get kicked down the hill. Kicking them up the hill won't do anything. Right, kill that lord. I didn't cast it. So I don't usually use that ability. It's short range and can be quite, quite finicky. Alright, I don't think it's working on the Warhounds, but all the Gores are basically gone. All the Ungores, I mean. Uh, Chris Zero did a two-pound Super Chat Corn Mower. Yep, that's a good one. He's the Corn Mower. That's that's a good one. Thanks, Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, bring these two up. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty funny. And if I could, I'd make a deal with corn. <laughs> Be running up that hill. <laughs> that is very... Um, uh, time appropriate, I suppose, given uh, Stranger Things just aired here. <laughs> Be running down that hill. <laughs> Make a deal with corn. <laughs> Alright, I will take their. Mm, skulls. Thanks for the extra movement, bitch! Right, that is a settlement that we need to occupy, but I don't want to be done yet. How many settlements does he have? Three. Okay, I know it's like all the way down here. Do we blow this up, leave a blood host there to ruin dwellers, especially considering Clan Spittle is going to be right there, or do we say that that's, this is the end of our rampage here? <laughs> Alright, what, what would we get if not for them? I really don't care much for getting a, a, um, what's it called, a, uh, bloodthirster doomstack. But I don't really want to give him... Marauders. Speed for those. Yeah, I'll just go with that. It doesn't matter. I just need to get to here, basically. 
Yeah, so we started the turn, like, here. That's where we started the turn. We went around here, hit that, hit this, hit that, hit this, and now we probably ended here. Because if I blow this up, it'll project me to about here. Oh, I might be able to keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. Why not? You never know what might happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this up. See if it can project me over this way. Can I squeeze in there a little bit more? No. Alright, let's hope it doesn't project me over here. If it does that, I won't be able to make it this turn. What's that? Why aren't you spamming blood hosts in this campaign? Because they cause supply line penalties. Alright, there's Grumbrindle. Um, well, I guess that's an interesting thing. We can keep that in mind. If we um, keep a blood host here, so that way I might not need to fight Grumbrindle. God, 24 turns and that's all you've done? Plus he's kind of sandwiched in between Clan Spittle. What are we doing going down this way? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep pushing. I will uh, blood for the blood god here. But yeah, going down this way, I don't know how much more I can bounce around. They added supply lines for blood hosts. It's a bug. It's not supposed to be in the game. It's a bug. Because, yeah, otherwise I'd totally be getting loads of blood hosts, but they're, um, you know, if you get a bunch of them, they're no longer... You can really get the uh, supply line penalty up quite severely um, when you've got, like, seven or eight of them, and it can s severely impact on your economy. Chaos So I reckon we just go straight over there, don't bother fighting them. No quarrelers here, good. Although this one is not that quick. Just walk right through them. Scarbrandle. Kind of wait for them a little bit. Just a little bit. Still quicker than dwarfs at 38 speed. Because they're at 28 speed. I love how half our stack of dwarfs gives you a period victory. Yeah, our army is not super strong in auto resolve because of these marauders. I need to phase them out. I think I need to phase them out. The only reason I didn't, because they're actually pretty good. They're just not great in auto resolve. Just have to fight more battles manually, which isn't a problem. Yeah, the battles don't take too long. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy some regen.
think it'll regenerate faster if I just move through their units. It makes it harder to hit them. Yeah, I'm recovering health this way. Oh, I just realized as well, I could send Scarbrand back this way to go and fight Grumbrindle to get more movements. Well, we'll see what happens with this. Royal Hippogriff or Pegasus Nice? Definitely Royal Hippogriff's way better. Way, way, way better. Siege Attacker. Really good on the walls, kick units off the walls, good in a blob, good for healing. Um, Hippogriff Knights are way better than Pegasus Knights, just because of their sheer mass. Alright, I don't think it protected me at all. No, it didn't. Oh, now we're in for a boys, the Chromatic Tome, the most useful item in the game for corn. Alright, well there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get to the Elder Spire. There's no way in hell. So, I might as well go through Grombrindle. Now, that'll mean I have to get his defeat trait. Which... I can't think of a defeat trait I need less than fucking terror when fighting against dwarves. But, this will allow us to keep our rampage going, so... Whoopee! Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to fight here. And then there's... Clan Spittle over here. Maybe I'll have this one. Oh, that is garbage. But maybe I'll have it instead go down this way. That's some garbage army. Alright, if we have a look here, we look at Clan Spittle. There it is. Septic, sorry, not Spittle. And if we have... What did they do that for? Yeah, we can see that it's got Racto Gorge there and then this settlement here, which I think that settlement's there or it could be there. Actually, I think it's there. Then we're approaching Nagarond. What I could do is maybe hit Racto Gorge and then project through here and hit Nagarond, maybe. This is like that endless rampage that we had with Torox on, what, turn 16 ages ago. It just never ended. I think I could find some way to get Scarbrand even more move points, but I think he's at his absolute maximum at the moment. Siege defense AI really bad? Oh yeah, it's disgustingly bad. Alright, once again, I don't see any reason why Scarbrand can't beat this entire army by himself. There's nothing here for him to be concerned about. Absolutely nothing. So what I'll do is I'll just hide my entire army. Because, you know, if we're going to keep our momentum going, we need to make sure our army doesn't get destroyed every single time. Just hide them. Can these hide? Neither of them can hide. Okay, then just go over here. Hey, nice looking hill you got there. <laughs> nice looking hill. Mind if I play Dwarf Ball? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Yeah, it does, it does, it does a bit. Hang on. What about down this hill? <laughs> oh my god! Did you see the damage we did to them there? Oh my god! Wind of Death! Oh my god.
Oh my god, that's like the worst one so far. When they get to hell, they'll ask how they died, and they said, A giant fucking angry demon kicked me down a hill and broke my neck. <laughs> it's fucking gone. They're just gone. But Legend, you're getting shot! <laughs> Yeah, you've heard of Wind of Death, here's Wind of Corn. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a photo of the Super Chat. Tips for staying green with Skaven food, even with constant raiding and pillaging, the Empire. Hang on. Uh, I'm at barely able to scratch and buy. Um, you gotta put the food eating to every one of your provinces. Under cities are probably the way to go to get lots of food. Um, there's no cooldown for your engineers to create new under cities, so that's what I'd recommend. Okay, now we need to fight Ungrim a little bit. Not Ungrim, um, from Brindle. Oh my god, look at this. He's just nothing to Scarbrand. He's doing some damage though. Eradicate them. That was disgusting. He doesn't end the battle at full health though, but that's okay. Oh, hang on, we might. That was just disgusting. <laughs> 16 kills. <laughs> This isn't intentional, is it? I think they intended for you to do fall damage, but not to that extreme extent. Having zero scaven corruption gives you three food now? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Treasures the V-Track could give you more speed? Yeah, I know, but I'm not close to that. Simon Leverman did a 5 year super shit. Are you or your loved ones affected by Scar Brand Hilliomia? Uh, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for the chat. Thirteen skulls, because I didn't personally kill them. <laughs> now, Rector Gorge is also a... ...major settlement. Alright, so like I said, what we're going to try to do here is project us... Ooh, okay, if I don't quite make it to Nagarond, I could maybe bash the shit out of this one here. I, th I think it's going to project me a fair distance. Why was the map so green? Skaven Corruption. Any amount of Skaven Corruption causes a lot of green. Uh, yeah. Yeah, could lightning strike it. No, just leave it. Let them come in. It's not going to make any difference, I think. No, lightning strike it. I don't want them coming in. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah.
Hey, listen, most major factions in my normal normal are mass stacking tier 1 units only, even at turn 150. Is this normal bug on my end? I don't think it's a bug. It's probably just because that's all they can recruit. Might want to up the difficulty a little bit then. What Lion Strike do? It prevented their reinforcements from showing up to the battlefield. Uh, I didn't want to beat them. I didn't want them coming in and blocking the uh, the victory points. Um, and I'll still get mo uh, max experience. Because I could possibly use them to... Uh, to keep going. If I don't make it to Nagarond. Those two are just too slow to keep up with him. I got my own menace below. <laughs> Look at him go. damage there. Maybe I should back off a little bit. Choke point seems a good place we want to regenerate health. I didn't want them to get back in there, get them out. Might not be able to just cap him this time. Maybe Scarbrand did actually need them. Uh, Coffee Master sixty six did a five dollar chat. Scarbrand is going on a walk. Very enthusiastic walk. Okay, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Yep. 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 You should just regenerate from this, essentially. I have a feeling there's some dudes coming up this way. We don't want them to cap it. Yeah, they are coming. Are tier 3 Skaven Towers worth holding walls for in Wormer 3? Not sure. Not sure. Don't have enough experience in defending Skaven settlements to say for sure with that. Ah, damn. Alright, looks like we need to get in. Skybrand can kill them all, it's just, it just takes time. <clears throat> Come up here. 
excuse me. Yeah, the problem with this one here for regen is just really low melee defense. Really low. Got to get their melee defense up. We'll give them some sort of resistance. Some more resistance of some kind. Oh my god, still not done yet. How bad is Scarbrand's star position? Seems like he can't get enough consecutive battles in one turn. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest place for like chaining battles, um, this, which is why we're up here, where we've been able to chain a lot of battles. Yeah, the true Thunderdome is like Nagaroth. All right, are we done? Are we done? Still not done. Come on. Wasn't there a ward pennant you got before? Or did you already equip it? It's on Scarbrand. It's on Scarbrand. It's obviously more important for Scarbrand to have it. But if I get another one, I'll definitely give it to this dude. Uh, but, you know, I, I need to get some more equipment. Maybe try fusing. We'll see if we can fuse some stuff together. That might be a good idea. There we go, finally. Good. Cool. Do you think we'll ever get an Age of Sigmar expansion? It'll be a standalone game if we ever get Age of Sigmar Total War. And I don't think we'll get something like that for 10 years, at least. Why doesn't he ever use the Bloodthirster? It's free. Uh, yep, you're right. It is free. It's just I don't need it. Um, Bloodthirsters are actually really bad against um, loads and loads of infantry. It would have killed like 20 of them. Bloodthirsters are there to take out large single entities or things like monstrous infantry. They're not there to take out rats. They don't give a fuck about that. They're not good at it. They don't kill a lot of entities per swipe. It'd just be a waste of time. In fact, the blood... Um, letters are better at that situation. I'm not done here. Oh, I don't think it's... Yeah, see, when the game saves... Oh, yeah, I wanted to get over to Nagarond. I guess I'll have to just keep going through here. Rough <laughs> Dawnstone. Okay, hang on. Let me have a look here. I got a Talisman of Endurance, but a Dawnstone... Luckstone is way better. Okay, if we... uh, let's, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, two Obsidian Amulets. Garbage. Obsidian Armor. Garbage. Alright, so that's trash. Let's have a look. What else can we do? Uh, let's have a look. Sword of Striking and Gold Sigil Sword are both... Uh, that's actually not too bad for melee defense. Maybe I'll equip that on him. Iron Course Icon is good. That'll give him Missile Resistance. Good. Alright, let's get rid of the Feather Foe Talk and the Ruby Ring of Ruin. I don't really care much for, for either of those items. Torment Blade is also good. Um, not going to give that to him. 
Alright, let's fuse a Talisman of Protection and Luckstone. I already got... I already got some of those, though. Uh, out this way, maybe a Dawnstone might actually be better than a Talisman of Endurance. Ooh, reluctant to fuse those two. Okay. Well, you know, got some stuff. Alright, if we want to keep this going, we have to attack this dude. I think we're going to have to go down to here. Not sure. Okay, Scarbrand has hit rank 40. Cool. Cool. Alright, what are we going to do here? Let's go with Blood Letters. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's already got all the, all the defensive ones that he needs. Bruh, spell resistance is rubbish. Alright, once again, Scarbrand can just do this on his own. You can attack Shrine of Cain. Maybe, maybe, you're right. We'll see how much movement we have after this. You could be right. Problem is, though, attacking Shrine of Cain will push me back into the mountains. Empire 2 or Medieval 3? Uh, it doesn't matter, just do a good job of it. I don't really care. I want another. I prefer Medieval though, I guess. Never really got into Empire. But I think I could get into Empire if it was actually made well. Contest of the Blood God. Most blood yeah, just hide all these. That way they won't pop down their Menace Belows on it. I want them to pop down Menace Belows on that. We get regen. Oh. That's what I wanted. That's it. Get this guy some regen going. Good, he's healing. That's what's important there. Good, we're actually getting healing in this battle. Scarbrain is basically immune from damage here. There's nothing they can do to us. I've had two crisis things happen to me in one campaign. Is a bug or can they all happen? Um, are you sure that's a, that's what happened? Because at the moment, you can only have one crisis happen per campaign. Alright, is he at full health? No. He needs to go and run them down a little bit. Cool. We were regenerated. And Scarbrand hits max health. Cool. Are there any good cheeses that you are waiting to share with the community? No, I pretty much showed you all the best ones that I know of. The one I've dealt with? No, absolutely not. No, but Scarbrand's out here essentially making money and and uh, building up a power base to deal with it. We did fight uh, Skarsnik, and while we won the battle, our armies were obliterated. I had to disband them. Alright, that's uh, it's only a small amount of money. I think we'll just get some replenishment. Alright, so let's see which direction we can go here. Ooh, 
these dudes here. Alright, I could walk past here, stand there, so I could be projected out this way. Or I can have... Or I... Uh, if we have a look... Yeah, you can see here's the settlement. I don't know... I don't think I'll be able to walk past the zone of control. So if I blow it up... If I blow it up, I might be projected out this way. Which is bringing me close to Nagarond, closer than we were before. Seems unlikely they want to declare war on me. These guys are... Alright, I'm going to try this way. Ooh, hello, Malekith. Oh, do you know what will give us? Frenzy. Ah, so useful! Okay, yeah, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. Um, blowing this up, we have to go in this direction. Now, I've found that we get projected pretty far if I've got it on fast movement. If I don't have it on fast movement, I don't get projected at all. If I don't get projected at all, if I'm standing right here, you still got to deal with the zone of control moving through here. I'm just not going to hit Nagaron from there. Just gotta kind of hope this works. All right, what's going on with Malekith? All right, we can handle this. I think Scarbrand can just do the whole thing by himself for the most part. Yeah, because if we auto resolve this, we'll take tons of damage. And yeah, here we go. What's the mass level cap to leader? 50. So yeah, this trait is completely useless to us. Unless you care about 10% rating income. Which I do not. At least your demonic units also have frenzy now. No, it's not for the Lord's army. It's only for the Lord. Are you interested to see a Zero Winds Gehead and his Golden Hounds? I, I know how to do that. I do know how to do that. It's with Demon Princes. How's Malachi's level 4? Um, okay, so this happens sometimes when the AI recruits lots of armies and doesn't use their uh, main lord. Might send them in a little bit later, but the first thing I'm gonna have Scarbrand do is just go run in, kill Malekith. We'll kill his dark shell. Nice shades you got there. Oh, there he is. There's Malekith. <laughs> Malekith be like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Do you know what the funny thing is? Malus called him into this war. Time to die, dickhead. Alright, we are taking some damage. Does he have magical attacks? Alright, that's why we were taking damage. We're very physical resistant, but we are quite weak against uh, magic. Still beat him. Just gotta be maybe a little bit more careful how we go about it. And this dude here... Okay, don't worry about him. Physical damage. That's it. Give him a big old kick in the ass. Look at that health go down. This is why I didn't bother upgrading his melee attack. He already hits pretty much with the maximum. Got 
not invincible today. Malekith. One or two more hits, he's out of here. One more hit, come on, get him. Out of here, good. Hey, that looks like a pretty nice looking hill there. <laughs> Look at that hill. Alright, let's go. Uh, Demon Prince has better laws than the normal undivided ones? I'm not sure. I haven't played enough Warriors of Chaos to determine. Nice hill you got there. Hang on, come up here, come up here. Come on, come on, you guys, come on up. That's it. Mmm, that didn't kill them. Maybe be higher up on the hill, maybe. Yeah, that killed them. That killed them. They just gotta be high up on the hill. Gotta kick them all the way down the hill. <laughs> Alright, that's not as satisfying, uh, satisfying as I thought it was going to be. You're not taking damage though, this is like the most damage I've seen him in a long time. Eventually, though, we are going to run out of regen. God, that was a big hit. <laughs> See these freaking dark elves get kicked around. That's what you get for having shit slave mechanics. Try not to stand in one place for too long just because of all the dark shards. Even with maximum missile resistance, they are doing a lot of damage to us. bring these two in. Hopefully they don't take too much damage. At least I brought all their, um, or most of their missile units up this way. Wait for this, wait for this. Oh, Scarbrand might not end this battle at full health. He's only killed 460 of them. Oh, I mean, there's a there's a black guard of Nagron. Maybe that was a mistake. That was I think that was a bit a pretty big mistake. Let's move out of that. Just don't worry about that. Hang on, hang on. If you just if you get rid of it, then the rest of the stuff should be fairly easy.
Oh, murderous prowess. Yeah, that's great timing. Get out of there. <laughs> I'll wait. Now, I've also got these breath attacks, but you shouldn't use breath attacks while you're getting shot. Not really getting shot too much, too, too much here. And, yep, yeah, there we go. That's a good one. This guy here is still getting shot. Okay, murder's prowess over. Get in there. Send Scarbrand in to come and help him out. Let's go, 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 go. What are you doing, Scarbrand? Move, move, move. Speed up the battle a little bit. Has the quest battle done yet? No, but that quest battle is very difficult, so I, I could use it to generate more movement, but it is a very difficult quest battle. Like, you're up against an absurd amount of force. Scarbrand can't just solo that. I can't remember what level I was when I did it in the Realm of Chaos campaign, but I, I think I was pretty high level, and I really struggled with it. Stuff down, get regen. Scarbrand can't heal anymore, but he'll just heal in subsequent battles, it'll be fine. This is a fairly big one. That's it, you just keep running that down, get yourself some regen. Alright, get that Bloodthirster up in here. Good. I think it might actually end the battle in higher health than it, what it started. That would be good. And there's the army losses. Cool. I'm so curious to see that quest battle now that you say it's hard. Well, I think... Okay, so Scarbrand has to go up against two Bloodthirsters. Exalted Bloodthirsters. Then he has to deal with a Nurgle army on top of it. It just it just wears you out. You have to deal with a lot of force. Um, yeah, corn versus corn, then corn versus Nurgle. Like you've got to rush at the first army. Yeah, I never found any trick to it. I've only fought it once. I'll think about it. Plus, we're not at full strength. If we're going to do it, we really should be at full strength. And if I recall correctly, when I did it in the um, Realm of Chaos, I had some Skull Crushes and Blood Shrines. Well, I guess that guy's a Blood Shrine. Do you remember the quest battle being all that hard? I guess it depends on your army. Did you just have, like, a melee infantry spam? Because that's what I had. And that's what I've got. I'm sure if I've got, like, a couple of Bloodthirsters in there, it would be pretty easy, but that's not what I've got. Use Minotaur Spam. Minotaur Spam would be make it a lot easier for sure. Oh, I stood still. It's the opposite of what I want to do. But I still make it to Nagaron. See, I wanted to go around over this way, but we, we make it. And to Hag Grief. But I guess I could go blow up Nagaron and then go hit Hag Grief. Oh, so useful. Yeah, it's not to the entire army. It's only to the Lord. That's what I thought. Useless. Useless. Alright, how many settlements does Malekith have? Three. So... Oh, God. We could wipe him out really quick. Where are we going to end this rampage? Should I go Hag Grief and then Nagarond? I wouldn't be able to make it to any more settlements because this will. Yeah, I've done like a really big rampage. We actually started the turn all the way over here. 
Uh, we start the turn here, and I just keep managing to get battles and keep resetting his movement. This is all this turn. He must have gained like seven levels up this turn. Oh, he doesn't have an enchanted item on him. That iron course icon wouldn't be the worst thing ever. All right. Sword of Might, Sword of Striking. Okay, I'm going to fuse these two. Ugh, garbage. Alright, what? I have? I think I've got enough Talismans of Endurance. Why don't we fuse this one and that? Because that, that is a good item, but i got three of them. Armor of Corn. Garbage. That is garbage. 25 armor is trash. Luckily, I've got another one. Sword of Bloodshed. Alright, so the people down here will probably encounter Torox. I don't have any beef with them, so I'd say let's go... Let's hit Hagri first. Then Nagarond, and I'll see if I can continue from there. This will fail. No. Interesting. Interesting here. So many blue items of shit. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really gotten amazing items. Like an armor of destiny would be great. Just don't have one. Let's go, just go to immortality. That's good stuff. Okay. Do I know pussing out? I don't know. It's it's not pussing out. It's about figuring out how to deal with it. That's all. Because like if I blow this up. I'll be able to reach them, or Nagarond. I might not be able to get all of them. Alright, well let's just get Hagrid sorted first, and I'll figure it out from there. Yeah, I have to fight it manually. Give some items to the cultists. I don't have any good items left. I just got, I just got trash. Can Scarbrand use the Exalted Hero of Corn? Yep. Love Nagaron, come back to the armies maybe? Well, I've already used up my movement, so I already committed to this. Uh, I didn't know that those armies were going to be there. Hmm. What's your opinion on the War Shrines? Yeah, they're pretty good. Alright. The corn ones aren't that good. Alright. Easy battle. Easy battle. You know what we're gonna do. This guy here is slowly getting worn out. Am I crazy or do the Warhammer 2 factions only have one World Siege map? Yeah, they, they don't have much variety at all. And most of them are just reskins from other factions' um, layouts. Like this one here is a reskin of a Warriors of Chaos one. The main high off one is a reskin of a green skin one, actually. It's kind of funny. Uh, 
Uh, Hyun Ryong Lee did a two dollar super chat. Hi, Legend. I learned a lot from your videos. Thanks. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Did you play Warriors of Chaos version of Realm of Chaos? I found that campaign was made for more fun than the normal Realm of Chaos. Yeah, I did, and it... Man, pull it, putting pins into your penis would be more fun than the original Realm of Chaos campaign. But yeah, they really couldn't have gone and made a worse campaign than that. Uh, but yeah, it, it was alright. It was alright. I did play it as Valkyr. It was alright. Um, I don't know. I might cover it later, but not a huge priority, really. I didn't feel like it was the most amazing thing ever. It's just that after that shit burger of a campaign of Rum of Chaos, you know, everything seems good. You know, after you've eaten dog shit, you know, plain bread probably tastes like the best thing you've ever tasted, you know, whatever that might be. <laughs> you know, after eating absolute dog shit. Because that's what the Rum of Chaos campaign does to you. Like, just force feeds, feeds your dog shit. So I'm trying to get this guy to bloody regenerate, but he just he's taking too much damage. You like the Vortex campaign more than Chaos 1? I infinitely prefer the Vortex campaign over the Realm of Chaos. Infinitely prefer it. I don't think they could have made a less fun campaign than the Realm of Chaos. It's so bad. It almost seemed like their goal was to piss off players. I don't think they've ever made a less fun less rewarding campaign than the Realm of Chaos. But, you know, I've ranted on it so many times now. The only way to enjoy the Realm of Chaos is to play it on the easiest possible difficulty and just turn your brain off. Because as far as challenge is concerned, it's not very good. Because it takes away from the Total War experience. You're encouraged to not expand, right? Which I don't like doing. And then you finish the campaign... And it doesn't reward you. Not really. You get Bellacor, but Bellacor doesn't fit into any faction very well. It's just awful through and through. So poorly thought out. You know, compared to what Creative Assembly have done in the past, it's just, just such a garbage campaign. Alright, we managed to recover a fair bit of health there. That sounds good. Can show what the War Shrine does. Okay, so it's got a lot of health. It's got like 11,000 health. It has an area effect buff that as units around it die, it provides plus 5 melee attack and plus... or maybe 8 melee attack and plus 5% weapon strength. And it also has a leadership aura plus 10. It's nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular at all. You know, it is a decent fighter, and it's got, it's, you know, it's, it's just okay, it's just nothing spectacular. Daniel is really awful, Legendary Lord, despite being heavily advertised. Yeah, the, I think the, um, the Demon Prince is a really good idea, that was just, it's just half-baked, they needed to go further with it, they needed to make it more than just a demon dress-up game, and actually make some of the decisions more impactful. So, some of the stuff just is just like, 
Oh, here we go. Would you like plus five melee attack or plus five melee defense? What would you prefer? It's like, well, it's not much of a choice. You know, it's the same. Would you like a red tail, a blue tail, or a purple tail? Um, okay. Alright. Ibola Bellicor. In Immortal Empires, Bellicor's been done justice, for sure. Alright. Alright, alright. So, if we want to get to Nagarond as well... The way to do this is, I think, is hit this one first, lightning strike it, so that that one there doesn't die, and then use that to get the rest of the movement to project us to Nagarond. Gonna kick you down a hill. Over 100,000 people playing Worm 3 right now. Yep, and that's great. It's because of Immortal Empires. I guarantee less than 95% of... Sorry, less than 5% of them would probably be playing Realm of Chaos. Less than 5%. Worm 3 only had like 5,000 people playing it up until Immortal Empires released. IE doesn't seem very challenging at all. Um, Sort of. You have to make your own challenge. You have to really push it to, to make your own challenge out of it. You know, like the turn 10 endgame crisis, which, of the murder lord. you know, could... I know we haven't really dealt with it much today, but it could be a real bloody problem for us. <laughs> but luckily, we are building up a big power base here. Hey, that looks like a pretty nice hill you got there. Oh, don't you dare use magic on me. Friggin' sorcerer. Out of here. Get rid of her. I'll show you how we respect sorcerers. Got heaps of spell resistance, so not that big of a deal, but. I don't. W yeah, that's it. Kick her down the hill. Now, that looks like a pretty decent looking hill, though. Yeah, that, that's working. Ah, fuck it. There's not that many of them. Get in there and kill. Okay, and try to recover as much as we can. Oh, Scarbrand's not full health. Gotta stop that. What are you doing? You're at full health, whatever. Okay, I think this one here is in better shape now than it was at the beginning of the battle, so that's good. Scarbrand isn't, unless he gets that extra... There we go, full health. Alright, cool. I was one of those 5,000 people playing, waiting for Immortal Empires. That's fine. Um, what I did waiting for Immortal Empires was play played, uh, Warhammer 2. I didn't play the Vortex campaign, played Mortal Empires. How bad is the order tide in this game? Okay, there is no order tide or chaos tide or anything like that. All the AI factions are pretty passive. What matters is the end game crisis. Whatever the end game crisis is, that is the true tide. Except for the Tomb King tide, that one's garbage. That one's not very strong at all. Scarbrand is disgusting. Yeah, he's very powerful. Yeah, here's the problem though. We've got him at near rank 50. He's at his essential max health. He's gotten two really good traits. We defeated Wurzag and 
a Sigvolt, both of which give him 10% physical resistance. He's got a Collar of Corn, providing him with 14% ward save. They just can't dish out damage from him. They need magical attacks, and in the early stages of the campaign, they just can't get that magical attack in. Alright, what do we want here? Replenishment or favor? I think if I go with replenishment and get myself back up to full strength, I'll consider I'll consider doing the quest battle after we've blown up Nagaron in order to get that just little bit of extra movement. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure that quest battle is a tough one. Even with all the strength here, I could lose it. Uh, let's see. What does Scarbrand need? He's done down the red line. I don't really think I'm going to go with this. So this is for... Which one's for Bloodthirsters? Is it this one? Oh, there's the Bloodthirster. Spare, uh, speed. That is pretty good. Yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to get that for him. Alright, what are some other things? So we got Maim. Extra weapon strength. Alright, let's do it. And Cleave. More melee strength. Charge bonus. That's okay. He's good. Doesn't need leadership. Go. More melee attack. <coughs> yeah, we got a lot of experience from that because we got the experience as well from the other army that didn't participate because we lightning struck it. Okay, we probably... Oh, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it to Nagaron now. Well, that should... Ooh. We're at 79% movement, and he's blocking my way a little bit, so it might... It will reset our movement completely. Not Alfario said if I don't submit chat. Playing as Imrik is turn 22 and Queek just came to the border with five armies. Pray for me. Thank you, chat. It's probably full of clan rats and Skaven slaves, so I think you'll be okay. Don't you regain movement on victory? Yes, but I don't know if I'm going to gain enough movement. Is the replenishment applied right after choosing it? Or over the end turn. Oh, uh, with the post battle option, it's applied instantly. We actually started the battle. Uh, sorry, earlier on the turn, I auto resolved something which damaged our army, and I've been slowly recovering. <laughs> Man, this is the turn that never ends. Hey, Legend, doesn't Lightning Strike give minus leadership anymore? It does. It's just not really worth to get minus five leadership. While also damaging the hell out of your army. So it's not really worth it. So yeah. Maybe the High Elves would give me a hard time with their magic missiles. But anything that's got physical damage is just going to brush off. I've got 50% physical, 22% ward save. Nice. Stand right there. Alright. Um, this isn't a hill, is it? Let me just, let me just see. Nah, see that did nothing. Did nothing, it's not a hill. I mean, this is a hill here. So if I go down it this way. Nah, not quite the same. A lot of missing units in this army too. Although, hang on, this is a kind of a hill here. trying to kill them quickly, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, all he does is kick him around. He's not actually doing any damage there. Oh, well. Ugh, so many missile units here. Even at massive missile resistance, still getting our ass whooped a little bit. Uh, I do con you did a two dollar super chat. Any IE Valkyr tips? Dwarf hammering my me by turn twenty. Um, I haven't played Valkyr on Immortal Empires. Have you tried defeating them on the battlefield? <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I don't. I don't really have any advice for that because I just haven't played them. But thanks for super chat. Come on. 
Come on. They should be shooting their own troops when I run around like this. A fair bit. They're corner camping. Yeah. AI cheesing. Yeah, those notifications block commands. They're just as bad as what they used to be. Look, I can't click on him. <laughs> Fucking hell. Remember those old notifications from Warhammer 2? Well, they're still in the game, essentially. They just look different. Come on, kill him. That'll make it easier to route them. Cool. Don't seem to have much left. Could use this maybe. Always be charging. Always be charging. <laughs> Always be charging. Keep kicking. Rampage. Get them in a nice big blob. Okay, cool. There we go, everyone. And we end up at full health. Cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to end up at full health. There. Your army is just there for cheering. Pretty much, yeah. It's just there for cheering. But we need we need it for the... Um, if we're going to do the, uh, the... What's it called? The um, quest battle this turn, we are definitely going to need our army. How is he so fast? He has a banner of swiftness on him that gives him 30% speed. And he gets an additional 10% in his skill line. And his base speed being 80. Yeah, you can get his speed up pretty high. Are you considering getting Sword of Cain on Scarbrand? Mm, I don't know. I'd have to go down and pick it off someone's corpse. And you know, I don't really like the Sword of Cain very much. He doesn't need it. Alright, this will bring us up to full strength. Cool. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it, but we made it with good amount of time to spare there. I can't get around it, so we're going to have to go in there and sort it out there. Um... The big question here now is do we... I think what I'm going to do is sack and occupy it. Because this is, as far as I think, going to be the end of the rampage. Yeah, because it's a good amount of money. It's tier... Uh, it looks like it's tier 3. I'll just, have, I'll just have him do it all by himself. Quest battle for his double axes. He doesn't really need it. He doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, that that might be able to give us extra movement. Now, if I recall, last time I did the quest battle, I don't think it gave him more movement. But I could be mistaken. Have you found any way to deal with the minus authority I get for Carl France campaign? I tried killing Festus fast and freeing all the settlements he had conquered back. Yeah, they need to rework the Empire. I don't think it's a good campaign right now. I'm getting a lot of people complaining about Carl France. My advice would be just don't play it. Try something else. Because, yeah, I don't think there's any way you're really going to prevent Imperial Authority loss. Unless you're, like, really rushed to get rid of Festus and... Um, all those other threats. It's just too easy to lose um, all your Imperial Authority. And it's too tricky to get it back up. Without, like, serious cheesing. Alright. 
Scarbrand can do all this by himself. Keep our army at full strength. We are at full strength. Oh, hang on. No, we're not. Oh, shit. Two units there. Missing. Scarbrand 2 are finally end. I think it's about to come to an end, yeah. I'm just running out of places I can hit. Don't stand. Oh man, that hits pretty damn hard. These fucking arches here. If I we make a run over to here, I might be able to kick them down the hill a little bit. Let's just go over. So this is Nagarond now. Just similar settlement type to what we fought before. Uh, Pasta Con Sardina Gaming. There are $2 super chat. What of the guy with the mustache? Volkmar the Grim? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyone that doesn't deal with the Imperial Authority mechanic should be fine. Apparently, Volkmar's campaign is actually pretty good. Yeah. But Karl Franz and Gelt's campaign apparently sucks now because of the Imperial Authority mechanic. It just doesn't work well in Warhammer 3. They need to rework it and tweak it a bit. Whee! Oh shit, I wasn't done there. Trots the feature would be so good. Get an extra 900 odd health would be good. Same thing with stuff for more melee defense. His melee defense is actually pretty low. Scarbrand hits like a truck, but he's. He can be taken down pretty quickly with magical weapons and high melee attacks. So something like Tyrion could really hurt Scarbrand. Not saying he'd win, but he could really hurt Scarbrand. Oh my god, we got so close. Break that, and okay, cool. Probably won the battle like five seconds before army losses anyway. Imperial Authority is better now than ever in my opinion. You have to use it and use your head. I returned many settlements to the Vectors. Alright, fair enough. But I'm just hearing a lot of people complaining about it, and when I took a look at it, I was like, nah, this isn't good. But you're always going to have somebody that uh, that disagrees one way or another. Is rematch available on Legendary Difficulty? Yep, you just hit exit to main menu, and then just load the campaign. <laughs> That's how you rematch. Can you put those followers in Heroes? Which followers? The extra range? Nah, that won't apply. Yep, that appears to be the end of our rampage. The chill road, actually, isn't that right there? I might... No, it's right there. I can reach it. 
I can reach the chill road. It's right there. According to this, anyway. I'll have 4% movement left. Huh. The rampage continues a little bit longer. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have a look here. The rampage continues a tiny little bit longer. Yeah, we don't need leadership. Charge bonus. Alright, we've got... Okay, let's fine. Get that. Oh my god, we started the turn here and we've gone all the way around. Smashing just about everything in the way. If we have a look, Nagarond is like just defeated. He is just so defeated. It's almost ridiculous. Alright, what we could do is hit the chill road. Blow it up. Maybe then hit the great arena. Then hit Grond from the right angle. And then swing around over here. Hit Ashrak. And then hit over here. And then be truly done with everything out this way. If I play this right... Alright, so this one here. We're blowing this up for corn, uh, for skulls, I think. Alright, um, could order resolver, but if we're going to do. If we're gonna do the, um, the quest battle, I need to make sure I'm at full strength. Fun fact Scarbrand gains 16 levels in this turn. Yeah. So the reason why we we um, try to make the most out of this rampage is because we got that extra movement range from the uh, the unholy manifestations, and we we'll only get that one every blue moon because we've got corn is ascended at the moment, and it only lasts one turn. So you've got to make use of it. Has your viewership increased since release? Um, depends on how you look at it. If you if you look at it in terms of this year, yes. If you look at it in terms of the grand scheme of things, then no. So, if we make a comparison from like last year, um, the all of the DLC releases from the last two years prior to 2021, sorry, 2022, all had higher viewership than um, Immortal Empires. Oh well, it happens. Um, flow change 54 TYR to the 10 of chat. Next battle, no cheese strats. Uh, okay, thanks for the chat. But who knows, maybe things will pick up. I mean, things have maintained pretty well after the launch of Immortal Empires, so that's good, you know. A little bit early to say whether or not Immortal Empires has been good, or... Well, it's definitely been good. Like, I could very easily say that the Realms of Chaos was bad for the channel, because we had, like, a huge spike in viewership, and then a humongous drop. I've never had a bigger drop in the channel than when Realm of Chaos hit, and that didn't happen with Immortal Empires, which, which is great. But because the drop lasted for five months, um, that was a really long, like, cold spell. So, depends on how you look at all things. You know, some people will look at one stream and be like, Oh, look, he got thousands of views on that one stream. Therefore, everything's all good. And it's just not how it works, you know? I'm here every day. You gotta, you gotta look at the averages.
So yeah, I'd say during during the aftermath of Realms of Chaos, viewership went down 20, 30, 40% drop, which is sort of the largest I've ever seen in the channel. But that happened across the board. It didn't just happen to me. It happened to everybody that covered Warhammer. Um, and Immortal Empire has basically brought things back up to where it was before Warhammer 3 came out, more or less. Does your vest tree still work? Apparently your vest is totally bugged and fucked. Doesn't it like hardly anything works? Alright, so we wanna skulls throw in that one. That should completely reset my movement. Time to smash all. Yeah, we're gonna smash. Okay. Attack her from this angle here so that we go towards Grond. Be you mindless or foolhardy? Level 6 versus freaking level 47. Does she have... She does have magical attack, though, and she is anti-large. She's only got 5,600 health. So, I would I would say that Scarbrand is pretty much... Yeah, he's got this. So, getting her defeat trait should be pretty good. Once again, let's see if we can do this with just Scarbrand to keep his army nice and healthy. I feel like Elden Ring also killed Warhammer 3 launch. I stopped playing watching Total War for the first time in two years. You could be right. You could be right. Um, that's a possibility. But the thing is, when Elden Ring hype went down, viewership didn't come back. But you could be right. Steam says current in-game base is 100k right now. Any thoughts? That's good. That's good. It's good that so many people are playing it. But that doesn't automatically translate to success for the channel. doesn't automatically. What's her defeat trait? I think it's pretty similar to Hellebronze. I think she gives us armor-piercing weapon strength, like 20, and a bit of melee attack. Or is it charge burn? I'm not sure. It's not much. It's not much. It's not a great one. Korn's wife versus his disowned son. Who wins? It's more like... I wouldn't say it's his wife. It's more like... Korn doesn't take wives. Servant of the he, just, he just wanted to hit that. Hit it. He wants to hit it and quit it. <laughs> Alright, I am looking for Valkyrie. She's probably sitting up this way. Alright, I'm looking for Valkyrie. Knock, knock. Where's Valkyrie? Where is she? Hey, Valkyrie, where are you? There she is. Alright, is she gonna come at me, bro? Because she's flies, I can't really do much about that. Alright, she's on her way. Here she comes. Here we go, here we go. Duel time. It's time to do du 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 duel. That's it. Look at my balls. <laughs> God, she's small compared to Scarbrand. Holy crap. Keep issuing the water, because otherwise he'll forget and attack these marauders. <laughs> that did not last long. She did not last long. Holy crap. She did not last very long at all. What are these? Good. Help us. Yeah, maybe she did that. Yeah, she did some damage. She did some damage. Not a whole lot.
Boom, roll it on. The thing is, Valkyrie is good. Just, it's just not that strong. And yeah, she was able to bypass all of his physical resistance because he does have. Um, he's got like. It's all physical resistance that she had magical attack. Skull crushers. Are these anti. Oh, they're anti large. Okay. Debuff them. Well, they're not strong enough to penetrate my thick skull. Although he is taking damage. He's taking damage. I give him that. Would Nikari have a chance in melee against Garbrandt? Yeah, he does stand a chance. Nikari hits really hard. And that's what you need in order to take out Scarbrand. You can't be hitting him for like 100, 200 damage. You gotta hit him for thousands, and Nikari can do that. But typically speaking, Scarbrand would win. Uh, I do coin you did a two dollars super chat. F Mary kill, which those are Lord you picking. No, I, no, I'm not answering that. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Sorry, right, I've already explained why I don't answer those kind of questions. Jake Hansford did a five pound super chat. Uh, what would you say is the most fun faction to play in IE, regardless of strength, etc? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Corn or Norska or Bretonia or Skaven. Those are my picks. Thanks for super chat. Would have thought uh, it's Cinch, but I don't know. I think Cinch needs a little bit. Needs a little bit more. It's just, it's not. It needs some DLC or something. It's just not ready. It's just not as fun as I was hoping it would be. All right, we're probably gonna run out of regen soon. Alright, start bringing these in. Wait, did I already use a breath attack? Festus? Yeah, I haven't played Festus, so I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are saying Festus is good. You could also just ignore those questions though. But you gotta keep in mind that I'm reading it for the first time when I, I read it out loud. So... And also, I feel like if someone's going to donate money, I'll at least address it and tell them that I'm not going to answer the question because I don't answer it. Those kind of ones. Yeah. And also, if I don't answer it, y'all get like in the chat, Legend, you missed a super chat. You missed a super chat. Legend, you missed a super chat. This is like, oh yeah, two pound super chat. Fuck, Mary kill. Cool. Totally, totally worth being notified about. So... Best to just address it, real quick. Oh yeah, he's at his max regen. Ah, 
I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the campaign so far. I'm enjoying it. Still good uh, turnout. We haven't really fought much greenskins today. <laughs> oh, well, we did a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you ready to summon? Yep. Damage, but I needed him. Well, I was at full strength and not anymore. Yeah, the blood shrine seems sorry, the uh, war shrine seems to hold a lot better than the, this one. Uh, Layers Sedig did a five pound submission. Hi, Legend, thanks for the content. Sorry, just hang on a second, dude. Uh, hi, Legend. Thanks for the content. Do you think a continent bonus should be implemented, for instance, a bonus for owning the entirety of the Empire? Uh, yeah, I'm down for that. They had something like that in, um, uh, Troy. I thought that was actually quite interesting. Yeah, I'd be down for, for that. I don't think that should be their top priority, but... Yeah, I'd be down. Thanks for the chat. Melee defense. All right, the army losses were triggered, but all right, there we go. Must have just had some disintegrating units somewhere. Well, that was a big battle, and so you got to expect you're going to take some damage. Any chance you can get down there and intercept these guys? Gotta try to recover as much as I can. If we're gonna do that quest battle, I'm gonna need this guy in that battle. Owning entirety of Norsk could potentially that mean there's no attrition. Yeah, that sounds good, but you know, there's already a lot of factions that already have that. So it wouldn't be useful to some of them. That is the effective end of Valkyrie. Depends if it's the actual end of her, though. Archeon took one settlement from me and revived a vassal. Then, for some reason, a different faction got another settlement in my province with no fight or notification. Is this a glitch? Hmm, it's probably a glitch. A bug. Yeah, I don't know how that can happen. Oh, unless Cinch took it off you. Unless, unless you encountered Cinch, but then again, if you're fighting Archeon... Unless you are really big and you own from the, from Kislev all the way down to the Southlands, uh, Cinch can just take away your settlements from you. Hey, Potato Mix Whiskey, how's it going, dude? Um, so for much, I did a final super chat. Do you know if there's any way to reduce global recruitment time as Empire? Yep, you need to build 10 of a military building, and it'll reduce the global recruit time for that specific unit. Alright, I think I'll blood for the blood god, and I'll use this one to occupy Grond. 
Yeah. So, I think Hellebron is like plus five. Let's let's have a quick look. Hellebron is yeah. It's the exact same thing, just just less. Ooh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to Ashrak. I am not sure. Alright, here's what I could do. I could blow this up and allow them to ruin dwell it, and then this army but so it doesn't have to ruin dwell, we'll go and capture Grond. Yeah, if we want any chance of getting to Ashrak, we have to get projected out that way. We have to. Let's see, here we go. Alright, this is almost his last points. Oh, look, we can get these two points here. The thing is, it's leadership. It doesn't really need that. Um, is there anything else he could possibly use? It just doesn't need spell resistance. It does give him weapon strength. Malika should be wiped. Now he's got... He's, he's not quite wiped, but he's pretty close. We're almost done with the rampage. Let's see if we can just... There are three settlements left, right? If we could get at Grand, blow it up, and be projected out this way, then I can get to Ashrak. If I'm standing right here, I won't have enough movement to get to Ashrak, right? So it just depends on if I get pushed away. Um, and then from Ashrak, I might be able to make it to Har Kaldra. And if we do that, we might be able to end the turn actually sitting in Nagarond, maybe. Once again, it's got to be four manually. If we want to keep up... Oh yeah, we fully restored because of the blood for the blood god, right. I was wondering, how did we get to full health? Army first to make it. Nor recolonize. Okay, so... I don't know how we're going to make that work with the army because it's in the wrong direction. I would have to push it. And even then, it just it wouldn't provide enough movement. So, and I, what I'll do is I'll blow up the settlement, allow that one to recolonize the settlement, so that I don't have to uh, spend money to do it. Can you subjugate Valkyrie? I can, I can, but I'm not going to be able to. Uh, technically, you can do it, but she's not going to allow it. Scarbrand is not a vassal faction. You know, you don't make vassals with him. Even though I did make a vassal in this in this campaign, your job is to destroy, not to vassalize. How do you get to full HP? We got 10% replenishment rate um, for destroying the settlement and creating a blood host, which restored all of our health. All right, this settlement type here is not likely to be capped, but I'll see what I can do. You can't convert a Valkyrie? No. It'd be so good if you could. I think that was a really big missed opportunity. Even if, like, the other Warriors of Chaos can't confederate them, imagine if they could be confederated into their Monogod faction. That'd be such a good thing. Even if it was only one way, like, um, they could be confederated into the Monogods, but they can't confederate the Monogods, I think that makes sense. It doesn't really make sense to have Scarbrand in... Warriors of Chaos in Valkyrie's faction. That just never happened. But I can imagine Valkyrie being in the Exiles of Corn faction. I'll just see if I can cap this. Should be a point blank range. <laughs> okay, I'll need to use the summon or else they're gonna kill me.
Yeah, I don't think capping this point is really a viable option in this battle. Oof, that bloom. Fucking hell. Who thought that was a good idea? Nah, can't cap it. Fucking camera angles with some of this shit. Okay, these two here should be fine to start coming in now. guys here, they're getting into the city. They're probably going to have to figure out a cross-faction confederation eventually because of Nagash. Or, yeah, but they might just make a new faction for him like they did with the, the Demon Prince. There's plenty of room for more, fa uh, more races. It would be good if there was some kind of cross-faction confederation. I already know it's possible. It's really... I don't think it's that big of a deal. For them to implement it, that is. Taking some damage here. Freaking all the crossbows and shit shooting at us. Oh shit, we took some damage. Oh, they probably used that thing. Okay, that's no big deal. The bound ability. Oh god, shut up. Just at the last minute there. I'm setting all the fun. Now we find out whether or not we can make it to Ashrak. Let's try to get as much health as possible because if we don't make it to Ashrak, we need to do the quest battle. Yeah, go after the ones out that way. Because this one here is at full 
health, yep. Yeah. You're not though. Does your bloodletter hero have any equipment? He's got a little bit. Not a lot. Nothing with any active abilities. We haven't really got that many items yet. Nothing particularly good. All the best stuff's on Scarbrand, obviously. Come on, nearly full health. Ah, damn it, there's nowhere else to run down. All you gotta do is touch it, get that health. There we go, full health with this one. And Scarbrand, all you gotta do is touch it. Ah, damn it, killed it. Did you know that with Eltharin, you can't recruit Knights of Torgaval early now? Yep. I'm aware. Hey, Legend, are you confederate? Sorry, are you frustrated with the confederation system right now? Yes. Complained heavily about it in early access. To no avail, unfortunately. They said they tweaked it, and they did. By, like, an almost insignificant amount. Quest battle won't give you movement back? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. But, we're at full strength. Might as well do it. Alright, so... Yeah, Skullet. Oh, we ran it not in the right direction, but in kind of the right direction. Alright, we make it only just. Okay. That is the effective end of... Oh, no. No battle here. We have to blow it up. Oh, shit. Yeah, I have to blow it up. Oh, my God. I might just have enough movement to get there. Oh, no, I don't. I need one more move point. Oh, no. I, th I don't think I've got enough movement because it would put a little circle above it. I think we're just out of movement. I can go and check. If it just moved me one tile over. Okay, well, let's go have a look. The rampage came to an end. <laughs> I can't get any closer. Alright, well... Maybe we try the battle now. So Valkyrie is not quite wiped out. Not quite. Well, we'll see. Alright, well. God, one freaking tile. If we just had one more move point. Anyway, let's get these levels up in here. I'll equip with whatever I can and we'll do the quest battle. I don't think it'll give us any movement back, but, you know, we give it a shot. Right, we need you to have high melee attack for what we're dealing with here. Okay, so equipment. Let's see what we got. Um, basic armor. I could give you the chromatic tome. Yeah, so useful. Gold sigil sword or the sword of bloodshed. Yeah, he, yeah, okay. I might give the other guy the sword of bloodshed. I got Spell Shield. Actually, that provides melee defense. That's actually not too bad. Okay. This guy here gets the Sword of Bloodshed. An Enchanted Item. Let's have a look. What do you need for armor? Enchanted Shield. Eh, whatever. An Enchanted Item. Which, I don't think I've got anything apart from this. Like, what's the point in having that? Alright, let's do it. Quest battle time.
Why not salvage the tome for a little cash? No, no, no. You refuse it with something to get another blue item. You don't salvage it for money. Ugh, that's a terrible idea. It's a blue item. Yeah, look at this. Valiant defeat. It's a, it's a tough fight, this one, because you go up against two exalted bloodthirsters. And bloodthirsters. It's a tough fight, and we've got a basic this fuck army. But I don't think I did this last time with Scarbrand at rank 50. Um, if I recall the soul grind. Okay, let's get, get into it. Oh, we've also got the summons, which that should help a bit. So yeah, two exalted bloodthirsters. This is a tough quest battle, this one. For, for this kind of army. Because you can't just do it with Scarbrand. Also Soul Grinders. Soul Grinder of Nurgle will be a problem. If I recall, it comes in from here. Could be good to actually just park your ass there and just wait for the Nurgle force because they'll just sit there, I think. Or do they eventually just come at you? I'm fairly sure it comes... I am Iron Man. All right, let's see. Here we go. The Unforgiven. All right, how are we gonna do this? I'm pretty sure their reinforcements show up around here, but I think what I'm gonna do. We'll go up this way. Yeah, I'm gonna fight uphill a little bit. Now, when fighting these bloodthirsters, we need to make sure they land in amongst our infantry first. So there's a soul grinder of corn, and they've got a. Uh, skull Cannon. I'm not going to worry too much about that, though. I could probably pin down the Skull Cannon what, with these. Shit. shit, 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 shit. If they charge into our guys, they might kick us down the hill. Are we gonna get a bit hurt there? Okay, you need to be fighting that. Scarbrand's taking some damage from taking out that regular bloodthirster pretty easily. Oh yeah, that regular bloodthirster is just getting wrecked. Good, good, good. Oh, it wasn't that much damage. Okay, one bloodthirster down. Get rid of this blood shrine of corn over here. It's already gone. Get rid of this dude. Well, this is going pretty well so far. That dude's just about gone. I need, I need to get rid of this dude. I really need to get rid of him. Oh, 
else I can do better. Okay, Scarbrand's just about one on that dude as well. That's good. But you go duel that. Okay, both lords are gone. Both bloodthirsters, I mean. Man, look how much damage Scarbrand has taken. Save that for Nurgle. The Nurgle... Yeah, so I was right. It comes from over here. But it's really slow. Get these guys out of here because they're slow as well. Okay, might need a little bit of oomph over here. Get away from the soul grinder of Nurgle. Contest of the Blood God. Oh man, Scarbrand's taking some damage. Yeah, get all these guys here up here. Garbrand can stay just a little. No, no, get him out. He's oh man, he's taking loads of damage. Yep, this is what I remember. The soul grind is gone at least. That's just a summon there. I can stay behind a little bit. Woof. All right, now the soul grinder of Nurgle. If that hits us in a big blob, we are fucked. They're aiming for Scarbrand with that, which is very silly. That's it. Shoot it, Scarbrand. Oh, we got an incoming here. What are these? Blood crushers. Okay. Better spread out, guys. Spread out. And this guy here's got a summon ready to go, so that's good. This one here's taking a bit of damage from the back. Needs Scarbrand to regenerate, but he can Oh, hang on, why don't you go over the Forsaken of Nurgle? Oh, the uh, Soul Grinder. That'll be good. Let's go kill that. Because otherwise that's going to fuck us up. Let's go, go, go. Oh, watch out for these. I'll need to pop down a summon to keep it busy. And you come over here so you can help pop down summons and stuff. You! Bloodthirster. Let's kick him down the hill here. Oh shit, if that shoots at Scarbrand, that's gonna do tons of damage because I think it's magical weapons. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out. Move, come on, Scarbrand, you keep getting stun locked. Move, move, now! Oh shit, get him out, get him out. Just go this way, just run away. Okay, once they've used up their ammo, okay, pin that down there. You go fight that to regenerate. Potion of healing? I don't have a potion of healing. This one out of here. Alright, 
Get some dudes over here. Destroy them. Just try to kick him around. Get that regen going. Good, Scarbrand is kind of regenerating a little bit while not really in combat. How's everyone else doing over here? We're okay, we're okay. Alright, maybe I'll bring him over this way. Because this dude's coming back down. Go fight that soul grinder of Nurgle. We've got dudes over here. I need to go kill the um, Exalted Great Unclean One. Uh, with this much health. Try to be a little bit careful. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, I should not have done that. Now, freaking 30 seconds of rampage. Oh, should not have done that. Okay, well, he's regenerating. We just have to hope that he can hold out and not die. No, he's doing okay. Of the blood god. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. I don't think they're even landing a single hit on him. Okay, cool. We got him back. And pop this down on him. Now, if I'm not mistaken, none of our units are getting wiped out in this battle. You can pull out your new one. We there we go. Got rid of him. And that's why we needed to be at full strength. There we go. We did it. Whew. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there that um, Scarbrand doesn't do so well against. Because, yeah, it's all about those magic attacks. We, we're doing so well against the mortals because they don't have magical attacks. But those uh, bloodthirsters do. I mean, he took out all three of the bloodthirsters. A corn... Um, soul grinder. And then a little bit extra. Will you consider recruiting Chosen later? Or do you think they're not really worth it? Mm. In Scarbrand's army, I think I prefer to go with demons over mortals, but I, I'm not opposed to recruiting uh, mortals in a mortal lord. So, like, Chosen in a mortal lord's army. Alright, cool. Nice, that's a good amount of money. I'll take that. I don't really think we need any more skulls right now. Replenishment rate should be fine. Now, did we get any extra movement? That was the big thing here, because we won a battle, but did we gain movement? We did! Uh, all those people are just like, You don't gain movement when you... When you, uh... Fight the quest battle. Guess what, bitch? I think we're going to finish off... Nagarond completely. We blow this up. And end it at Nagarond. Right, if we order resolve... It's the end of the line for him anyway. It doesn't matter if we take a bit of damage. Yes, blood. Ladies and gentlemen, we achieved our goals. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Oh my god, we just wiped out everything in the area. And we end our turn here. Eliminating Nagarond. What a rampage. What a fucking rampage that was. To put things in perspective, that must have lasted hours. We started here. We had Glacial Gardens. Dagrax End. Glacial Encampment. Glacial Encampment. Iron Frost. Altar of Darkness. Killed, um... Grombrindle here. Smashed this. Then we swung around over here. Temple of Cain. Had Grief. Swung back around. Killed those two armies. Nagarond. 
then Chill Road, Great Arena, Grand, Ashrak, Fought the Quest Battle, Harakaldra. That's what we did this turn. Pork and Chaps did a 5 dollar super chat. What core and infantry do you think is best for the early game? Also, thank you for the amazing content. Keep it up. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for the super chat. Um, best for the early game? Uh, it depends what you go up against, but I really like the Bloodletters of Corn and the Marauders of Corn. So Marauders of Corn are good if you're going up, not, up, going up, not going up against armored opponents um, and not going up against demons, I suppose. Uh, blood letters are good if you're going up against something with physical resistance or armor. For some reason, though, they're um, they're not considered armor piercing anymore. But they definitely are. That was a hell of a turn, and that was made possible thanks to this unholy manifestation, which is why we really tried to push it. It's a hell of a turn. What level was he when his turn started? 30 or something? Maxed him out. Oh yeah, don't forget those beastmen bitches that we uh, scammed. You know what? We scammed them and we got to about 70,000 gold, so I gained all that extra gold from all the smashing here. We've got enough money to get through about 12, 13 turns. I'm not quite done yet either. Torx ran for defeat trait. Uh, his, like, his defeat trait is not that important. Resistances are more than it, more important. Let me see if Torox is... We haven't met Torox. We should keep him alive to, um... He'd be down here. We should keep him alive to, uh... Uh, farm him for money because he's a beastman faction. Now, we've got a mission here from... Oh, who cares about Numas? No, no, forget that. Don't worry about it. Got a mission here from him. We can find out where. Okay, she's right there. Okay, we know where she is now. Ah, oh, she's gonna go and occupy Dargoth. We just occupied that, and it's um, it has no garrison. So, how are we gonna deal with that? So they're, they're gonna occupy this. We need to get over there. So what we do is, come around over to here, I'm going to blow it up. Yeah, I can't cross over that way. We'll blow up this, skulls for the skull, thrown it, and then swing around over here to deal with the last of them. Alright, looking at this. Yeah, we do need to fight this manually, because that, that other army is fairly large. And this is pretty easy. The blood thrones should, uh, blood shrines of corn should be able to do this on their own very easily. Anyone know why Itza and Cult of Sotek are a hundred relation but refuse to base this to treaties? Probably because they consider you their main threat. Yeah, the main threat here makes it really difficult to get um, any any um, treaties. So. You need to, like, offer to join their wars and try to get... Don't forget to take mission. I already did. I've already taken the mission. Um, what you need to do is join their wars and try to get treaties that way. Or even offer them territory. I know it sucks to do that, but... How do you get a lot of souls? You have to pay the troll toll. <laughs> if you want that boy's soul. Gotta pay the troll toll. I should be able to do with this, these three. We've already seen how good blood shrines actually are. No, 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 watch out for that fucking barricade. That's clever of them. Always be charging. We don't want to fight their single entities either. Oh, also we've got this. Don't want to be fighting that lord. Nope, 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 nope. Anti-large. No thanks. I know these are anti-large as well, but they suck.
No, I do not want to fight his master. This one here is taking a fair bit of damage. to bring in some other units. Not sure. Watch out for murderous prowess, because I got a lot of melee infantry here. A lot of spearmen, I mean. Oh, this guy here is always getting stuck. What a dick. Friends are so good. The damage they've done. Ooh, this guy here is not faring too well. Okay, maybe just let the other two fight on for a little bit. Gotta charge into them. Freaking charge! Son of a bitch! Yeah, you chase that out. Oh, God damn it, whatever. Try and do it quickly. Make mistakes. Should be pretty close to the army losses. Get him out of there. I think they might be able to take on a death hag. I'm just not sure. Yeah, no, they can't. Get him out. All right, I'm actually going to need some other units. All right, bring in the, uh, bring in these. This wasn't quite enough. All right, maybe send in the blood crushes as well. What happened to the Relentless Rage and Sword of Corn Battle abilities? They're technologies, I just haven't researched them yet. It's only turn 24. Like, even if I had rushed right for them, I wouldn't have been able to get them yet. They've got to be close to the army losses. Kill him. Taking casualties. Kill him. I've killed off everything else. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I was trying to do this without taking any damage. That obviously didn't happen. Uh, still took way less damage than what we would have in auto resolve. Yeah, try to heal as much as possible.
Apparently normal difficulty is actually harder than legendary on the campaign map because the AI aggression is actually higher. Maybe test it out sometime. I, yeah, maybe. But that seems so weird. It could also be that people who are shit are saying that it's actually more difficult. That's quite possible. I don't know. I don't know. Last time I played on normal difficulty, it was an absolute cakewalk. So, I don't know. It, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I, go, I gotta go chase after the other army. Alright. And we'll force march towards it, even though that they're standing right there. And they're probably going to go and attack Dargoth. Okay. But I got no garrison there, so it won't count as a defeat. Which, by the way, guys... Still zero defeats. It's not a zero defeat campaign, but I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright. I think we're finally done with our movements. I think we're finally finished. Alright, this guy here is making his way down to attack this. I don't think there's going to be anything on the way. Yeah, no normal difficulty is a joke? Okay, fair enough. I think some campaigns need to be harder on Legendary. I think it depends on which faction you play. Like, maybe playing as the Empire on normal difficulty might seem harder than Scarbrand on Legendary difficulty. That's quite possible. Fight for Now, uh, the uh, Marauder Horsemen of Corn are much cheaper. To recruit, at least. But nah, I, I think Bloodletters are the way to go. Really good units. Having 14 units of garbage in there is not going to concern me. Alright, well... Well, well, well. Let's see here. Since we got a uh, quite a bit of money, what I'm going to do here is recruit a mortal lord. Ooh, that's not too bad. Don't put him inside the settlement. Put him outside of it. And I'm going to use him to act as like a warning so that I can see where they're coming from. Because you know, a four percent supply line penalty is not that big of a deal there. All right, now we've got to go through our armies and cut the fat out of the ones that we don't need. So, for example, this one here. There is a there is a corn army over this way. Um, but I might send this one to go. Mm. So there's still Grombrindle's settlements over here. We don't know how well defended they are. I could have this one occupy Erecto Gorge and then go to Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Did I take out Clan Spittle completely? Septic, sorry. Uh, they've still got something out there. Like one Lord hanging around doing nothing. So yeah, what if I sent this one down this way? So that way, we just get rid of... All the expensive shit. Yeah, and that way I'll go and occupy Racto Gorge. Unless, you know what, unless the Skaven reoccupy it. But I didn't see them in this area, and we, we checked. And this one will go back around the other way. This dude here will occupy that. This one will occupy Grond. Oh, he won't need to merge, because um, there's still a Lord there. They'll occupy that, or, or this one. We'll see. Harganets is occupied. You'll take out that. You'll occupy Hag Grief, so I don't need you to be anything other than a Lord. That's your only objective there, is to occupy that. That saves us a lot of money. And then with Scarbrand, we have to decide where next we want to go, because he's not going to be able to get anywhere for a couple of turns. Septic has one settlement. Oh, Kragoth Deep. Well, now we know where Scarbrand's going to go. 
Thanks, dude. Thanks. That's, that's very helpful. Now I know where Scarbrand's going to go. Cool. I won't be able to get there next turn. I think we took out all of their... Okay. Yeah, that, that's really helpful. Thanks, dude. Alright. Just going through all this list one last time. What a fucking turn that was. Holy crap. Alright. Let's build some stuff. Oh, uh, there's also... Hang on, did they? Shouldn't you be? Hang on, I, I can actually maybe talk to. I haven't met him yet. I am malice, tyrant of hag grief. I'm pretty sure he had this settlement, so it seems like he lost the battle to Slanesh. That's interesting. Okay, northern wastes. Upgrade this for a tiny little bit of extra money, why not? Upgrade Infernius, sure. Ekrand, no point, this this whole province is fucked. Um, Frozen City, uh, Public Order should be fine, get rid of that. Dargoth, don't bother, it's gone. Don't, shouldn't need walls here. Morgheim. It's not affecting our garrison, yeah. That'll give us, I think, just one extra... No, it gives us two extra units. Five turns. It, yeah, so they should be around here. We might recruit an army at Morgheim next turn. Not right now, though. Don't bother recruiting anything else. Uh, building anything else, I mean. Galbaraz, I might be able to defend it. Maybe. Grunty Mingle, probably won't be able to do anything with that. Just leave it. Because, yeah, the, the Greenskin Invasion is coming. Death Gorge. I need to build this in minor settlements. Shagrath. Ah, uh, yep, that settlement's fine. Build that. Alright, cool. So, yeah, we've got enough money to get through quite a few turns here, no problem. And let's have a look in Diplomacy. I don't think i got much to do. Sarthosa's most infamous! The Queen of Tides. Okay, I think the Beastman, this one here, might give me a little bit of money this time. Either that or um, no, it's I think it's <coughs> this one here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Seems trivial compared to what I got from the other one. Would you say it's a good Empire army? What it, it's really difficult to say with that because a good empire army depends on what you're going up against. I'd say, like, rather than saying what is a good empire army, maybe build around a theme. So I'd say building around Hillstorm rocket batteries is probably a good idea, depending on what you're going up against. But the thing is, the empire is a master of none and sort of okay at everything. So if you build a gun army going up against a cavalry army, well, you're probably going to get wrecked. If you build, you know, a melee army up against an artillery army, you're probably going to get wrecked. So just cater the armies that you build to the enemies that you're fighting. But yeah, good empire army is kind of an oxymoron. You can build doomstacks as the empire, but... I don't know. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, I'll keep up that. I'll repair that, I mean. What a turn that was. You can't be defeated by the Great Wire if you don't end the turn? Yeah. <laughs> well, given how much I just expanded, I, I even think Grimgore's not expanding that quick. Hang on, slow it down. I need to see what's going on. Did they remove Pompous Hero Stack for Lizardman? I've gotten one in like 30 turns of trade tra farming. Well, then if you've got one, then you can get 30. So, it's still there. You've just been unlucky. What you, what you want to do then, if you really want to do this, you can... Oh, I didn't even see them. You can recruit a pompous character in another campaign and then just import it 
and that way you'll save on money and time. So yeah, if you just import 20 level 1 characters, you'll have your, your pompous army. So, if anything, it's actually more possible to do it in Immortal Empires than it was in Warhammer 2. Warrior Priest Doomsack? Warrior Priest Doomsack is pretty good, yes. That seems a little silly to me, don't you think? Seems a little bit silly. They have no strength. We've just skull-fucked Nagarond, and they're like, Oh, I declare war on you. Alright, whatever. Seems a little bit silly. Can we stack Channeler traits now, which provide six wind? Yeah, yeah, I guess you could. That's not amazing, but yeah, you could. Yeah, they took Dargoth. As we knew they would. They didn't build a garrison. Oh, fuck, Hellebron's back. Uh, we're still at number her, but Hellebron is quite strong. Uh, I'm going to have to fight hard for that. Good, they did that. Uh, she's there. She's not quite finished yet. Alright, we need to occupy this. I'm not done with that one yet. Oh shit, you didn't make it there this turn. Damn it. Well, they're not really doing anything this turn, so that's not that big of a deal. Predict failure. No, I really don't want to send Scarbrand back. I think Torok is dead. I think Torox might actually be dead. I can check. Uh, no, I can't. I think Torox might actually be gone. I think Torox is actually dead, yeah. Forty magic per turn. Oh! Short victory achieved. That's why. Uh, Windchill did a $10 super chat. Started playing IE Ikit Claw yesterday. Morga is a pain in the butt, but with his missile resistance, I miss Kazrak. Yeah, you, you can't shoot um, him. You have to go into melee. Thanks, super chat, dude. Appreciate it. That's going to be a tough fight. Hmm. Few tough fights ahead of me here. Finish off Clan Spittle. Alright, get rid of this one here. Served its purpose. Sacred Executioner! Okay, so yeah, this one, we'll actually send it over to, to here, because we wrecked his armies, but they're going to come back, so we'll just see what we can do with it. Only 7 units. Okay, what I think we should do is, like, force march to here. Try to get around it as much as possible, so we can really move in on Dracula's Spire quickly. Oh, 
Prophet legend, what if you get ambushed? Oh no. Alright, what's going on over here? Lord of Korn! Korn commands, I go! Seeking battle! Summon to war! Hmm, I don't see him. Pursuit of slaughter! Interesting. The enemy cowers! Maybe they're heading down here first. Doing. Yeah, short campaign victory was completed. Yep. Okay, so for long campaign, yeah, we're a little while away from that. Um, Herald of the Tempers got destroyed. Damn. That's unusual. You got to go around a lot of places. Lord recruit rank plus ten. That's pretty good because that way you can get exalted demons and shit a lot quicker. My Wait, hide here. Yeah, problem here is that I just don't have the siege attacker. How much longer does this thing last? I have one turn. Well, we didn't see any sign of them here, so once again, recruit another lord. Let me have a look at his skills. Let me have a look. So you reckon at rank 15, these become a... Um, a demon prince, huh? So, if we have a look here... Physical resistance for Chaos Warriors. Chaos Knights and Chosen, that's okay. Curious to see what a Demon Prince would do. We wait for Korn. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't cancelled this stuff yet. I'm really surprised. Kolex starts near Grimgore and you're surprised he's gone? Oh, of course. Right. Duh! You're absolutely right. Yeah, he got he got endgame crisis. Of course, that makes so much sense. Thanks, dude. Yeah, he he jumped up by five settlements that turn. Yeah, he's expanding at a really rapid rate. But the thing is, the bigger he gets, the better. It's easier to take him out. But yeah, looking at that strength ranking again. Uh, you know, there's a sliver of green, a sliver of green. Uh, but then again, if Scarbrand is able to just one shot every single one of his armies, that's pretty funny. Hmm. I need a fair bit to take that on, actually. Your wretched flesh will suffer. Yeah, she, we can make her a torments. vassal, but she is not going to vassal, and it's not going to happen. All right, no point staring at this. It's just got to get done. It's, it's probably going to be a tough fight. If we can order resolve it, I will. But uh, we'll just have to see. Oh, we can? Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't need this army anymore. Nice. Uh, cool. Good. Good riddance to her. Alright. What if I help... If I put, oh, are you gonna? Goddess you're not gonna get a spite reach. When I just oh no, we want to occupy that. I may actually need this army still. I may need it still. It's not that much. But these guys here could be quite useful in defeating Valkyr. I have a feeling this is going to bite me in the ass because I've just I've left so, left so little to deal with it. This army is not going to walk through that without taking some damage. But we'll see. Uh, so for much of the chat, you mentioned you continue your Cetra campaign. Did the end game vamps take over everything, or was there still a decent variety of races to fight? Um. 
the vamps. Uh, it'd probably be easier if I just show you what happened. Um, just give me a moment. Find a place to save. I don't think I've got any battles to do this turn. And then I'll show you. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, I want that one to stay there. Just be done with them. Alright, I think that's all of my military movements made. So... That's good, I guess. If we had left this under construction, we would have finished by now. When we originally had it. Um, I'll, just, I'll see. I, I'm not going to develop these other settlements, but I'll just see what I can do here. Let's get rid of this one here and start building walls. Extra defenses. Man, some of these buildings fucking suck. Uh, if we leave it empty, we could build both of these, I suppose. I don't know. Just leave it empty for now. That's pretty good, because it does increase income in the, in the region. Uh, Nagarond, yep, keep going with that. Is the Bretonia Special Cav Formation worth using Wormer 3? It's really... It, look, it's up to you if you want to use that. It's it's not a high-impact ability. Um, it, it's it's kind of not even really worth talking about. It's just one of those... Things like if you want to get like 1% more efficiency, you can use it. Um, you know, you get a stat upgrade at the cost of um, flexibility, so I tend not to use it because I much prefer to uh, have my units be more flexible. Um, but personally, I don't like that formation. And I don't think it's any better in Warhammer 3. Floating village should be okay. This could be a good opportunity to get. Oh, look at this. To get more cultists from here. Oh no, I'm losing money. Don't bother with Grunty Mingle. Oh, it, actually, you know what? It'll take them a while to get here. Let's let's do it because I might, I might actually be able to build some defenses there before too long. Fortress of the Damned seems. Whichever woeful den. Seems kind of likely they'll invade us at some point, but and I risk it because I need money, not defenses. Alright, and I did say I would start building some defenses at Morgheim, didn't I? Because it's quite possible that the Greenskins are... Because they were here, and then we didn't know where they went. No, that's not going to happen. Is the landmark for 25% reduced upkeep cost of blood letters in IE? I don't think so. I haven't seen it anywhere. I can't see where it might be. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to create a mortal lord. 
and a bunch of mortal units against, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Marauders to help defend the city. And you know what, I might get some of them as well. They are good. I expect to be recruiting for a little while. We could also go to the Harbingers of Disaster and pick up some units that uh, don't cost any upkeep. So we could go with Ungor Raiders. Free upkeep. Mortals, thou hast trespassed. Thy words had best hold prominence. curious. Alright, I think I'm done with the turn there. Oh man, I already used up half of that money that I had saved up. I'm not sure if I should just ban this. Because it could be really helpful. In maybe luring them away. Maybe. That black ox not going anywhere. Alright, let's move on. Can't see anything else. Alright, so that'll save the game. And I'll show you the Setra campaign. I've been saying I was going to do this for ages. Yeah, I was playing it earlier today. So I'm at turn 128, and that's how much territory I've got. Pretty sure where we left it was like maybe turn 118. Saved up like he sat there for loads of turn saving up. Well, no, you don't do that, but I did have a lot of money. I had 150 or 160 grand, and it's half of it's already gone. So, yeah, I'll show you where I'm up to with the Tim King stuff. Just playing it in my own time from the This is Total War. If you made a short video of that formation, you can have to decide for yourself. Yeah, I think the problem with formation attack is it's just one of those things where it just has such little impact that I just don't even bother discussing it. it its impact is so minuscule that it just doesn't matter. Okay. So, what's going on with the vampires? Let's have a look. Right, so Sylvania is strength ranking 1. They have 26 settlements. If you have a look at them, they are just taking over the empire, right? Hang on, it's not... Oh, oh god damn it, just a bitch. Yes, good. Oh, right, I see I did that. Hang on, it, it's not... It won't let me rotate, I'll have to do it here. Okay, there we go. There we've got it sorted. Alright, so there's Sylvania. You can see that they... Oh, for fuck's sake. You can see that they've got most of the Empire pretty much under their control. It's all this stuff here. They're out this way as well. They're even into the wastes. Uh, looks like they just totally took over Azag. There's um, thingy. The Barrow Legion. Uh, they're doing okay. They're, they're owning Altdorf there. Um, the uh, Caravan of the Blue Roses. I've been fighting them like absolute crazy, pushing them back. Uh, Cetra's been smashing so many of their armies every turn. We pushed in through here. I did own that, but they took that back. And I'm trying to get over here to take out uh, the settlement. Because they, they got a lot of territory. And honestly, these ones here are the most difficult to deal with because of their bloody zombies. They're so fucking hard to kill. Um, and then Musalon, I've been smashing a few of his armies. But he just doesn't seem to be anywhere near as much of a threat as the other one. He's just not sending that many armies. And I've pushed all the way up to here so far. Um, in the Southern Chaos Wastes, yeah, I started taking Tora that's all. I managed to push Slanesh out and kill it. And we've been fighting the Lizard Men with this Ushabti army. And every single time I fight them, I just take fucking massive casualties with this. But through Global, 
I can recruit them fairly quickly because they're only one turn. Because I've finished, I finished all the important techs now, and now I'm just trying to get, you know, more armies so that I can send them out and uh, go and kill. But anyway, that's the um, that's the Tomb King campaign how it's currently going. So it's definitely in pretty good shape, but. Um, it's a long way off from defeating the, the vampires. Is this a vampire in-game scenario? Yeah, that was the vampire in-game scenario. So we took out Manfred straight away because he spawned right in the middle of our territory in that one. Uh, but Vlad, Gorst, and Hel um, Heinrich Kemmler, they're causing massive problems to other people. They keep setting up, is that me? I keep swatting them back, but every now and again they gain a little bit of ground. But I, I, I'm just, I just, it's just a grind. You just got to grind through them because, in order to capture one territory, I have to kill off like four or five armies. What about your Vlad campaign? Well, that was in Warhammer too. Okay, so we hit end turn here. And we'll see what happens. See, so considering how long we spent on turn 24, turn 25 was just like nothing. I just didn't have anything to do. Tight formation is very vulnerable to artillery in Warhammer. Yeah. For sure. Legend of Total War here, coming from you from the hyperbolic time streamer where I stream for 10 hours a day and also have time for other campaigns. Okay, in regard to that... Oh, god damn it. In regard to that, it's important to note that um, I only sh only play that for like maybe one hour every second day. There we go, it's been about two weeks since I played it uh, on stream. Is Cult of Sigmar a mod? No. God damn it. I was gonna besiege it. I mean, did you ever end up finishing it, the Vlad campaign? No, I never ended up finishing it. Just other things pile up. I've always got so much work to do. I just don't have time to... to finish those campaigns. It's so time consuming. Especially when you spend 40 minutes in one battle grinding it down with skeletons. Are uh, Cold One Nights good now? I never, I didn't try them out, but I doubt it. So they're trying to occupy Spite Reach. Yeah, they can see I'm coming. No. If they could manage to capture Numas back, that'd be good. It'd buy me a little bit of time. You can't just auto resolve through vampire counts? Well, I don't really want to do that. I, I enjoy the battles. And typically speaking, um, skeleton spams perform like absolute ass in auto resolve. Oh, those flame gullets got wiped out. Hmm. Interesting. Red Fang's finally destroyed. Man, that spreads quite a lot. Getting that fucking Nurgle corruption up. Uh, still no sign of... Freaking Greenskins. Are they raiding us? Regional raiding. Okay, we can kind of see where they are. Good. So, here and here. There's two armies there. Okay. But where else? So there's those two. They're on their way. But where else? You know what? If they can track the Plague of the Crow, that'd actually be pretty good for us. So that's not too bad that that's here. Because it doesn't... It does give us extra growth. I guess I can't complain too much, even if it does cause Nurgle corruption. Fight for Karn. 
But yeah, this here is a bit annoying. That's very fucking annoying, Kalita. We don't have any cults anyway, do we? No, no cults anywhere. We just had that one show up this campaign. That's it. Alright, well, I saw that they were on their way. If I sit in spite reach, that'll prevent them from being able to do that. Because, yeah, we're going to just occupy that now. But then this one over here, that army's on the move. I just don't know where. Could be on the way up here, because if we look at it, they got, if they can get here within two turns, they might actually... Yeah, they are on their way here. These guys here have extra movement, don't they? A little bit of extra movement. No. And they can pick up units on the way as well. And that there is costing them a little bit of campaign movement range, right? So this one here needs to occupy this and then get over here and act as a pincer towards this. This will be the end of them. Sacred Executioner! Alright, I'm not going to be able to cheese this battle. I th oh, hang on, let me just see. I might be able to. Let me just see what the map looked like. If I had two of them, I could. Can I cheese this map? Nah, not this one. Nah. We'll just have to launch an attack. Alright, let's get on with it. We're just going to have to straight up launch an attack. So, yeah, we're going to occupy it. Have you already triggered the endgame scenario for this campaign? Yes. And it was the green skin one. And it's coming. It is coming in our Badlands area. But in the Chaos Wastes part of our empire, we are just thriving for the most part. Valkyrie... Uh, she was wounded two turns ago, so if we could take out the Warriors of Chaos, take her out within three turns, we won't have to fight her again. Not that she's that big of a deal, she's only ranked six. Okay. Uh, the towers here aren't that big of a deal. I think just all that attack. Because we need some semblance of force remaining so that we can continue on and finish off Valkyrie with this. Um, this here seems to be the weak spot. Yeah, this here seems to be the weak spot. Dark shards there for their wreckers. The skull takers decree. I will. Let's try to get up, because we're just getting shot too much here with those damn dark shards. Uh, D Devil Jin did a five dollars in chat. Sorry for unrelated question, but are vassals any good in Force Slanesh, especially on IE and and non Norse good? You got to be careful uh, with uh, vassals as Slanesh. Um, I wouldn't say that they're universally good. 
if you have alliances with demons and you take a vassal that demons hate, then you can kiss those alliances goodbye. So typically speaking, the kind of vassals that are very reliable for Slanesh is only Norskins and uh, I guess um, Beastmen. If you take a High Elf vassal, basically kiss any of your alliances goodbye. You take an Empire vassal, all of your alliances are gone, right? Um, they'll just, they'll hate you for it. So you just have to value. If you don't want any va um, allies, then it's totally fine. Um, but typically speaking, vassals are not that valuable at all. You, you're far better off just holding the territory yourself. Thanks so much, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I think they've got a lot of tweaking to do to make vassals actually worth it with Slanesh. Because every settlement for them is actually quite valuable, so giving it to some faction that is actually causing you diplomatic problems doesn't really make much sense. We're getting them, but we are taking damage. We're taking damage. Fucking dark shots, man. They do so much damage. <laughs> Back these ones off. They're taking too much damage. Just gonna Because they haven't taken that many casualties, they're just taking damage. Just getting out of there. We've also lost our skulls for the skulls throne, which was so bloody useful. We'll get that in again four more turns. Should be chaos spawn. Get in there and get rid of them. See, we can fight battles without cheesing it. This is that we, you know, we do take some damage. All right, we're getting a shot over here. Just get him out of there. Don't bother trying to take it out. Just get him out. Come on, where's that army losses? We've wrecked them. Need this one over here. Bleed them. Alright, cool. Alright, the damage is some, but not as bad as what order resolve would have yielded. Yeah. Cap with Bloodthirster? Bloodthirsters can't cap. Or you can choose not to be allied to any demons. Yep, well basically if you're going to get vassals... Look, there's a lot of things you got to take into consideration. For one thing, uh, vassals don't provide you with very much, right? They just don't. Um, as Slanesh. Um... And sometimes having an ally is better than having a vassal. Sometimes. It just depends. You know, I personally, like, I, in my Slanish campaign on Realm of Chaos, vassalized Katarin, and it was probably the biggest waste of effort in that entire campaign to do. I should have just killed her. Okay, 
We got Grunt. Cool. That one will attack Spite Reach, and that'll just be the end of it. End of Grunt. This one, he needs to come and take Ashrak. Blow it up, and... The thing is, these ones can kind of act as a bit of a... You know what? Maybe I should recruit a Lord here. Provide a bit of extra oomph. I don't think I'm going to have... Uh, let me see. What should I get? Uh, they've got mostly mortal... Most mortal. Oh, they've got the Blade of Corn. How the fuck did they get that on turn 26? What we could maybe do is lure him on a wild goose chase a little bit with this. If I put him here, he'll probably attack him and we just withdraw. That buys us a little bit of time. Tiny little bit of time. Yeah. He attacks us, we withdraw, buys us time. Crap, I'm gonna need those global recruits. It's a shame because we already won turn into it, uh, but it's okay. I don't see units coming at that one too much right now. Uh, whereas right over here, this this can get out of hand if we don't watch it. Um, get marauders of. Hang on, what list? What do they got? How's our? Yeah, just get marauders. All we have to do is just try to keep this guy busy until this wall here is built. I've got any regiments? No, no regiments of renown available. Or until this one here gets over this way. Because this one here can beat it, but it's going the wrong way. Alright, over here, Scarbrand has got an absolute nothing faction to get rid of. Oh, there's Clan Spittle. I might still be able to get it. I didn't know they were there. Clans, I keep calling it Clan Septic. It's Clans. Sorry, Clan Spittle. It's Clan Septic. Oh shit, we didn't get any fucking movement. No, you fail, failed. Well, they're clearly going to over here to occupy the uh, Temple of Cain. Oh wow, I didn't get much movement. Yeah, compared to what we were doing the previous turns. Oh man, I am running out of money. Corn! Spread slaughter! Caught hell! Sick! I'll buy. The drink of blood. Yeah, obviously I can't launch that attack, but just get up in its face. I just want this fucker gone. Alright, I'll probably have to fight this manually. Doesn't seem like it'd be too difficult. And a Dracula Spire. If we have a look here. Oh shit, they've already got 10 units. I'm gonna need to do Blood for the Blood God here. I need some more troops. We're not going to get a very large army, though. Mm, it does say low casualties. Nah, we will stomp all over them. We'll fight them manually. If I order resolve it, I'll just take too much damage.
Turn one, I have three armies all led by Torox. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. You can research Sword of Corn pretty quickly if you Valkyrie as you rush it. Yeah, well, it obviously did. You'll conquer the world turn 10 with 100 million Ungor Raiders. Okay, good. That's cool, dude. What's the strongest army you can build with Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 ever? I don't know. Alright, so... Uh... They, if I put my troops here, they'll almost always build a barricade. So let's go through here where they just they can't really build barricades to keep us out. Alright, these guys here, if they all dogpile onto one crossbow, it's actually they should be able to handle it. Uh, these ones here go through oh actually one of you. Not you. Take this out. We'll be standing on top of it. And then you land. Should absolutely kill it really quickly. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at them go. Yeah, look, they took it out really quick. Right, there's another crossbowman up this way. They're really goofing around with that one. Let's just move on to the next one over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. That's going to do a little bit of damage to us. Come on, into melee quick before they use it. Okay, cool. Not bad for a bunch of garbage units. Alright, army loss should be any moment. And we definitely did better than what the order resolve yielded. We absolutely smashed them. It took like, what? Less than 20 casualties. Cool. But yeah, we still need more force if we want to take out uh, Grombrun. Well, Grombrunel shouldn't be back yet. But whatever he's got in his other army, it's, uh, it's probably just Dwarf Warriors. Because, yeah, it's going to be much larger than this. Fury's actually doing work. Yeah, that they can do all right. They can do a good job. Pompous skink chief doomsack skink priest. I'd say not chief. Uh, in Warhammer two, I don't know if it'll be as good in Warhammer three. Fuck! I really need the money. No, I don't.
Okay, we created another small army here. Which will make it possible for us to... Not impossible, but quite likely. Good, we prevented them from recruiting anything else. It, they're not recruiting anything now. So they've actually got 11 units, 18 units. We, we've we got enough troops here. Once they've done that, I don't know if I'll do any more with them. But yeah, money is... Uh, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem. Biggest concern is actually this over here. In this area, at least. Alright, what else are we doing? So I know that there's a whole bunch of vampires nearby. Oh, Kalida, you bitch. Never. Purify land with slaughter. You are keeping oh my me god. My Why is that so bad? Quickly. Baseline evaluation. <laughs> Might as well. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, this army's costing me a lot. It's, it's not a blood host. I can't launch the. Hang on, can I? I can actually launch the attack on Kalido. Fuck it. Even if we lose. No, no, if, if we win and get wiped out, well then, at least we fucking fought something. <laughs> Destroy! Are oh, you bitch! Demon Knight. Well, maybe she'll just walk away now. Or she'll actually send more force. Ah, I don't have a siege attacker in this army. This <laughs> stupid coward. I don't have a siege attacker. Uh, yeah, I get the siege towers. I only need one. Ah, shred them apart. Yeah, because I don't want to lose this lord. He is disciplined. Hmm. Yeah, vampires or whatever might attack us. Who knows? This could be the end of him. I have no idea. Do you know about the free lord of metal? Yep. Know about it. Yep. This one over here. Oh god, I can't keep affording to do this. So yeah, we can see that they're coming. They're a few turns away. Yeah, because they're standing in this territory here, they're losing 20% movement range. I can't afford them to recruit another army. Yet. Not with minus 11,000. Oh, I can borrow this army. Woo! <laughs> Request army for 36 legions. Uh, what would I do with it, though? Land of the dead. Yeah, that's their main lord. Slaughter commence! Farmort. They misspelled his name. His name isn't Farmort. It's Fartmore. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I'm so mature. I am a mature man. Alright, let me just move over here real quick. Give us a line of sight over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, recruit some more. Marauders. I don't know how we're going to handle this. Alright, research. Let's have a look here. So, we've done two out of three before we can move on to the next one. What do we need next? Lord recruit ranks okay. Income from more buildings. How much would that make us? Our income's actually gone up a fair bit. It'd make us about 300 at the moment. Uh, yeah, I, I need more cash. I'm just fucking not making any money. Alright, let's see what we can build. Okay, Blood Mountain. Let's have a look. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah, Malice usually gets his ass handed to him. Okay, Blood Mountain. Let's have a look. So we've got this one here, which is increasing income. Uh, we seem to get most of our money from just the main settlement building, so let's do that. Iron, income from all buildings, local problems, 5%. Better than nothing. And skulls. Don't forget about skulls. When they get really close... Oh, I think... Let me have a look here. Mal... Don't you have money for me? No, not yet. But the other one does, doesn't it? Next turn. Okay, that's good. That'll help pay for some shit. Uh, what if you went to war with... Crooked Moon? No. Broken Axe? No, even worse. Usually they want to go to war with two people at a time. Nope. 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 He doesn't want to go to war with anyone. Because if I can make him go to war with someone, I can get some money out of him. Nah, he doesn't want to. Uh, Harbingers of Disaster. Let's have a look. He's already at war with a few people. No, nah, he's not going to do it. Alright, so if I gave you Bitterstone Mine. Nah, uh, we could sell it for two grand, but let's let's have a look at Clan Wars then. Skaven. We talking if I gave you Bitterstone Mine. How can you That's right, he doesn't want that. He only wants Morgheim. And if we got him to join war against Crooked Moon. And it's still on offer. But I have to give him Morgheim for that. I don't really want to do that. First for battle. Alright. Can't really do much diplomacy. Is there an easy way to increase army capacity to save generic beastmen lords? No, I don't think so. You have to use dread, which takes a little while. Alright, Grond. If we go with gold. No, this doesn't really provide anything of value just yet. Oh, Scarsnet coming on my ass so early. I think one of the problems here is that Scarbrand just isn't doing a lot of fighting. Um, I think what I might do with him is deal with this and then swing around and start dealing with him. Because at least he's got probably a lot to fight. He just He's the way we make money. Yeah, I'd say Torox is dead. I just keep pushing down south here. At least until a bloody um, cult shows up. Alright, here we go. So that's no big deal. What I'm hoping happens here is this one comes and attacks us. And we try to drag it along this way. While this one comes over here tries to take this. And we just try to build our forces as quickly as possible. So that we've actually got some semblance of an attack here. If we can hold them back for... Five turns, the Skull Throne would really help. Because we get those summons. Help counteract the Blade of Corn a little bit. It's not a super strong army. I just don't have much here, that's all. Um, when this guy occupies this, I can disband him. When they destroy Dracula's Spire, I can disband them. That'll probably save a lot of cash. And this one's going to try to help out as well. Let's move on. How's the wire going? It's, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Yeah, you better run. I would, probably would have preferred a fight, but I'll take that. All 
Alright, if Katep wants to take that, I'll just blow it up as well. Has already been defeated? No. We defeated one of their armies. That was it. <laughs> Just one. Alright, looks like he's... Okay, he's doing what I wanted him to do. Good. Yeah, there's no way we can win that. He shouldn't be able to catch us. Awesome. 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 He's just stuck in limbo there. Good. There's Malagor. And then we've got this attack here, which... Please launch. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, I forgot about putting that stuff in. Alright, so yeah, they got a few heroes. Um, if we order resolve it. Yeah, the, the problem with this sort of situation here is... I'm just, I'm just gonna order it. Yeah, we barely took any damage considering what they had. It's, that was actually pretty good. Ooh, defensive alliance. Nah. If, I tell you what, I'll do that if you go to war with Crooked Moon. How does that sound? Nah, they, nah. Then you're of no use to me then. Have you seen the AI use hero actions? I've not seen them do anything with heroes other than putting them in armies. That's actually a good point. I can't recall the last time I they did a hero action on me. That's a good I that's a good point. They might not be doing it. I know I've seen them like walk up to my armies. Okay, Mord can was destroyed, I don't care. Alright, what did they do over here? I'd say that that's probably Clan Spittle there. Alright, regional raiding. Okay, we can get an idea where they are. They're moving really slowly towards us. Really slowly. I don't even think they're going to hit Bitterstone Mine next turn. Well, on the plus side, we can take Karagorod and actually get a fight in. So that's good, I guess. He has not recovered yet. He has not recovered. Um, I have no. It's kind of weird that this one here declared war on me after I gave him that settlement. You met a Lithana? Who cares? What's that gonna do? All right now. Before we launch the attack on Clan Septic, let's just make sure that's where they are. Yep, they're at Temple of Cain. How dare you. Watch it. Do not displease me. Alright, good. He can't reach Dagrak's end, which means this will get built up. Now, if I don't launch the attack on this guy this turn, then... Hang on, how many troops do we have? We've got six plus... We've got nine troops against twelve. They're recruiting a new army over here. We need to move fast. That will incur my wrath. 
Let me take this out. Winnable. Mm. You gotta keep in mind they've also got that sort of corn ability. I'm finding IE so easy. Oh, really? Okay, well then set the uh, end game to 200 and put it on turn 10. <laughs> See how that goes for you. Ah, oh, yeah, of course you're gonna put extra defenses. Of course you are. We need to give these guys some really bad choices. Really bad choices. Okay. We're going after Ashrak, no matter what, next turn, right? So what we could do is make it so that this guy here has a choice. Defend Ashrak, or chase after these idiot lords, right? So if I put him here... I put him here... Right about there. Okay, he can reach it. And he can reach it. But then I can withdraw. If they don't attack me... Oh, I can't recruit here. That's fine. If they don't attack me... I could, I, actually, I could if I go into global. I could. Alright, this one over here. Fucking... I want to, I don't want them going out this way. I'm actually going to send the, this one to Dagrak's end. Yeah. Because they can't reach it. Right? So he can run out over this way. Or he could come and attack me here. Or he can come and defend this. This one here could come here. But he can't. That's his maximum movement. If this one attacks me, he better bring a big army. I think we're, we're starting to get them. If they attack me here, I should be able to force march down here. And this one come in. I don't think I need its help anymore, but... I'll think about it. Is this campaign satisfying? Oh yeah, I'm loving this campaign. It's great. Alright, they're starting to recruit again. I might be able to, able to auto-resolve this as well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I can't auto-resolve that. Exalted Bloodthirster or Permanent Herald? Ah, uh, definitely Bloodthirster. Bloodthirsters are crazy bloody strong. And Blood Reapers are not really that good. Uh, then again, if they're on a Blood Throne, they're okay. Well, I think we're best off just... Okay, money... Like, we've got a lot of reserves, but we're going to run out fairly soon if we if we keep wasting so much. Like, yeah, I'm bleeding. We're not going to get another big rampage like what we had anytime soon. So, might as well just auto that. And then allow um, Scarbrand to sort out all this shit by himself. Because, yeah, these armies here are costing me a fair bit. But at least this will be the end of the dwarfs. That here, at least. And then, yeah, we'll just order it. And be done with them. Ooh, should I sack it? That's a lot of money. Okay, good idea. I have actually have got a lot. I've got a lot of skulls. So why don't we sack it and occupy it? Because yeah, I've got an I've got a big surplus of skulls. Yeah, don't need this anymore. Get rid of this. Cool, finance is improving. And yeah, if it uh, if we occupy it, it will cost me two thousand odd. Skulls. Or I could just wait until next turn and blow it up. Let me just think about this. Whatever the case is, get rid of this one. Too expensive. Do we blow it up next turn? No, I'd say... Um, let's take it now. Just use up the skulls, that's fine. And then that gets rid of uh, Grumbrindle. It's finished. 
Uh, Infamo did a photo super chat. Do you think CA is going to work to fix the realms of chaos or give it up as a bad job? I uh, feel like they weren't bothered by the tepid response to the Vortex. Yeah, I feel like the race for the Vortex campaign, uh, sorry, the race for the uh, Demon Souls, it's abandoned. They'll, like, do the odd little tweak, but their resources are going to be spent elsewhere. Uh, that's, if I had to guess, I'd say that's the case. Yeah, and then we just disband this. I don't need it. Okay. That's not too bad. Alright, get rid of this stupid rat. Didn't go exactly where I wanted to, but that's okay. And then if they're going to occupy Kragoth Deep, I could maybe use this as an opportunity. Stand right here. Get over to this side here, blow it up, and then move towards Shroktak Mount. I might be able to reach it that way. Just wait for them to ruin Dweller. How does he feel about us? Hates us, but not... not yeah, we'll see. End game over? No. No. It's only really just begun. Alright, now. If I sack this, it's worth... Yeah, it's probably worth the sack of Okay. Oh, How strong is Kalida? Very. Yeah, I think we'll occupy this, and then start creating some blood hosts and just pour into here. Just rip Kalida a new asshole. But yeah, we can't justify order resolving that. I have to fight it manually. Should be really easy, though. So we'll sack and occupy it. That way I'll get some money out of it. But it's also good for leveling up this lord. This is not a blood hose. This is our first, like, standard lord. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang. Hold on to your PP. I don't need to fight this properly. <laughs> don't have to pay upkeep if the turn never ends. Who would have thunk it? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't have it run on forever. Um, these maps here. Oh, my God. We just put... The, the Ungors will just go over here and just go cap it, and they won't even know what hit them. <laughs> That's why I recruited them. That's why I recruited them. Make them think we're coming over here, but we're not. Oh shit! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I, damn it! Oh my god, I left some dudes over here. My bad, my bad. That's okay, we'll just have to sneak in a different way. God damn it, moron. Moron! Somebody say it. Moron alert. That's okay, just. Ah, uh, fucking moron. <laughs> Great plan ruined by shit execution. Should have fucking checked. Go on, get out of there. So what's going on over here? They didn't put anything over here. What the fuck? Oh yeah, they did. I just can't see it. It's probably crypt ghouls. Move back, move back. God damn it. Now there's friggin' units over here. God damn anus. Alright, alright, look, fuck it. Let's let's send Oh god, these towers are active. Um 
get these ones up over here. I think I might actually have to just launch the attack. Try to come up over this way, go through there. <laughs> I might have to fight this normally now. Oh, I can't cheese it because I fucked up the initial thing. Oh well, my bad. Okay, we can look at the silver lining here. They've put an absurd amount of troops here to defend against this. So... You know what, I still might be able to get this done. Trying to get through that. Alright, and then get them up this way. I, th I think we'll be fine. At the end of the day, we'll get a good amount of replenishment. But, oh man, that was a shit execution. I was going to cheese it and... Oh, I goofed it. Safe go? Nah, it's fine. The the damage being done is next to nothing, and I can still just make a run for that. Yeah, yeah, everything'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Look, they're not defending it, and here comes the the Marauders of Corn over here. The main thing is to win the battle so that we recover in one turn so that we can keep moving. However that happens, it doesn't matter. No, oh, no, they're getting over here. Not as stupid as dwarfs, it seems. Oh, they're already here. Okay, well, can't cap it. Let's move. Don't want to be fighting Black Knights. Want to be shooting at them. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is not a perfect victory here for sure. Should be fine. Hang on, hang on, stop, 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 stop. Cap this. How are we going over? Oh god, this guy's getting wrecked by Black Knights. Come out. Oh, the battle where just about nothing went right. It happens. Can't use these ones properly inside the city. And they just won't Attack shoot at this. Okay, we're in. Yeah, just won't shoot at it. Do I like new siege battles? Uh, I actually don't mind the minor sieges, but I hate walled sieges. I think they're awful. Absolutely awful. Come on, shoot at them. Oh, 
Rampage and fall. Back to the Black God! Okay, just about everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong so far. It happens. It happens. God, it's gonna suck if we get it besieged here over the end turn, that's for sure. Just all right, just get in there and get rid of it. They just can't use them properly inside a settlement. It's too cramped. Was the last oh, now they've got it under control now eh, missed our chance gonna have to just outright beat them man these towers are doing it too much damage to me here Let's try to catch that Oh, they're fighting bats. Right. The AO is pretty good at making it some of your units um, fight while you're trying to get rid of a barricade, slowing you down considerably. Okay, just gotta try to keep the casualties somewhat evenly spread out. We should be able to recover in this one or two turns. As long as like these units hit, no, these ones stay back. They're done for this turn. Come on. Okay, bats done. These guys here, alright, we could do a little bit of skirmishing, but just be careful with them. Oh, it would have been hilarious if, if the plan had actually worked. Funny how it's just such a little mistake. Like a <laughs> poor deployment it can make such a big difference. Completely ruined the plan. Come on, man. These barricades take forever to break down with blood letters. Well, fathers, warriors! This one here, entirely been shot by towers. Uncles. Blood for the blood god! Would have thought it'd be so bad to fight the battle, not cheese it. Yeah, you take shitloads of damage if you don't do this. Because the towers freaking wreck you, and it's so easy to cheese it usually. Exactly. Captured a couple of points. Any chance of going over? Okay, they don't seem to have that defended. We'll see if we can get the uh, the Ongors over there. We just keep no, keep them out of it. Get 
get through these ones here and we can go and cap this point and stop getting shot by this damn tower. We shall the slaughterer. Right, I'm gonna try to swing this guy around. I really need to cap this point as quickly as possible. Uh, Possumo became a member for 29 months. I legend, thanks for the content. Do you think that Vampire Coast units would make good addition for Vampire Count Armies if you have that as an ally? Not really. Not really. Thanks for Super Chat. I, I think the Vampire Coast units are actually, for the most part, really weak. And I don't think they complement well with the Vampire Count playstyle. But, you know, maybe you can make something work, but, um... I think you'd have to work pretty hard at it. And the Vampire Count armies are actually pretty strong at the moment. So, it's not something that I would personally do. But yeah, thanks for the chat. Uh, membership. Alright. Alright, oh, it's taking some damage, but if we sack it, we'll get some replenishment. Tiny little bit. And if we have a look here, there are... Look at that one, that's actually there's no barricades or anything. There are just three towers left. Marauders of Khan! Endless evisceration! Alright, one of these units is pretty badly damaged. Let's move it back a bit. cap this point. This capture point here is not overly important since there's no towers associated with it. And we've got them over here. Oh, there we go. Close victory. Was that what the order resolver said? I think the order resolver said Pyrrhic victory. So, uh, the damage isn't that bad. It's just a lot worse than what it could have been if I had snuck in. Do you even need the Blood Shrine Doomstack at this point? I don't have one. They're already getting Mongols, aren't they? Yeah, and I don't think they really need Mongols. Um, I don't know. Like, I would need- I'd need to see some evidence of, like, a Vampire Coast unit inside of a Vampire Count unit actually doing a good job for me to be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. But... I mean, obviously, the obvious, um, selection would be a Necrofex Colossus, which is just an outright amazing unit. Um... That would be the only one I could think of. Dabble Dabble Data did an NZ2 Super Chat. Do you think Warriors of Chaos faction are strong? They're strong, I just don't find them particularly interesting. Armor of Fortune could be good. Alright, so we sack this. So, here's an interesting thing. Do we occupy this, or do we come over here? I can't do both. Two levels up to this guy. Yeah, the damage doesn't seem too bad. We'll be able to recover pretty quickly, especially if we occupy this. Amentes, do you need to have it? I know you have no Blood Shrine Doomstack, but you said it would be great to have a Blood Shrine Doomstack yesterday. Well, yeah, if I went up against um, Skarsnik, maybe I could really make use of it. Maybe. Don't forget how badly outpowered we are by the Greenskins. 
Like, this is terrifying. Everything that I'm doing here is how to build up a power base so I can actually fight them. Attacking them head on won't work. Hmm. Could sack between these settlements. No, because this one here is a siege and we don't have a siege attacker. Alright, just, just don't fight. Don't need that there. Repair that. Oh, we got to keep our growth from last time we were here. Cool. Alright, with these two points here. Alright, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to reach... Oh, I might be able to reach it. Okay, because what I do want to do here is blow this up, create a nice big blood host, and just pour into Kalida's territory and take her out. I know that there's... There's uh, Thoric over here, but coming down this way, eh, it's time-consuming, and Kalita's a bitch, and I want to beat the crap out of her. I could get two extra melee attack, which isn't a whole lot of value. Or I could get 4% replenishment rate. Getting towards Lightning Strike is... Fairly useful. Sustained by slaughter's good. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, one point there. It's just low value in putting points into that. Like charge bonus. That's important. Okay. Cool. Hey, sub green skin end game. Got to kill him. Got to kill him. Just not strong enough to do it at the moment. That's all. Just got to kill him. All right. I think we're done with the turn. Let's see what else we can do. So yeah, I think I've outplayed them here, but you never know. I may have made a mistake. Uh, don't go into that stance then. Oh. Doesn't really matter, does it? Um. Costing me a grand plus 4%. All right, if I force march here, they can participate in the battle over, over here next turn, potentially. Step forth and conquer. Look how much better these Marauders of Corn dual weapons are over the Marauders of Corn. They are so much better. Like, if we just compare... You lose six melee defense, but look at that extra weapon strength and anti-infantry that you get. Uh, I guess you lose the shields. But Korn's all about just dishing out damage anyway. Rally to Korn's banner. Lord of Korn. Exalted of Korn. Right, I'm going to recruit another Lord here. I know it's going to be a supply line, but that's fine. Campaign line of sight could be good here. I will not fail. Okay. And what I want to do with him is use him to goof this army around. Try to get him to chase after us. Because we've got... Um, we're reducing their campaign movement range. That's why they're moving towards us so slowly. Yeah. And it wasn't that much extra money. Okay, let's have a look. What else? We I think that's it. Alright, let's have a look at diplomacy. Probably nothing. This time. Okay. <laughs> He's at war with Grimgore. Good luck, Archeon. I think you're about to die. Uh, if that's the, the case, I might as well told me your offer. get some but money out of him. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Earth and Revivalists are pretty far away from us. I'd be very surprised if they came at us. And after Archeon has died, I imagine that um, Grimgore will take out him next. It's just a way to get some money. Could bite me in the ass, we'll see. Same thing with... Nah, it's not worth anything. Fear 
are the Speak. Nah, warpstone. Depravit Blah Scabby Eye. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot about them. I've been at war with them for a while. I'll just take their money and uh, they can fuck off. It is night. <coughs> oh my god, chill. What did I say? What did I say? Frozen city. Yep. Uh, that's right. We're just gonna leave that empty. Nagra. We developed that. We can go do that. Cool. Cool. Ports are actually worth a fair bit of money to us, so that'd be good. When's piss off the greenskins? Dude, I'm already at war with them. Who cares if it pisses them off? I can't get out of that war. <laughs> yeah, you, you know you can't get peace with the um, with the endgame crisis? Oh look, he actually doesn't hate us. You can't negotiate with them. He said Archon's about to die. I think that was just a fact. He's, he's going up against Grimgore. Alright, Palace of Ruin. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there for some money. Yeah, that's it. Get those port income coming. Okay then. Okay, that seems okay. Uh, Sar Sabarta Chat. Oh, man, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Did a ten pound super chat. Uh, the current immortal empires appear to be much more geared towards new players, no water tide, and less reliance on specific mechanics. Entrepreneur makes it more accessible. Challenge can be added later. Yeah, I, I get that. That's what I thought as well. But the thing is, I'm not a new player, so I don't have to like the fact that they did that. I, I understand if that's what they were going for. I just think that they, it came at a cost. I think they didn't have to do that, that's all. Like, for example, Entrepreneur. It's not like if you put Entrepreneur in the game, suddenly new players fall on their own swords or just die. You know, um, like when I did a f my first high off campaign in Warhammer 2, I didn't even know Entrepreneur existed. I did an entire campaign without recruiting Entrepreneur. I still won the campaign, and I was on Legendary difficulty as well. I just didn't know it was there. Um, me not knowing it was there did not, like, make that campaign any less fun. I just didn't know it was there. Um, hey, bro, I just fucking shit my pants in front of my new girlfriend. What the fuck do I do right now? Uh, I don't know, dude. You just, just, just give up. You're done. <laughs> You're done, dude. You finished. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for the chat. Um, uh, sub Sabartad Drell. Oh yeah, whatever. Alright, what are we doing next? So how many settlements do we have? We're on turn 27, and I got 28 regions. That's, that's alright. Not too bad. It's faster than what I usually would do with any okay. other faction. Um... I mean, we're about to lose some territory out here. There's no stopping that. Uh, recruiting troops over here, but not too... Urgent. I'm not seeing them send too much up this way. If we have a look at Skarsnik, who is our current major threat, he's got seven regions. He's way stronger than us, but it's mainly just having a look at the other enemies that he has, so he's not sending everything at us, right? Karak Hirn, over here. Okay, I imagine he will win there. Um, Crooked Moon Mutinous Skits, that's these over here, which I haven't seen him start to attack. Zafbar, um, over here. Karaza Karak still exists, apparently. Karak Kedrin. So we just have to wait and see how that plays out. Alright, I think I've done everything that I can. Let's move on. Alright. Alright. 
six turns to upgrade to tier two buildings. Yeah, corn builds things pretty slow. Uh the Slenish forces are starting to die off. Fuck, I'm gonna need to do something about this. <laughs> God, I might need to raise another army. Great. Just when you think you can take a little bit of a breather, the game throws more curveballs at you. Can't believe you gave the time for that. Yeah, probably should have ignored it. You're right. A streamer yesterday mentioned that in trying to balance every faction, they all become the same and do not become unique or fun in any way. That is correct. That is correct. Yep. Okay. Now, if they take Bitterstone Mine, my edict will end, which will means that they'll you know come in pretty quick. Obviously, this army here stands no chance of dealing with it. All I'm trying to do is slow them down. I've got to buy time. Okay, they have chosen the bitch way, <laughs> which was actually the safest thing to do, but is kind of what I was hoping them to do. One last big fight with, um, with, uh, Valkyrie's forces, and then that's it. They're finished. Is there a better noom, uh, better do fuck me, man. I swear, when, when we get to about seven hours into a stream, my vo my ability to speak just, it's like I'm drunk. Is there a better Nurgle Doomstack than Nurglings? Well, there's definitely stronger Nurgle, uh, stronger armies, but Nurglings is pretty effective. I scream chill in the face of my girlfriend. I don't know why, but... Fuck off! You know what? You know what? Just stop bothering me with this crap. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're wasting my time by reading this... Me reading this shit out. Oh, damn. They confederated. Gained a lot of settlements. Okay, so this one over here, right? Live to fight. Okay, regional raiding. There is a raider here and a raider here. So what More we could potentially do, I have no idea if this will work, and this will probably backfire in my face. But if I stand right, hang on. If I stand Lord right here, this won't work. With this army coming down this way, it won't work. We need to accept that we've, we're basically about to lose this province. Alright, just have a little bit of a look around, see what else is on the way. It's not that much, I just don't have anything here. No sense of getting him killed for nothing. Garrett Rush for the Nintendo Super Shed. Have you tried Boris Ursus in IE? Debating on whether I should just pack up and leave the Chaos Waste. Winning fights, but none of the regions seem worth the headache. Place is an absolute hellhole. I have not tried it. I think that was a terrible place to put Boris uh, for his campaign. Um, I guess it's one of those campaigns that people play to suffer. And I'm just not really into that. But thanks for Super Chat. 001Q did a $10 Super Chat. Do you think it would be possible to super total a Scar Brand? And if so, how would you do it? I wouldn't do it. That's, that yeah, It's not thematic it's at all. It's not to his strengths. I would not do that at Scar Brand. You know? So, fair play to you if that's what you want to do, but I would not do that. No, sorry, I would not. Is that under siege? Do you ah, come fuck. seeking pleasure or pain? This will allow me to get a little bit of visuals on what they're doing. Oh, they've starved them out. They've just completely starved them out. 
Yeah, we gotta stop preparing. We're we gotta we gotta stop preparing like now. Oh my God, he's allied to Slanesh. All right. Uh, take Scarbrand. Way too long to get over there. Is this? No one. What you desire, stranger. Money's looking a bit better. Uh, I think we can get away with an order resolve here. And uh, I don't think I need blood for the blood god right now. So. Exactly what I wanted to have happen there. And good, we make it to Shock Tag Mount. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Skulls, please. Is that Katep? Nice. It's nice when that happens. It's likely that those were his only two armies, so now we just like run down here and just cause absolute mayhem. Destroy everything that we can. Get those damn skulls. We've also got this, and yeah, she didn't manage to get, um... Uh, she's not back yet. And here we go. We throw everything that we've got at them here, and we could probably just auto-resolve it. Did you do the quest yet? Yeah, we did it about an hour ago. Maybe hour and a half. Maybe two hours. <laughs> I'd lose track of time. But yeah, I did the quest battle. So we got... Sl Speaking of which, let me just check that. Yeah, I've got Slaughter and Carnage on. Cool. Let's just come down to here. That dude's not going to run away. And can you get down here and help? No. So we don't need you anymore. Alright, we should just be able to auto-resolve this. Oh, damn, we cannot. That's interesting. Disempower. Hmm. This one just cannot make it over here. It just won't, won't arrive. Spread slaughter. Destroy. Hmm, I wasn't expecting a non-order resolve. I guess I have to fight it manually. No, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, we're going to have reinforcements coming in from all over the place. Now, if we want to finish them off, we have to make sure that this one here dies. That's so important. So, Intero, this one here needs to die in the battle. So make sure the flesh hounds of corn target him. Or the bloodthirsters. It's probably these really damaged units. If I disband them, I'll probably be able to auto resolve it. But at the same time, those are actually some of my best units. This is really badly damaged. Um, just get on and do the battle. I don't have a choice. Want to attack the army outside the settlement? Because uh, then I won't be able to catch it. I need to catch it now. Okay, if I had attacked it. What would have happened is it would have run away and I, I, I'm i completely out of movement. Now, because of the way the Warriors of Chaos work, they don't need any territory. So he could just recruit a whole other warband and come at us. I need to eliminate them absolutely now. You know, this war has gone on long enough. Okay, so those all arrive at the same time, looking at our force there. 
No, let this dude come in. If we fight him there, that's not really going to work for us. Yeah, that means they'll come in a bit later. It's not the end of the world. And that's going to come in a minute 58. I just got to remember that dude's name. Entiro. Five minutes. That should be fine. That should be fine if they come in in five minutes. Mm. No, most of these units can make it over here within three minutes, so that's fine. Uh, and if you... Yeah, you take two minutes and nine seconds. That way this guy will already be, like, over here. And we'll just, we'll just run over here. Cool. I think that'll be the quickest way. Alright, we're going to need for the Chaos Furies to take out any towers, obviously. And I think we're just going to grind them down. Oh, we have to be careful. They've got the Sword of Corn. Do not blob. Yes. Oh god. I hope the AI still doesn't spam those abilities. Fuck, that will be annoying if they do that. Don't you dare die in this battle. Because, yeah, we are not going to be able to just cap all these points. And I'm going to need my reinforcements. I can I can kind of understand now why it didn't think we could auto-resolve it. Okay. What are these? Those are Chaos Warriors. Alright, send in some Blood Letters and the um, Spawn of Corn. And this one here, come behind it. So, yeah, these ones here. Just look for towers to destroy. Because they're really good at it. We just check the various different spawn points. When we see a tower start to spawn up, that's when we go after it. Because, yeah, if the Blood Shrine is right behind them here, then that'll be able to provide them with a, a good bonus. The um, melee attack plus 8 plus extra leadership. Leadership not that important, but the extra melee attack is. Just grind them down while we're waiting for reinforcements. What happens to the army if the Lord of the Blood Host dies? Do I just get a new Lord, or does the army still exist even with a new Lord? I think if you win the battle, the Blood Lord... Uh, the, the Herald of Corn Lord of the Blood Host will live, even if he ends up dead, if that makes sense. But if you lose, then I believe your entire thing gets wiped out. Alright, how about you come over here? I got an idea. Get you to run that fucker down. How are we going here? Yeah, the damage is pretty minimal. Pretty minimal. It's mostly just the, uh, the spawn of corn. Just don't blob up too much. I'm gonna check this stuff here. Alright, there's... Reinforcements are starting to arrive. Yeah, we don't want to blow up too much, because they, they've got that fucking Sword of Corn ability. That thing absolutely wrecks. Alright, um... Where's the, the Lord here? I want you to fight him. And send the rest of these guys. Over here. You guys up this way. Yep. There it is. Go take that out. So yeah, just grind them down over here. Okay, 
Now we can sacrifice every single unit to win this battle. The main thing here is to win it and make sure this fucker here dies. That's really important. Okay, get ready to send in some more spawn of corn since those ones there are taking the most damage. Oh, you fucking moron. I didn't want you fighting. Get over here, guys. They're building a tower over here. Alright, go sort that out. Good, we are so far absolutely smashing this dickhead here. When he needs to die. Okay, make sure we're not blobbed up. We do not want to get hit by the sword of corn. Good, that dude's dying. Or if we do get hit by the Sword of Corn, we want them to hit their own units just as hard. That's, Father's marauders. That's it, that's killing him. Good job. Harpies, Furies, whatever the fuck you are. Another one over here being built. So yeah. That's yes, going just fine there, I think. Good, killed that lord. Okay, got an idea. I'm gonna send these two over here. There's nobody over here. I'm going to send them over here to just go and cap that point. Uh, actually, no. Don't worry about that. That's really not that important. We'll bring them over here and start shooting at these monsters. I think that'd be actually more important. Yeah, shoot them into here. And then once they've used up their ammo, then I can get them to go take out towers, uh, take out supply points. Just keep grinding through one point. Don't worry about expanding out. Just keep that grind going. Remember, every single unit can die in this battle, and it's fine. As long as we win. Just stand on top of the tower slot, then the towers won't be built. Well, I, I can't cover every single spot, and it only takes a few seconds to destroy it. And that way they keep spending up their supplies. Look how quickly they destroy it. Furies are really good at getting rid of towers. So, yeah, just don't worry about it. Just let them, let them grind it out. It's all good. Yeah. We're destroying their supply points as quickly as they can build them. Aim at specific targets. If we can, at the back, aim for those marauders with great weapons. Come on, shoot over their heads. Good, they're a little bit obstructed. Actually, go for the blood letters just because they're dangerous. Still no sight of the uh, sort of corn ability. Now we're a little bit obstructed, but as long as we're not inflicting friendly fire, that's the main thing here. I think it's actually going quite well. Okay, there's another tower. Check it out. Chaos Warriors would be a bad choice. Chaos Trolls would be a good choice to shoot. Okay, I may need some more blood letters in there. Yeah. 
Angos. Uh, how much damage are they doing? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Don't aim at Chaos Warriors. Try to enter those blood levels if you can. Go kill them. Good. The Furies should absolutely destroy these mortal horsemen of corn. They made a huge mistake by standing underneath me there. Okay. Let's take... Let's take these two. Come over here and cap this point. Well, they're not really doing that much. Good. That really didn't work well, uh, well for them. I think this is going really well. I think it's going pretty well. Okay, we've got another one coming in over here. Alright, send in some more Chaos Spawn. Oh, there's another tower over here. Yeah, that's going to be built first. Go over there. Alright, these two. No sneakiness to this. Just go over there. Go cap that point. This is working. No cheese this time, just gotta grind them down. Good. That'll cut off some of their supplies for a short time. Let's get back over here. Just took it because it was an easy cap. Wasn't trying to push just yet. Good, that's done. Get over here. How are they going? They haven't got many kills, but they're doing decent damage. Considering they're, you know, garbage tier units. I think that's working out pretty well. Yep, our blood letters are just doing tons of damage. That's what we want to see. Let's get over here, take that out. Can't get a particularly good angle on them there. I think this is working. Most of the time you raise a block. Yeah, I know. I know they're blocked, but they're still shooting a little bit. I'm, I'm not asking for them to dish out tons of damage. You know. I don't have anywhere better for them to be, though. Right now. Yeah, they're coming over here to reclaim this. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to bring the Bloodthirster over here and land it, and it can just fight amongst them there. Yep, I expected that, and that's fine. Problem when fighting against another Chaos Faction, I actually have no idea who's winning based on the music, which is usually what I gauge. Alright, send another one in there. Actually, no. It's it's still a bit of a blob. Just chill. Yeah, shoot, shoot that one in the back. Otherwise, it's going to rally later. Good. That just deprives them of supplies. Now I'll get them to go all the way around over there to the other side of it. Just annoy them while we're fighting them here. Good. Alright, I think we can make a bit of a push here. Since their infantry is all falling to pieces, it's time to make a push. Alright, you two over here. I think we're winning. Try to catch these marauder horsemen. Now you should not be coming in here. 
the Skull Taker's decree. at the moment. I think we're winning. I think we're absolutely slaughtering them. Okay, Marauders. That's well easy as well. That's it. Escort these fuckers off the battlefield. Do it as well. Get over there, help them out. Yeah, look, they're too distracted over here. What are you doing? Big push coming. Big push. And we won. Army losses. Alright, that is the end of Valkyrie. Cool. That went really well. Like I said, we were willing to sacrifice everything and I... I didn't even take many casualties. I don't think... I think she needed to get 300 kills in order to do the Sword of Corn, And we were just under that. Because that could have... Really fucked us up if we were in a blob. So that was good. Could sack it. No. No, even though it's worth some money, just get rid of it. We want to disband everything here. That should just be the end of... Yeah, Legion of the Gore Queen. Hey, we got a Potion of Toughness, finally. That's actually really useful for you know, healing these guys. So, okay, all of this here can be disbanded now. Which will save us. Oh my god, we might actually be in the green. Oh my god, I think we're going to be in the green. Yeah, you've been helpful, but time to go. <gasps> oh my god! I'm in the green for the first time since the start of the campaign, and I've still got, you know, three armies. I'm actually in the green. Not for long, though. I have to start recruiting a new army. You know, I've got to start preparing for, for this shit over here. Um, hang on, what can I recruit in this area? I can probably only get mortal units. At Infernius, should we start building defenses? I've only got four units there. Let's give us an additional three. Uh, if I build this, I can get blood letters. All right, hang on. Let's um. Let's uh. Let's firstly recruit someone. Yeah, you'll do. And let's see what's available. Only two recruit slots. That's not good. Warriors of Core. Yeah, we need to recruit quickly. Man of that stuff. Uh, Regiment of Renown will be... Okay, we got two that's available, so that's good. We can use that in an emergency. 
Uh, Blood Mountain, what are we doing here? Get a whole bunch of blood shrines together. They're not that expensive. Local recruit. It'll take five turns to build this, though. First for battle. There's a need to get more recruit slots. Let the slaughter commence. Let's have a look. Local recruit capacity. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, all right, let's do that. Fight for Karn. He's not. Oh, that's actually pretty strong. Actually, pretty strong. You're not done with the turn yet either. Still plenty. Oh, oh yeah, the money's not great. Do I not have? I don't think I've got any blood hosts. This is the first time ever I've got no blood hosts active. Herald of Khan. If I sack that. Hmm. Can I make this thing's money this turn? Yeah, I don't have any blood hosts active at all. I'm about to start. Hang on, hang on. Um, I need to give Bitterstone mine away. No, wait. Do I? Who cares if they capture it? Who cares? Still going strong with stream eight hours. Oh yeah, I should probably wrap up. Man, I'd take too long on these damn streams. Hmm, that is definitely a concern. My blood is quick to boil, and yours easy to spill. Let me just see. This is curious. Getting Scarbrand over here, that's uh it's not gonna be easy. Now, if I blow this up here, I'm going to be ejected out this way. Oh, it happens. Alright, we definitely need to fight this manually and just have Scarbra and do the whole bloody thing by himself, essentially. Dark Elf 1, man, Doomstack coming. Yeah, when dealing with... Um, with Malice Darkblade, you kind of either need to auto-resolve it or um, avoid doing damage to him so he goes full Sarkhan. Sometimes it's best if you can deal with him in a siege uh, attack situation. That way he just sits at one point and waits for you to show up there. And you can inflict the army losses on him before, before you get to him. Currently seven Torox armies on turn two. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Do you look at my Meow Ying versus Nakai, i.e. Disaster Battle email? Dude, I get so many Disaster Battle emails, I can't possibly read them all. Um, if I haven't responded to it, I haven't seen it. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're just going to use Scarbrand. It's like, all they've got is skeletons. There's nothing to worry about here. Well, at least to begin with. Just use Scarbrand to begin with. Actually, you know what? Bring these two in as well, because they, they just don't have much. Didn't give them the potion of toughness. I don't think they needed it for this fight. Alright, straight away. Need you to go find Katep. And make him Kadead. Just smash him. <laughs> it's so quick. There he is. Out of my way. Even the cavalry just can't hold him back. Okay, kill this one. Fucking wizard. Oh, 
We've also got uh, Slaughter and Carnage now, so our weapon strength will increase, which doesn't really matter unless we're fighting single entities, which there's not going to be many of them. I'm going to kill these first ones here real quick. Yes. Alright, he's gone. Next up, Katep. Oh god, please don't tell me he's stuck there. Okay, good. Back up that way, go up here. Imagine you're just playing your Katep campaign and then suddenly this fucking level 50 Scarbrand shows up on turn 27 or something. That would definitely make players rage quit, I think. And again, you can just auto resolve it away. Just, just wait for this one. This one. I go. Blood. Skybrand easily beats Malice, doesn't he? Oh yeah, we'd easily beat him, but I'm just not there, that's the problem. It'd take me several turns to get there. It's not and it's not worth traveling to it. Skybrand needs to be fighting something every single turn. Right? That's how he's how we make our money. So you just send Skybrand to murder everything in an, in a certain area. But unfortunately, he's just not close to um to uh, to uh, to Malice. But yeah, if he was, we'd absolutely butcher him. No doubt about it. Oh, they might summon you, Sharp T. Oh, they'll definitely will. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think those um, missiles are going to do anything to him. Those archers. Cultist of the Blood God. Yes. Blood Father, guide me. Arch for the uh, so what, what? He's at 34% intensity. Still got a bit to go. Not that it would really matter. He's one shot killing him anyway. Best guess for next DLC races? Oh, oh man, I have no idea. Absolutely no clue. Kind of feel like it might be an order race. Maybe. Maybe Neferata. It might be Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts versus. Yeah, it could be Vampire Counts. Who knows, it could be four new Vampire Count Lords. I, d I have no idea. Any guess I make is probably going to be so far from being right. Just have no idea. Chaos Wolves. Well, he asked for what Lord Pack, didn't he? What was the question again? DLC races. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chaos Dwarfs. Chaos Dwarfs, yeah. That'll be the next um, DLC race, for sure. Sorry, I thought he meant Lord Pack.
Do they keep streaming Warhammer 3 from now on? Uh, for the time being. For the time being. I'm not opposed to going back to 2. But we'll see how we go. I actually did main lawn pack. I'm well excited for Chaos Dwarfs. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, you could take out those um, Necropolis Knights, no problem. Yeah, easy. It's <laughs> killing them a couple at a time. Oh shit, this guy has used up his max heals. Still got one more summon to use. Hang on. Let's uh let's use a breath attack while they're in a nice big blob like that. Ah, fucking get me into melee. Yeah, we just missed a great opportunity. Who would win, Torox or Scarbrand? Probably Scarbrand. Scarbrand just hits way harder than Torox. Scarbrand's still got a fair bit of healing left, it seems. These two here are basically done. I'm going to pull them out now. Otherwise, they're going to end up too badly damaged. Hang on. As a parting present, here you go. Have some oh. <laughs> I pulled them out just as we were about to win. Seriously, I think only Nakara can actually beat him at the moment. Yeah, in a one-on-one -on -one dual situation, Nakari is probably the only real contender. But as I've said so many times before, this is not... An important question since one on one duels are not that important. You know, if you're going up against Scarbrand, you don't think to yourself, oh, my lord can beat Scarbrand. You think, oh, great, I'll pin him down with shit and shoot the shit out of him with magic weapons or something like that. You don't think I'm going to send one lord to go up against him. Well, you send like five lords, five heroes to go kill him, something like that. You've been Torox or Skybrand, which is the best Rampager? Um, I haven't tried out uh, the changes to Torox, but probably Skybrand. I'm, I'm just not sure. Alright, um... Alright, didn't move at all. So many settlements is here? Four, but we've just killed off all of his armies, so it's just easy pickings now. Yeah. Destroy that, and there's another settlement down here. Just keep moving down south. I know there's just a twilight over here. Ah, so useful. Not. God, garbage. Alright, 35 grand, and we're actually making money. Just a tiny little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny, tiny little bit. Well, you know, it's, you know, at least we're not in the red anymore, so that's something. 
Got to be grateful for that, I suppose. We're not quite done yet with the turn, because I haven't used this guy. It's the first time in ages I've got no... Um... Blood host lords. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Money... Hmm. What are you doing, Cetra? Even Petra gave me his sword. And how is the vampires doing? Darkness comes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna come this way. She likely only has two armies. I could definitely take on one of her armies with this one here. See, I could sack this for 4,300. Hang on, I might be able to actually get a little bit more if I put on... Not that one specifically. Extra 300 odd gold. Um... You're not... Whatever the case is, I'm definitely going to launch this attack. Oh, hello. Hello, High Queen Kalida. Ooh, okay. That changes things a little bit. She'll probably run away. Don't run too far. Don't run too far. She's going to come and reinforce them here. That actually could work for us. Oh my god. <laughs> she doesn't realize it, but she just fucked up big time here. Because there is only seven units in here. If I cap all the points before she gets in, or right when she gets in, dead. Dead, all dead. And I get all the experience. Oh, she fucked up to such a huge degree. She should have stood and fought. Now I can beat her without even fighting her. She's so badly fucked up here. Isn't she in a war with Thoric? Nah, she wouldn't have been able to stand within his zone of control if he if he was. If she was. What's the final plan for Scarbrand army? I don't think he needs to improve it any further. I mean, he's soloing armies by himself. Upgrading his army is just extra expenses. If he ever, like, takes some serious casualties, I'll replace it with whatever I can recruit globally in one turn. That's actually good, but... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what he's got. So, yeah. If we can cap all of these points here, shortly after she comes in, she, will, she won't just lose the battle, she'll die. Right? She'll just straight up die. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Yeah, we don't need to camp over there. Oh god, boy oh boy did she fuck up with this. Holy crap. She screwed herself with this. Because our army's pretty quick as well. Our army's pretty quick. And they've only got seven units to defend five points. And I am going to rip through them so quickly. Okay, maybe put the beastmen there. We'll sneak in and cap that point. And what entry points? One, two, there. Yeah, that's the biggest entry. Okay, let's go. We've got two minutes. Minute 47. God, I hate restrict camera. Oh, she fucked herself so hard here. Brothers and bloodletting! Must slay! Bath! Bath! Axe fathers for orders! We smell slaughter! <laughs> Takers of skulls! Spreading ruin! Okay, we gotta Spreading cap all the points. Because we're not gonna inflict the army losses on them. Now she can come in.
but we have to make sure that she doesn't recap any of these points. She's got a fairly slow army, for the most part. That's where we get them. That's where they got discovered, but get them over there. You over this way. You charge this down. You up over here. Just be capping points. Be capping points. That's it. Ooh, what was that? Okay. Alright, good. Come over here and help shoot. She's coming in nine seconds. It's done. Up here. Next spot. Oh shit, can you get through here quickly? If you get through here quickly, we can... No, never mind. Never mind. This one here is under control of it. We can just get through this first. Okay, Kalita just made it in. Capped two out of five spots so far. Almost three. Need to run over to there as soon as that's done. You guys need to be up here to hold this position. Okay, stop firing, you're done. Come up this way. I think we've done this. I don't see how they're going to get here. Fast enough. Fire will on off go. Yeah, I turned them off. I turned them off. All the dwarves had to do was try to hold us back until they arrived. They haven't succeeded. They're bringing their units over here, but it's too late. It's too late. This is such a good victory for us to basically delete Kalita's army for free. Because we were always going to take this damage going up against the dwarfs here. Bye, Kalita. <laughs> Bye. Bye bye. Ready? There we go. Oh, look at that. Wait for her to die off. There it is. There she goes. Um. Okay, enemy lord was wounded. She was stalking. Just make sure that she's dead. Because if I hit end battle, she doesn't end up dead and she's got some troops left. Nice. Nothing remained of Kalita's fault. No, that being said, she already retreated, so if she lost, she got wiped out. But um, killing her troops gives us more loot money. That is a big oof for Kalita. Like I said, she massively fucked up with that. Big time screwed that up. How are you planning on Scarbrand getting back to fight the Greenskins? I have to wait for a cult to show up. He's just going to keep fighting up that way and providing money for the forces that we got down here until a cult shows up and then we'll teleport him back. Because he's now strong enough to be able to take on the Greenskins, but he's, yeah, just I can't travel normally down here. i got to teleport. Hmm. Do I take the money, or do I take the blood host? And then we like just pour in here. I'll take the blood. 
I was gonna take the money. It's not not that much of an extra expense. And this is a pretty good blood host. Alright, should likely have another army, yeah. No, I will not shame my clan. And now this guy here is on a juggernaut, which I don't think is a siege attacker. Oh no, he's on a blood throne. No, he did have a blood throne. Okay, it's still not a siege attacker. He needs to become a a, a bloodthirster. Diplomatic relations with vampire counts. That's so useful. Yeah, he, he should get a siege attacker with that. I mean, he's not too far away from becoming a, a bloodthirster. Host even more money? Uh, sort of, sort of, maybe. We'll see. So, Lamia. So they took out those other vampires, I think. Let me just check. They're still around. They've got one settlement. Oh, hang on. Oh, right, right. right. They don't want peace. Okay. Same enemies. Okay, so they're over there. Alright, I think what we do is, like, blow up Mahrak with the blood host. Okay, stand close to it, because otherwise, um, faster, faster. someone can go over here and attack it. Cool. I'm pretty happy with how that Lord went. Step forth and conquer. Lord of War. All right, I think we're pretty much done with the turn. Is there a dog scratching at the door? Yeah, there is. Yeah, one of the dogs is scratching the door. Well, it's alright. Nah, Don't worry about it. I am great, powerful warlord. Right, I need you money. Indeed. Just need money. Military alliance. I need money. I don't expect them to survive. Yes, yes. What? What? Clan Moors wants to re-establish friendly Continue relations. That's seek. good. Hang on. Is it possible I can get him to join war against Crooked Moon now? <gasps> I, I might be able to do this. Okay, hang on. We've got to figure this out. I might be able to do this without it costing me a freaking fortune. So he's already willing to do it for less money than it was before. Five grand. Okay, what if... What if I gave you... Hang on, hang on, hang on. What if I gave you a bit of stone mine? About to lose it anyway. <laughs> that is a fucking good deal. That is a really friggin' good deal. I'm right. That is such a good deal. So yeah, now he's at war with them. And look, yeah, main threat, Crooked Moon. Oh my god, that is such a good deal. Okay, so Enemies now... Um, there's still likely no garrison there, so it's, it's essentially the same result. They'll, um... They'll capture it. They'll capture it. Um, and that's fine. Oh my god, that's such a fucking good deal. To, and to have Clan Moors come and help us on this... Really good. Look at that relation increase. Oh my god. That is, that is like the king of good deals. Alright, now that we've got this little settlement over here, Stone Mine Tower, let me have a look, see what he might want. That's a fucking ruin. Right. Military alliance with Queek. Almost vassal. 
No, I, don't, I wouldn't want him as a vassal. But I could get a military alliance with him, so I at least see what's going on, for a settlement that is a complete and utter ruin. And I can still get money out of him. That is a disgustingly good deal for me. Right, yes. And now I can see what he's up to. That was such a fucking good deal for me. Like, he's just gonna lose his territory anyway, and now he's at war with them. And how much does he like us? He fucking loves us. Absolutely loves us now. Let me just see if I could do some more. Dragon Horde Mines, right? Another useless settlement. It's just money. Maybe, maybe another turn. Oh, that is such a good friggin' deal. Alright, if we speak to this one Darkness here. Comes. More sleep. Okay. Empty, sir. Yeah, having him send some forces out to go and deal with this. So we got a bit of sight about what's coming this way as well. It's not that much, but I'm just not prepared. And I really don't Where's think that this is going to be able to handle this Don't at that. all. <laughs> it's just a bit of extra oomph. Plus what I could possibly get it to do is you send this small army to go and blow up undefended settlements. So that you can create blood hosts. Because honestly a blood host would be stronger than this. But I'll still just uh, buff it up as much as possible. Cool. Alright, let's have a look what we can do now. Um, I really want to get out of this war with My Malice, but... Mm, no, he doesn't want anything to do with that. Alright, I think that's all of our movements. Alright, Dargoth. Cool. Let's just go with the extra money one. Yeah, just leave Frozen City. Don't build too much. Hey, extra weapon uh, melee attack, 1%, all armies. It's, it's better than nothing. Um, hmm. It's probably not really worth it right now. So many ruins got sorted. No strategic location for us at Dracula Spire. Oh yeah, that's for the dwarves. Spending a fair bit of money though, but I think a lot of the stuff will give us a pretty good return on investment. But yeah, holy crap, that deal with Clan Moors. That was so bloody good. Alright, Galbraz has hit tier 4. We can... Yeah, that gives us extra capacity for Blood Reap. Blood, 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 Blood Reapers are really good. 7 turns though. 17 units in here. Plus a you know, new master. Kiss that goodbye. 4 grand for that. Exalted here. Okay, let's get that one. And how about the Exalted here? What about this stuff over here? Chaos War Shrine of Corn. Nah, just get them on heroes. These are good units for sure, though. Hmm. Spending my money. Death Gorge as well. <laughs> no. 
Oh man, I haven't been so close to broke in a while. The thing is, once these things develop, we should actually get back into the green. And if Scarbrand can manage to smash enough stuff out here, he should make a decent amount of money. And also out this way. Alright. Alright, one last little look at diplomacy and then we'll move on. Ready to swordfish. Yeah, I could probably My use the cash. My anger rises like the tide. We're ship shape. I am ready. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Yep. Our territory is safe though with all those investments. Um, some ter some territories are safe, some are very much not safe. All of the stuff in Nagaroth is completely safe. We, we completely cleared out all the enemies apart from Hag Grief. That's a big concern. But that'll take him quite some time to cr come across us here. Dragonhorn Mines got blown up by the Greenskins, don't they? Yeah, but I sold it to, um, <laughs> sold it to, to Queek. So, Queek actually owns it at the moment. So it didn't get blown up, I just got sold off to Queek. Also, I want to point out, I haven't had a single defeat in this campaign so far. I am really enjoying this campaign, because it's like, it's a super stupidly strong faction, obviously, but it's a real ch challenge, because I do feel a lot of pressure coming in from Clan Moors. Not cl fucking Clan Moors. From, um, Skarsnik. Well, the music stopped for some reason. Show me a battle rocket panel. Okay, at the beginning of the next turn, I will. That was very stupid of them to recruit a lord there. Very, very stupid because... Look, they, they can't do anything about it. They're doomed. Oh no, what's this? I think underway to intercept. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, that's just money for me. Torment the sword. That is a good item. That is a really good item. That should be a blue item. That is a really good one. Uh, I will take the favor. God, look at Grimgore still. That's just ridiculous. Ah, uh, they blew it up completely. That's hilarious. No, no, don't come over here. Oh my God, I sold it to them and they just blew it up. That's it. Go, go, do something else. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave us alone. We say the in-game scenarios are a positive. Then it depends on how you set it up. I think sometimes in-game scenarios just drag out an already beaten campaign, but if you make it the theme of your campaign, then it can be quite interesting. Let's be real, Vassalite Numas was a mortal, moral defeat. No, it actually ended up being good for us because I managed to cheese about 50 grand worth of money out of a Beastman faction because of it. So it ended up being very useful. If we didn't get that money, um... So much of the construction never would have gotten done. Or the recruitment. So... I definitely could have cheesed it more. Uh, Hoping they would win. Oh well. Skarsnik owns eight peaks. Yeah, he got eight peaks. He confederated the Crooked Moon mutinous gits. Oh, there's that friggin' lord. Okay. 
What was he doing down there? <laughs> Stupid shit. Why are so strong? Uh, it's the end game crisis. The biggest war. Alright, well. Hey, that's good for you. There's the, there's some extra campaign movement range for Scarbrand. Alright, oh, was that 214? Yeah, what, that's. It was five extra. It's not good because I could have used that extra research rate. <laughs> what timing! What timing! We have a cult here. At any moment now, I can do this one. A blood cult arena. Cost me 1,000 gold. Instantly transport your faction leader back to the settlement. Scarbrand comes back. Fucking destroys every bloody um, greenskin army in the area. However, I'm not quite done in the area, so I don't have to do it this turn. I need to, I need to at least clean up what I'm doing here. Basically, we build it when we reach a point where Scarbrand just has nothing left to do out here. Um, or we're in a desperate need for him to come back. But yeah, that was that was such good timing. But yeah, he's he's able to he's not necessarily coming back right now, but he's able to come back. What are you doing, Malagor? You gotta give me money. Oh, I gotta get off. Oh, he doesn't want to give me money anymore. Oh, he's at war with them? Interesting. Okay. What about Dragonhorn Mines? You want that? Oh, he's got a lot of money. He'll give it to us for free. Just be patient. We'll get that gift off him soon. Um, yeah, I saw that the uh, those guys were over here. That's something. Exalted, of course. This guy might just jump over here. Or he might go after the clan moors. Do cults spawn randomly? Not random, uh, but they will spawn in regions with high corn corruption. And then it's just uh, luck if they show up, so yeah. Otherwise, I could just get skulls, which I don't really, I don't really need skulls. I, I, need, I need Scarbrand back over here. We created quite a bit of an empire out this way. I'd love to try to stop that if, I, if possible, but I didn't get to this soon enough. Because that is freaking nothing. Yeah, if I can if I can lift that siege and give these Slaneshi fuckers uh, a second chance, that would be good. Just to buy me some time. That would be good. Then we got this over here. We stand right there. And launch the attack. And this will just be an easy auto-resolve. You're building in Dragonhorn Mines? Oh, am I? Oh, I should bloody cancel that then. Hang on. Let me, let me just confirm that, actually. If Malachor is a worse Garsnick, isn't it a risk that he might destroy the cult? Scar um, Scarsnick? Yes, absolutely. But we can see everything in the area... It's Scarsnick's not close. Oh, shit. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. That, well, that saves me a grand, so that's good. Thanks for letting me know. Nine hours already. I gotta get off, but I'm, this is really fun. I gotta, I gotta get off. Alright, look, we just saved the game there. Maybe I should just call it a day there. Yeah, we can, we can sack it, but we really just need to keep moving. He reaches the next settlement as well. Yep, only just though. He was building walls. Not that it would have saved him.
So what I could do here is maybe sack and occupy it. Hang on, hang on. Where is their capital? Zero defeats. Hang on. Clarax Spire is here. There's another settlement in the way. We got plenty of skulls. I could occupy it. Because if I blow it up, I get sent around the wrong way. Okay, so yeah, you wanted to ask about... Um, yeah, zero defeats. We've had 96 victories, zero defeats. A defeat is bound to happen at some point. We're just... we got so much, like, not good stuff coming this way. Unrest moments. If we can hold out here for a few... I might recruit an army to try to defend it, maybe. Let's see how we go. Because uh, over here should be ripe for plundering. Did see those guys over there, and they might want to make their way to Karakorod, which... What are you going to do? Alright. That's enough. we got to stop. I've, nine hours is too much. Too much, okay? It's time to call a day. We'll definitely continue this next time I stream. I might take a day off, but let's be real. I might not either. Alright, let's see who we can chuck a host over to. Alright, let's chuck it over to... Teapot Tom and Total War. I said I would host him next time he was streaming. So we'll chuck it over to him. Alright, help Teapot Tom and Total War get to a thousand subs because he wants to be a moderator and I said that's what he needs to do. So, hang on, I'm just going to set this up. You guys will be auto-directed there. If you want to check out Teapot Tom and Total War. It's important to support small streamers, give them a chance to, you know, be seen because the algorithm just doesn't pick them up. Uh, I'm going to go get some rest. Appreciate you guys. Go and show them some support. And I will see you maybe tomorrow. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you get him to a thousand subs, I will definitely live stream tomorrow, okay? So if I come on tomorrow and he's at a thousand subs or over, then I will live stream tomorrow. If not, I might, but it's not guaranteed. Anyway, really appreciate all the support today, guys. Loving the campaign. I'll keep, keep going. Um, and I will see you soon. Later, fuckers.